Nintendo presents. Okay, we got that screen again. Sounds a little bit scary, though. This sounds much scarier. Tears of the Kingdom. <clears throat> that sounds a little bit more scary than last time. Okay. <clears throat> oh shit. So we're going downstairs into some cave. This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. The gloom. We talked about the gloom. The strange gloom keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Hmm, I wonder. That's Zelda, okay. G nice to meet you. Very pretty. Ooh. The music already. Okay. Okay, we can still do that. <laughs> that was literally the first thing I wanted to test. Uh, 30 hearts. Okay, we can still spin attack like that. Um, I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom. What the hell? <clears throat> um, okay, so the strange gloom. What I always thought the gloom is is the new malice, essentially. Beneath Hyrule Castle, so it really is beneath Hyrule Castle. I, I, this already does feel different, I don't know. Maybe this is placebo? What if we go back? Would it break the immersion to do that? But I want to try that. Oh. <laughs> Link, has something caught your attention? Whatever it is, we can plan to look at it on the way back out. Let's continue our descent. Yeah, surely we're gonna make it back out of here. Surely. Controls. Okay, ooh, this is new. Save loads, special controls, two title screen, focus. Okay, so like aim. No, 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 this looks different, right? You can't tell me that the Master Sword Chief look, doesn't look different. They've definitely done stuff. To like the textures and stuff. Holy shit. Link's armor even looks so clean. <clears throat> also, please don't already mention. The okay, so this is the screenshot I saw, right? From this specific place. I think this was all over YouTube. And as much as this excited me, my first thought, I can't help it. Was obviously like <clears throat> running through this cave every single speed run. Aware. But we'll see. Can I talk to her? I can. This is on Switch, yes. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Oh but shit. Here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. Wait. We'll keep going with it coming <clears throat> up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go solve this mystery. Yep. As long as you stay with me, Zelda, I'm sure we won't get separated. Okay, I am kind of freaking out because this is basically what we thought of, right? The gloom seems to literally represent darkness and people that get in contact with the darkness fall sick. I literally talked about this yesterday as a theory. That this game is probably gonna be, like, at least symbolically, maybe, about, like, depression? Like, they're literally getting sick, like, they're getting, getting like, poisoned by darkness? What the hell? Also, wait, can I...? Ah, yes. Also, that looks new. Is there anything new? Swap jump controls? Minimap to north? Definitely disabled. If you enable this, um... If you enable this setting... GG. Ah, uh, but yeah, we need fast camera. Yeah, so these are almost like luminous stones. And obviously this does look kind of like Zona architecture. Oh, wait, this sounds nice. Dynamic water splashing. 
Thank you, Ness. Okay, so we're gonna solve this mystery. Yeah, the sounds already sound great. Wait, Link is still like dropping water. I, I feel like that was probably a thing in bro. Oh shit. I heard it. Link. The Master Sword. It must be sensing something. <clears throat> I knew we had a reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels we're hiding here. We must be careful as we move deeper. That is so weird being able to talk to Zelda and she makes like sounds like the other NPCs. Swing sword. Okay, we can still <clears throat> buff her spin attack. Can I talk to her more? I never imagined this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. Me neither. I went down here and speedruns out of bounds. This wasn't there before. Oh shit. Oh no, it's getting real. <clears throat> the lotus buds. The music's changing too. Mm -hmm. Curious princess. These ruins from ancient civilization. These ruins are from ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Can she read it? Might these runes be from the Zonai? Oh, I already know. <clears throat> this is where like all of the lore YouTubers are like getting a heart attack. I guess I kind of became one in these last days, but... Oh, see, so this is, that's like the logo of, not the logo, but you know, that's like the Zen Garden thing. That's on the Collector's Edition, which I'm probably getting delivered today at one point. Also, thank you so much for the subs, by the way. I have alerts off, obviously, for the playthrough. But thank you, MZ. What, did you just take a picture? <laughs> oh, that's the new Sheikah Slate already. <gasps> These carvings. I'm sure there's Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. <clears throat> okay. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. That's right. We've seen this architecture before. Oh, shit. Is the stylistic depiction of our dragon man, or...? <clears throat> Is this what the Zonai looked like? They seem so different than us. Such large ears. Really? Is it...? How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here? Beneath the castle? That is quite strange, huh? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. This whole stream is going to be a VOD on uh, yeah, everything. This is all going to be on the LimCube VODs channel. If you want to watch later. I feel like I don't want to miss talking uh, to her. The runes we're seeing down here. I'm certain this all must be from the Zonai civilization. So... The rumor is that they're in the sky. But this is underground, so either it has fallen down, or they also build stuff underground. I hear keys. Did I just hear keys? Yep. <laughs> That's already PTSD. Monsters down here? Oh no. My favorite enemy. <clears throat> What's up, Suki? Oh, cutscene. You are not hurt, are you? <laughs> okay, I found three keys. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, it's the mural. Look at these murals. Oh, shit. The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was okay. a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Mm. <laughs> Is it possible? <clears throat> Do these murals depict the same legend? Looks like it. I see somebody who looks like a Demon King. This is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. Right. And these figures look like Hylians. True. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. Right. Okay, so descended. That's I was I was not sure about descending or ascending there. That my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. The union of gods. The sun. These murals tell a similar story. So Renkuta was right. more accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish... the kingdom of Hyrule. Right. The origin of the kingdom. A reimagination, right? He's stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. A tear. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. Why did you not tell us this earlier? And then this. It shows the demon king. Also, Fazl, thank you so much for the subs, by the way. And a fierce battle against him. A fierce battle against him. <clears throat> if the creature depicted here really does represent the demon king, then... He's doing quite a clean. Oh. Oh. Incredible. This mural must be the Great War recorded in the royal histories. The Great War. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Link, this is a huge discovery. Yeah, she's happy. <laughs> All right then. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm invention glad I didn't of Pura's. Behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. oh okay. So like a much easier it camera, looks essentially. Like the rest of the murals are obscured. What is that? Can I like? You have a remote bomb on hand? Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Oh, that doesn't look good. Let's keep moving deeper. <clears throat> okay, so the imprisoning war, as far as my limited knowledge of the entire Zelda timeline goes, is an event that technically only happens in the timeline when the hero fails to defeat Ganondorf. It's like in the downfall timeline. But my theory this entire time has basically been that this game sets up like a reimagination of Hyrule's origin. That's obviously not clear yet, but uh, so this this picture does depict a descent, not an ascent, and they got some godly power from the sun. What we always refer to is like, because we've seen themes of light and time in this game, that basically light and time kind of represent the power of the sun as, you know, it's it's like light, the sun emits light. And its movement basically makes the rules of time. <clears throat> and then here, my, my thoughts on this depiction was always that the demon king is like sacrificing slash stealing the ancient prince's power. And this led to the imprisoning war. But then what happened? I don't have a Sheikah Slate, I can't bomb this. I can't even use the quick menu. Oh, I can still whistle. Is this what people tried? <laughs> wait, have people already tried throw sprinting? Yeah, okay, that doesn't work either. Oh, wait. Sorry, sorry, I just... Okay, okay I feel like we are onto something there, but that has to wait until later. <clears throat> I 
I already knew wisdom sprinting doesn't work, but it almost looked like a version of throw sprinting might work. So that's just a gloom then. It's not Melus, it's gloom. This is basically from the trailer where the, the red was running away from the gloom. I can't tell you how excited I am. Oh god. Famous last, last words. The murals down here, their images support so much of what historians have written about. Damn, the music. How do you hold the controller when BLSS? Um, well, the test of BLSS is in the game later, which it probably isn't. And then I can tell you. Wait, okay, so this looks similar to the door that Link was going through in the trailer because the Zen Garden depictions are on it, but it's broken. So I guess it's just like their way of making doors. Dude, this cave is crazy already. <clears throat> this is the intro of the game. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people have already tested all of the glitches. Uh-oh. How is Zelda so motivated? Of course she goes down into the gloom when I'm the one that has to do the fighting. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Zelda, can we wait? Oh god, there it is. Um... <clears throat> that green light in the distance. Looks pretty blue down there, I will say, but up there it's green. I'm having the strangest sensation. This is all so ominous. You want me to, like, go there, or...? I guess? Okay, the uh, cutscene trigger. What is this place? Yeah, I mean, this is already so dark. Holy, I, I love it. Let's continue, Link. We must be extremely careful. Not yet. I mean, sure. Music transition. What is that? God. Okay, you can clearly see that they, they removed the tear or like tear vial on his, his tear. Yeah, that's the tear of light. They removed... That's unfortunate timing. They removed it in like the promotion. Um... So, so, so why did this happen just now? Is this just unfortunate? Unlucky timing. Uh, okay, good block. Uh, right, right. Trailer. Just like that. That's not good. Oh. The master sword can hurt him. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Jesus. The way he moves. You who carries that fragile sword, a link. Raru placed his faith in Raru. you. Raru. We can finally say the name. And Thank that God. That's all you could do. How do you know our names? <clears throat> okay. So what is happening with the castle? Is it actually getting like blasted up by the gloom? I mean, I'd, I'd like to think so now. Oh, shit. 
He's just chilling. Wait, so he's falling down, not up. Right? Oh, that's not good. But she has a tear. Oh. Where? He's being pulled into the spirit realm? Sacred realm? Wait, this happened so quickly now, though. Like, okay, so the Sheikah just... And stuff is falling down? Okay, I am disappointed, unless there's explanations about this, why... Why did the seal just leave the second we came there? Okay, this is a shot from the trailer again. Unless it was maybe due to Link's presence. Also, you could see you could see the Master Sword, like the powered-up version of the Master Sword, was able to hurt Ganondorf. It like cut his. So my hope is already that we actually need, like we need the Master Sword this time. No, that's a trailer shot, kind of though. Where? Oh. Good morning, new shrine of resurrection, kind of, just a random cave. <laughs> Link, finally you wake. Oh. Dimitri? I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Kamisato Ayato? Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Okay. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Replace it? I mean, it is, right? It's uh, a sword. Chris Agni. Okay, new shorts. Did, did he put those shorts on me? Or did I have them on before? Those are the real questions. Right, <clears throat> so this is it. The Cave of Awakening, or whatever. Yeah, that's not good. One damage, the Decayed Master Sword. That sounded kind of sad. The sword that seals the darkness, its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. So yeah, it's not malice, it's gloom. That looks pretty cool. Right, yeah, I wonder now if you start a game, if you always start in the cave or we just start here. We'll see. <clears throat> Doesn't see much darkness now. Oh, damn. This is... Is it? No. I thought for a second. This is a... No, but it is, right? Sun and moon. It's not the location that Zelda is at. Damn, this is so sick. But similar. <clears throat> okay, we got some... Oh, because this is the Zen Garden. There's gonna be like a tear that drops down here or something, right? Okay, we still got the same sound. Oh, just a war point, okay. Okay. 
Hello? Cool door. You got there? What am I going? <laughs> the new Shrine of Resurrection clip is going to be like climbing up here, jumping up, go on the route, and then clip up there. Actually, we don't even have a scope. Rest in peace. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh no. That's gonna happen a lot. <clears throat> Okay. Jump. Okay, we can still swim. Haven't gotten the stamina dialogue after five hours of playing. I immediately got it because my instinct was to whistle. I'm gonna get used to that. Yeah, Fazel Bomb, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs again. I was like in the middle of the intro cutscene, but I really appreciate it. <clears throat> and thank you for subscribing yourself. So these are just like jump pets. Oh God. That water sound. This is gonna be the armor landing in water, even from great heights, makes it so that you don't take damage, basically. I was a bit slow at reading that, but... Oh my god. Shrine of Resurrection moment two. Oh, I need to savor this one. <clears throat> you only get this experience once. It will never be the same. It will never be the same after this one. <laughs> Archaic legwear. Oh, I should probably read the... Uh, <clears throat> simple classic legwear. They're well worn and showing their age, but they've still got a good few years left in them. Can be a bit cumbersome to tie the straps. I guess that means like... It can be a bit annoying or like hard to do. Oh, we might not get... Oh, oh okay, I get it. I get it. This is gonna be the screenshot. We're gonna jump down and we're gonna see Raru. This is literally gonna be the screenshot. We're gonna see the dragon fly over the island. Right? Because Link had this exact attire on, so we don't have the armor yet. Oh, shit. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, here we go. This... Looks so sick. <clears throat> Holy fuck. No cutscene, we we're just gonna jump. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> yep. That's it. <clears throat> There's our dragon friends. Tears of the kingdom. You have to look at the dragon? Yeah, it already looked great. Accelerate. Dude, the music! <laughs> Damn. Okay. We see the dragon over there. There's lily pets. Skyward Sword style. A 
And we're here. The Great Sky Island. So how much would you hate me if I'm about to jump down? Just to try. Would I break all of the immersion? I told myself I wanted to try that. <clears throat> oh god, it's actually weird to know Whistle Sprint. Sky Shroom, a common mushroom that grows near trees on Sky Islands, eat it to restore health. Okay, I... man. I, I love how different this already feels. Obviously, we're on this in the sky, so of course things are going to feel different here, but like my biggest concern about immediately feeling like playing Breath of the Wild, at least at the start, is already gone. Same as Plateau. Ooh! The, uh, the murals or like what are the Nazca lines? Okay, I'm just gonna try it. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we are back. This is a new dragon, yeah. All right, who's gonna find a uh, great sky island skip? Any finders? Any glitch hunters? This is so pretty. So this is a ranger construct, right? <clears throat> it isn't, is it not powered? Okay, it is powered. So to gosh, I already found like 10 movement tricks probably. Hello? Link, I've waited for you. This is a steward construct. It's a bigger version of the ranger construct. Is his name Stuart or is he a steward? Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Wait, so... Okay, so this is already where my brain is going. Does it mean that when she fell... The timeline was like altered or it, it always happened? Oh god, here it comes. <clears throat> the Sheikah Slate. That's useful. This is the Pura pet. An iPad? I'm told it's an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. Wait, is it optional in a way, right? <clears throat> I like that sound. Link got the Switch OLED now. The Pura, pe Pura Pet or Pura Pet. Princess Zelda's prized device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Oh, because basically only... Well, I think Zelda could use the Sheikah Slate, but only Link could like fully access its features. So maybe Pura made that for Zelda. Pura pets. Use the features on the Pura pet here. We already have the map, we just have it. Because Zelda scanned it for us? Find Princess Zelda. Oh, she took those pictures, damn. That's... like sad. Feature not available yet. This is the new adventure log. You found yourself on a strange island in the sky after you awoke. A steward construct claimed that Princess Zelda gave it her Pura pet, all to get it into your hands. The device's map shows a yellow point of light. The construct said that's where you'll find the princess. Okay. <clears throat> I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting. Oh no. Um, <clears throat> at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. 
The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies. <laughs> if you don't get the joke, ceremony was like the hardest word for me to say during Skyward Sword. Uh, cer ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place no one visits. So why sh would she be there? Like, didn't that concert just like reactivate? Thank you for all of the subs again. Ooh, I like that. Find Princess Zelda. This is the Garden of Time. My records indicate that Zelda is waiting. Garden of Time. Yes, this is the Garden of Time, a structure visible to the north. It's the Temple of Time. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. Okay. Garden of Time is such a sick name. We still have the scope. Damn. Okay, this does look cool. His eyes, what the hell? And motion controls are enabled, at least for the scope. <clears throat> I, lo I love Garden of Time as a name. Should I like explore here first? I feel like I saw another construct over there. But this is a soldier. This is a soldier from our numerous uh, demo, right? <laughs> The Master Sword is running low on energy. Wait, I can't beat it. Oh my, I, I guess there's a stick. Yeah, this Master Sword is not very powerful. Okay, yeah, the frame rate did dip a little bit there, but that's to be expected. Soldier Construct Horn, a blade-like horn from a Soldier Construct is very sharp, so handle it with care. And a material used as a power source for constructs and other devices, its strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. The Zonite Charge. <clears throat> oh, that's like a, a sturdy stick, right? Oh, wooden stick. A tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Right. Oh god, that's ginormous. Ugh. Wait, this is actually... This actually feels kind of bad. I'm not sure if there's like, you can't switch weapon as seamlessly as before. Not gonna lie. This is what I was scared about with the abilities as well. I know people always told me it's not gonna be bad, but I feel like when you play the game a lot, those are things you actually pick up on. Okay, this is a pretty big area. <clears throat> it's fine. No, but like, what I mean is like, when you switch, right, it like, takes a while until you are allowed to, uh, move. Maybe I'll get used to it, but it's definitely a difference. It, it definitely is a difference. I'm not gonna cry about it, though. I'll get used to it. Okay. New pin sound. I like that one. There's an apple. I've used an apple to my shield. A common fruit eaten by people since ancient times. As they say, <clears throat> an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase its effect. I, mean, I will stockpile a little bit in this playthrough. That's something I didn't do in my first playthrough as much. <clears throat> Threw me off too, feels sluggish. Yeah, I'd probably get used to it. The same thing, I'm, what I'm scared about is the abilities because you have to press the button to switch them, but we'll see. So is there any interesting mechanic with the lily pads? Or you just like... I guess you can just like... Use them to recover stamina. Wait. Okay, that was just a lily pad. Yeah, we don't have the glider yet. This is the new menu. The master sword is out of energy. This is the pura pet. You know, might as well save. That's fine, actually. Okay, we'll see. Wow, I don't know if I'm gonna actually invest into stamina now. Um. Wow, that is quite high up, huh? I didn't even look through too much through the sky yet. We got those orbs. I've already seen a maze. 
There's those rails down there. Another shrine. Might as well mark it. <clears throat> Where you get bomb flowers? I have no idea. I literally just started. What is this structure? Does it really just lead you to this island? I feel like I feel like my theory now is that these islands, right? They're like these lotus-shaped islands. You have to like go on them to see the uh, the drawings on the 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 ground or something because they seem to be hard to reach. But we'll see. Yeah, not too much going on here, just um, <clears throat> the Garden of Time. Surely they hit like a chest here, right? This is, this is, this is gonna take me some time to get used to the uh, no whistle sprinting <clears throat> approach. You cannot whistle sprint. No, I think you can still throw sprint. It felt that way. Yeah, yeah, I did it there. I think it's like... Oh, it's really hard. You have to basically like cancel the animation of pulling out the stick. I don't even know if that's viable. Ah, uh, that doesn't even feel good. <clears throat> it doesn't get you faster though. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it didn't feel like... You keep the running speed. It is a little bit laggy up here, but <clears throat> this is probably one of the most intense sections in terms of lighting. Also, I'm pretty sure um, the time is locked. It doesn't seem like the time is changing. I haven't looked at this place. I guess I'm just getting all of the tree branches. Why not? I can just fuse them together later, I guess. It got worse on 1.1. Yeah, people said they fixed the frame rate, but I've already noticed some pretty big dips. And again, the inventory, those are my only, I'm just saying my complaints, everything else, I'm like stunned. Anyway, here we go. <clears throat> I'm playing on Switch. I did not play the leaked version. So it's building a bridge. Oh, this is actually so cool. If you think about, this is kind of symbolic if you read the interviews. With Nintendo. They mentioned how the entire theme of like hands in the game is kind of representing connecting. So we literally use the hand to connect these islands. And I mean even we even connected the the cycle or the circle. Uh, what did you say about the new dragon? I just got a call a few minutes. I just thought it looks cool. Also, Armas, thank you so much for the tier 3 sub. It looks really nice. The eyes stand out a lot and obviously they do look quite a bit like Raru. I wonder if it's him. Oh, and as far as I know, you can get Zonite charges from these. But why are they broken? Okay, so we could jump down here. This is a shot that we've seen in a bunch of trailers, and I guess I'm supposed to do that because I'm supposed to go to the Temple of Time. <clears throat> I don't like how the new dragon looks. I kind of like it. It looks very elegant. Throw weapon. You can throw the weapon in your hand. Press and hold. Release. I am aware. Hello. You seem to be new here. Do you intend to use that weapon as, uh, against the soldier constructs? What are the soldier constructs now that you say that? Okay, Amas, all good. Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate, eliminate trespassers, just like we thought. So the lock button is just like going to show us the text, yeah. Uh, they will consider you a trespasser. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponent, swinging... These, these words, haphazardly, will not yield results. You may practice targeting on me if you want, okay? Oh, but please don't actually attack. Surely. No, I feel bad. That, that guy is like nice. Okay, new pot. 
We don't have a shield. Don't hurt Stuart, that's what I'm saying. Stuart is kinda nice. I don't know why this guy's playing the game, you already figured out the plot from the trailers. Yeah, I should probably just stop. <clears throat> Smolan, what do you think about the weapon changing? You're a speedrunner. I was kind of mentioning how that feels much more clunky now. That's the first thing I noticed in terms of like... Um... Downsides. Does breaking the pot give rupees though? It, it looked like expensive, so I didn't want to break it, but I guess I should. Wow, it's an apple. Basically, you know, vitality as a currency. Yeah, they take like twice the amount to load. That's the only complaint. That's the only thing that stood out to me so far. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's not bad. I guess it's also you, you're supposed to like more carefully menu as uh, you're supposed to use like fusing and stuff. Anyway, here we go. Boom, there's a frog. A hot footed frog. Wait, are we gonna cook speed food on the Great Sky Island? Uh, a quick frog that can be found hopping around near water. Cook it with monster parts to draw out its speed boost effects. <clears throat> Ranking every weapon when, dude. Imagine that tier list. That's gonna be wild. Oh, all right. This is my four damage stick. <laughs> I feel like I'm... my inventory is almost full. Yeah. Um, I can replace one tree branch. Maybe it changes if you put the sensitivity up? Um... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, do I get that animation every time? No, that was just the first time I pressed map, just like in Breath of the Wild. Um, I already have sensitivity uh, sensitivity all the way up. This is usually how I play. You can drop it from quick menu. Oh, that's good. That is really good. Special controls. Okay. A lot of special stuff that we haven't found. <clears throat> Wait, so if I wanted to drop one... Oh, I can just drop it with X. I see. This is the pond that uh, Aonuma built a boat for, right? All right, I'm actually gonna go to the Temple of Time. We'll we, we probably we'll probably have to explore this area afterwards. <clears throat> it is getting quite cloudy out here. Oh, that's a new bird. He's kind of hairy. Wow, you could ascend everywhere here. I wonder if this is close to the ascent, where you get the ascent ability. I think I found three of them so far. <clears throat> How did this bird get up here? Good question. There seems to be a few of them. Oh, what is he cooking? And what is this on the ground? Why are the trees yellow? Well, the theory was always that this is related to the sacred realm or like the golden lands, but I don't know if it's here physically yet, like if it was actually sent up here or not. That's what we are probably about to learn. Oh, this one is roasted. Okay, toasty sky shroom. I simply grilled sky shroom. I bet they taste great. The heat brings out its flavor and increases the amount of health it can restore. Ah, I roasted it. But it's yours if you want. Wait, do you just steal it? Can they eat it? You roast them? Oh, I had not noticed before that you were unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. 
I do not eat, but I'm given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. So their creators were like human-ish. <clears throat> um, do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. Yeah, why not? Let's cook. You know, that doesn't... That doesn't uh... I mean, it works. A simply grilled sky shrimp. Okay, so this is the new, like, recipe card. That looks so nice. You can't switch menus from left to right with the stick anymore. That's also something to get used to. Anything else to say, Stuart? Yes, boom. It's finally time. Uh, you are welcome to warm yourself by the fire. I encourage you to roast any ingredients. These, uh, these constructs are so nice to us. All recipes will be required for Hando. Oh god, I can't wait for the 100% speedrunning rule discussion. I guess I keep some raw mushrooms, but they restore more health this way. I do prefer making bigger meals though, so I can eat uh, them in like a chunk. Anyway, let's go. <clears throat> Thank you for the 18 months, Luro. Damn, this is like ginormous. And it looks amazing. It's definitely a little... Broken though. Oh, the saxophone is coming in. It's coming. This guy has a shield. My shield now. And a rusty broadsword. So this is one thing that I'm still really curious about. This once fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but also breaks quickly. Why does all of the metal seem so rusty and broken? I see the storm at Hebra. It's already there. An aged, worn-out wooden shield, and can it can withstand lighter attacks such as arrows. Uh, that's useful. <clears throat> Raise your shield. Okay. Okay, I have to try something. Wait, this guy's kind of insane. Oh, wait, how does the material menu work? Like this. Wait, you can't eat from here? Oh, I don't like that. So we have to eat from here. I need to try something for the combat people, but it's probably gun. Yeah, also I don't have the timing for these guys at all. <clears throat> yeah, anyway, okay, so this is the door. The saxophone sounds, sounds great. So yeah, you can't eat food from here. This is just for fusing, I guess. Which I don't have a bow yet. Free rush is still available? Yeah, I saw that in the preview. I wanted to see if you can, like, uh, shield block reset, where you jump into an attack to refresh your jump, but it's definitely much, use uh, much less useful now anyway. Um, you keep pressing up on the deeper to switch runes. Yeah, that makes sense. The saxophone does sound great, yeah. Alright, here we go. Can you try the shield gem trick like you using the stasis shrine? I can, yeah. In a bit. God. We're not allowed? That door will open only to those with sufficient power. Oh? I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. Ah, uh, his voice is so good. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. That guy always kills it in every role. I am Raru. Damn, he looks cool too. Wait, both of his arms are like this. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. In this manner? Unfortunately, no longer have a He's a spirit. Mind. 
In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. Okay. You Over might time. be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? The shrines. All shrines is back, baby. The shrines. Yes, I'm <laughs> sure they are the key. Probably. He looks so cool. Yeah, his hair is amazing. And I love his voice. The closed door. New main quest. Open adventure lock. Your adventures will be detailed here. The closed door and find Princess Zelda. Okay, so we need to open the door first. When you tried to open the door to the Temple of Time, Raru appeared and said he was the original owner of your new arm. He also said you need to revitalize the arm, so the power of its touch will open the door. To do that, visit the island's shrines. A green light spirals above each of them. Yeah, I don't know if he is the dragon or not. His eyes look pretty much identical, but the dragons are always... Um, time started progressing now, that makes sense. Similar to getting the tower on Breath of the Wild. Um, this island looks crazy. Yeah, these islands are like ginormous. Um, the dragons in Breath of the Wild were referred to as spirits, so it might be that... Because I don't see the dragon right now. Maybe he appeared in like a humanoid form. You already know that the first objective is going to be to skip this door, right? <clears throat> they didn't think of this. <laughs> Wait. They actually didn't think of this. <laughs> uh, I feel like I want to try that, but I also don't want to try that. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'll save those ideas for another day. I'm sure they prevented this from being possible. Thank you guys so much for the subs, by the way. Ooh. The music, they had like some like marimba almost going on. Uh, you said the shield jump doesn't work anymore. <clears throat> Wait, you can't unequip the shield mid shield jump. Oh, you can, but it's like late. Yeah, you can only do it at the end. Does skew still work? We'll, we'll test that later. I do want to go into one of those shrines. Yeah, you can only unequip late into the jump. Which, I guess that means you can't, you can, probably can't, yeah, yeah, you can't prevent the shield from losing durability during this anymore. As he was patched, okay, then we don't even have to try, oh, here's a bow. I want the bow. An old wooden bow. A wooden bow from the olden days. It's built for hunting, but it's not very powerful. Four damage. Okay, we still have motion controls. We got arrows. Can we just go into bullet time right away now? I will try that in a second. Oh, that's one of those rails. So how do these work? And what is that sound? Wait, did the Temple of Time make a sound because it hit seven <laughs> o'clock oh shit that looks amazing oh raru's here oh my god <clears throat> he looks so cool I feel like he looks cooler than all of the material, like his hair is crazy. A stone axe. I guess we can drop... 
I want to use the rusty broadsword breaking attack to do extra damage. Five damage. It's a fused weapon. I see that they're still at work even now. We originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. So is he a Zonai? Is he the Zonai leader? I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned tasks to this day. Hmm. The fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they perform it still, it is disquieting to me. Hmm. hmm. I'm troubled by the sight of the constructs we created. They still strive to fulfill their purpose even when anyone who would benefit is gone. Hmm. To see them toil away still, it grieves me. Hmm. That is sad. So the Zonai are just gone. Dude, the lighting there looks crazy. It's like purple, orange. These clouds are literally... Wait, why are they purple? <laughs> Let's just assume it's just the lighting. Wait, I wasn't supposed to skip that? Oh, was I not supposed to go on the rail? Uh-oh. Surely I can go back. Oh, I can. Oh, I can't. All right, this is fine. We just have to make it back. <clears throat> um, this is completely fine. Definitely not focused at all. Oh God. Oh, so ZL walking doesn't work on here. So you actually have to walk like this. Please tell me this is not something we have to do in a run. I'm so focused. Load last save. I guess I could have done that too. But now I wanted to do it. You know, we almost made it. <clears throat> Those rails are really fun though. The anti-skip, literally. Oh, I wanted to try. What? Wait, how did I get... <laughs> First of all, how did I get into bullet time? And second of all... I shot the rock that he threw at me. Okay, that's kind of funny. <clears throat> I, I love the design of these items. Oh, mushrooms are back. Not too surprising. A mushroom that can grow almost anywhere, but prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before... Eating and temporarily increase your movement speed. <clears throat> so I can probably use these to make like fan type weapons. Oh, I, I, okay. So this is going to be the ultra hand shrine, right? It's gotta be. <laughs> Ooh, Kowu shrine. Oh, here we go. Time to learn God knows how many names again. Might be even harder to learn this time. Okay, so how do you actually enter them? The door just opens. And it's like a spirit type door. So is this like just another realm? Is it... Wait. Is there not going to be a loading screen? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought there was. This is a new loading screen. It shows the map. It shows us where we are. These doors do look good, yeah. <clears throat> so it's like a door into another realm, essentially. There he is. I hope you enjoy it, MC. So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with... He filled these places with light that purchase evil. 
I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Hmm. Now then, extend your hand. Oh, oh, that is actually interesting, though. They share the same sound with the Sheikah. We still kind of have to explore the connection between the Zona and the Sheikah. Ultra hand. Grab and move objects, rotate them and stick them to other objects. Mm. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Mm. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. Okay. <clears throat> Use ability. Okay, so if I hold it, it automatically activates afterwards. I see. I wonder how that's going to feel over time. New shrine music. I like it a lot already. Oh, you can use motion controls. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's scary. That is scary. <clears throat> I'm afraid that I was always afraid that you might use this to actually deal damage. Oh, I have, to, I have to just like stick them together. So how does that work? Rotate, I have to hold R. And then with the D-pad. Okay. Um, horizontal rotation. Attach. I see. And it, it rotates in like little bits. Chest. Ah. Oh, wait. <laughs> I used the R button to activate the rune. That's gonna take some time. <clears throat> it snaps to specific angles, I see. Ember. So, this is the new Ember. A fossilized resin with a camera. Caramelesque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Okay, you can still turn around like that. That's actually really nice. The music is very cute. Whoa. I didn't even see the ceiling. That is so interesting though, because that still looks like Sheikah technology, what is their relation? Hmm. Wow. What? Okay. So I'm pretty sure I can just surf over there. But do they not intend me to do that? Or what? Oh, okay, you can't climb up there. Can make hooks. Oh god. <laughs> wow. That worked perfectly. <laughs> Wait, can you climb these? Oh, you can. Okay. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm, th this is what I was always scared about in Breath of the Wild. And I guess I should drop that entire thought. Um, I should drop that entire thought. Because at the end of the day, the developers literally want you to use different ways to beat the shrines. So I should probably stop worrying about if I'm what I'm doing is like the right way. Unless this doesn't even work. <clears throat> But I kind of wanted to go up there, actually. Can you go up there? How would you go up there? I feel like it might be possible. 
if you take the stone slab. And I need to get used to the ultra hand ability anyway. Oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry. This will happen a couple times. Thinking that I can whistle sprint when I cannot. Can I climb these stone slabs? No, I don't think I can. What? Why can I not? Okay. Um, that was not really the idea. You know, I wanted to like... Maybe if I do it like this. Yeah, this should work. <gasps> okay, you're not supposed to be up there. I think at least. <clears throat> No! Okay, whatever. <clears throat> I wasn't trying to break the game, I thought you actually get something up there. I promise. No! <sighs> I keep forgetting that. Try building a card to get through. A card. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> Wait, this is how you're supposed to do it. Eric. I get it now. I didn't pick out the casual way yet. No. That makes a lot more sense. I mean, I've already seen that you can surf these uh, these rails. That's why I did it. And of course, it's faster. <clears throat> nice. Now we did the real way. Okay. These pillars are like rotating. Dude, this looks so sick. I need chests. I know everyone always checked for chests behind the Sheikah shrines. It would be funny if they actually put one there this time. <clears throat> Use wood to climb the rail and shield serve? Yeah. I really li like the aesthetic of these shrines. Oh wait, is that a statue of the ancient princess? Uh, both of them. You've done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Light and dark. <clears throat> Damn. So we absorb? No, no, no. It, it materializes uh, like a light orb. So some of the gloom got... Oh, so are we restoring our hearts this time? Is that what's gonna happen? We're gonna purge the gloom? A crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. I see. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. 
Dude, why are Raru's feet this big? This, this kind of looks like the Temple of Time. Did you know it was going to be called Gloom? Uh, well, they talked about Gloom on the website. So, yeah. That's what I thought it was. The Raru. You did very well getting through that shrine, and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines... Wait. You should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Mm. Wait, so is there only three and we do get recall at the end? If you may... Or is there four? You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins. Then you never... I mean, it would make sense. <clears throat> Then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Pura Pet offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. I've already done that, Raru. I played Breath of the Wild. I've played the game. The scope and pins. View distant things and mark them with pins. I think I marked both of the other shrines I'm aware of. One on the... Um, the one up there. So there's only three. I, I'm... I guess... No, no, there isn't. I know that there's one... I remember seeing, on the promotional material, I remember seeing a shrine here. Hmm. Anyway, we have Ultra Hand now. No, 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 I, I, will, I definitely never want the answer, basically. Most of the time, I'm just going to be asking, like, rhetorically, unless I literally say, like, chat, please help. Um, okay, gotta be careful here. Wow, this is the best bridge ever. <laughs> That's sick, though. I really want Fuse. <clears throat> the V bridge. So this is where we shield surf down on the rail, which was very fun. My shield is almost broken now because I messed around too much. If it works, it works. Indeed. Sonai Pillar. Did that just move on its own? I guess because of the wind. Another Sonai Charge. I will, I keep pressing D-pad up already as well, for trying to, um, oh, I think I'm supposed to build a raft, like, oh, wow, that's uh, gorgeous. Gonna have to get good at that. Fix your gaze forward, face it head on. This is a maker construct. Hmm, pardon me. I was absorbed in my woodcutting. Are you here for woodcutting too? Woodcutting? Um, I'll see you later, Makosa. I missed the start. I watched the vault. Have fun. Thank you, cards. I hope Lim doesn't have a dream to build bridges in the future. Uh-oh. Woodcutting is the practice of chopping down trees to create logs. Logs can be combined to assemble platform. Okay, yeah. You can also chop... Oh, that makes so much sense. I get it. You can also chop them down further to make wood. Lumber has many uses. This is why I come here daily to chop wood. And yet, I still find it difficult to chop them down in the intended direction. That is why you may have heard me muttering to myself, fix your gaze forward, face it head on. Oh. I apologize. I've been, I've been rambling for some time. There's an X I no longer need over there. It's yours to use. I already have it. Um, if you want to do some wood cutting. So I was wondering why it takes so long to make campfire wood now. But that's why. They don't want you to unintentionally break the wood because you're supposed to use it to build rafts and bridges. And that sort of stuff. I will talk to Raru here. Oh, damn. <laughs> the frames are definitely tanking up here, I will say. It is uh, quite noticeable. I'm gonna steal the raft. I'll take the other eggs as well. Oh, 
Ultra Hand makes it a bit leggy, yeah. But I think it's gonna be extra it's gonna be especially bad up here because of all of the lighting that's going on and stuff. Yeah, you know what? I have a feeling this bridge won't work unless I use this to get the height advantage. Boom. Now I have a raft. So I can move the whole platform. These are like the anti-gravity platforms. I probably can move it when I'm on it, right? Nah, that would be way, way, way too broken. Yeah, I'm assuming it's gonna be better later. Oh, sorry. Dude, imagine smacking enemies with this. This is what I'm really scared about, but I'm sure they thought of this. Surely. Oh, you get like, you slide down a little bit. <clears throat> so yeah, the Temple of Time made a sound earlier when it hit 7 o'clock. I wonder what that's about. These bridges look nice. Okay, excuse me, but I do kind of want to know what these guys drop. Bro. Where where is he where is he going? Where is he headed? <clears throat> Sorry for science. Raw meat obtained from animals and plains and forests. You can eat it raw, but cooking it will make it more delicious and nutritious. I couldn't test it out, but in one of the demos it looks like when you ultra in something it phases through them. Oh, that would be really good. Is that a Korok seed? Is that a Korok seed? Here it comes. <clears throat> You're not Hestu. But you see me. I didn't know someone like you could see children of the forest. Well, if you see Hestu, please return this to him. The small seed was given to you by a Korok. It has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what may happen. Surely we wouldn't get the same reward again. Um, oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places too, so you should keep an eye out while you wander. Oh boy. Whoa. Did you hear that? Oh wow, that guy's fast. The sound the rock made. That's so good. That is so nice. This, I read the interview about the sound engine. You can definitely tell. So there's a stum bulb, a, pl a wild plant with bulging roots often found in cooler climates. It contains nutrients that increase endurance. Cook it to restore stamina. Right. I kind of wanted to take a, a little ride on the raft there. But I wanted to explore this part as well. This creature is a threat. Me? What do you mean? Probably not me, right? Wait, did he just shit talk me? My next batch will also be tasty. The culinary construct. What is he cooking? Pardon me for not noticing you. I was absorbed in preparing my next meal. Hmm. I do not recall having seen you before today. I must doubly apologize for my inattentiveness. It is the duty of a construct to field any questions that those such as yourself may have. You may pose these questions to any construct. We will answer them as best as we can. Are you interested in my cooking? Yes. Ah, you seem to be uneducated when it comes to cooking. What do you mean? I've cooked amazing dishes like five hearty durians. Very well. You will learn how to create a meal on your own. <clears throat> sure, educate me. Cooking step one. Hold the ingredients in your arms. Step two. Throw them into a pot over a lit fire. Cooking complete. That is Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. That is the simple version. The world of cooking can be as complex as you want. There are many possible dishes. What you make, what effect and gain depends on the ingredients used. Some meals are warming, others may replenish stamina. Tiny organisms known as critters and monster parts are not food. Save them as the base for elixirs. 
This information was provided by our creators, but I cannot eat, so take it with a grain of salt. Food joke. I will remain stationed here. Ask me any time you have further questions about cooking. This guy. Okay, let's make a speed potion. Uh, Critter's monster parts. So far, is it required to have played through the Breath of the Wild story to understand what's going on here? Uh, I just cooked dubious food in front of him. I used mushroom? Wait, I feel like you were able to do that in Breath of the Wild. Couldn't you not mix up frogs and mushrooms? Wait, I think you could. I remember doing swift carrots and frogs. <clears throat> What's up, Honolds? Uh, no, I, th I think it's probably beneficial if you play Breath of the Wild, but um, I wouldn't say required. Switching weapons takes long, I have noticed too. It uh, takes some getting used to. Wait, I swear. I swear, in my old shrine speedrun route, I used swift carrots as a backup. But I never tried it. It might be that the cooking website that we always used was actually scuffed. <clears throat> Hasty mushroom skewer. Grants a low level movement speed boost. This simple mushroom packed skewer has its colorful presentation to thank for its appeal. Okay, that's only buff um, level one. Oh, that looks new. It's like less see-through now. I like that. You put a Zonai part on accident? Yeah, but you're supposed to put one monster part and one critter, right? Which is what I did. Unless the Zonai parts are not considered monster parts? We'll figure that out later. <clears throat> What's up, Raru? I love this view of the Temple of Time. I always took a moment to appreciate it whenever I passed by here. The Garden of Time was quiet. The only sound to be heard... Zonai part is a material like a rock. Oh, that makes sense. The only sound to be heard was the time bell ringing in mornings and evenings. We heard that before. It was as if the whole place changed its chime. Especially at night, when the sound signaled the emergence of fireflies. Mm. Those were glorious times. Fireflies. I didn't think of the, those. I guess they're pretty symbolic for like light. It looks really nice. I get what you're saying, Raru. <laughs> this will happen so much. <laughs> Trying to switch runes with the D pads. <clears throat> Probably it's gonna take some getting used to. Oh my god, the ultra hand leg incident. What's up here? More sky shrooms. I'm gonna be a hoarder this playthrough, I think. Whoa, this is huge. I also know there's a shrine to my right here, yeah, I'll check that out soon. We take those. Wait. Oh, you can switch arrows, obviously. But later you can when you confuse. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I know, Honolds. It is what it is. This we're probably gonna get a port or something if there's ever new hardware. A material used as a power source for constructs and other devices. It's strange light. Oh, we already read that. That's just a zonite charge. <laughs> Wait, did we miss like a puzzle here? I guess you were you could also use the raft to go over this pond. Actually, not really. I mean, I guess you can. But there's like a bridge there anyway. I think the puzzle was the one we basically just solved. Using Ultra and <sighs> Do I go back? I, I, I'll check later if there's a chest I missed. I, I, I'm assuming that this next shrine is going to be a scent. 
<laughs> because I have to get up to the ice area next, but we'll see. <clears throat> oh, I have to actually go over this uh, lake anyway. Wait, so why did I come up here? For the bow? I guess. There's eggs. A fresh bird egg necessary for making dishes such as omelets and crepes or crepes. You can snack them for bir from birds' nests if you are sneaky, nutritious and delicious, perfect for cooking. They like using nutritious and delicious. Yeah, I feel like we want a scent first before getting up there, so I'm going over the lake. Okay, there's like a... Uh-oh. What? What? <laughs> what did I just do? No movement I found? I went so far. Wait, there's a lot of them. Oh, so these are like the locked chests. There's no story spoilers at the moment? Not yet. No, I'm doing the, uh, the tutorial area essentially for now. Wait, but did you see that? Sorry, but that was strange. I... The way I got like catapulted from that platform. Look, look! That was like really far. I was like on under the ledge here and I jumped into it. Into like a jump attack. I went so far. How did I do that? Okay. Uh, let's get rid of some of those um, <clears throat> bad weapons. Wait, so what's the difference between these two axes? They're the same. Rusty shields. We'll take it. Take the broadswords. Now, what's in here? Dude, the lighting is so cool, though. An opal, a valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence, similar to the inside of a seashell. That's a new text. It contains the power of water. So this was always theorized, but now it actually does. So I'm assuming if I fuse the opal to an arrow, it's going to be like a water arrow. <clears throat> and probably like a big version. Because I'm assuming the choo-choo, we've seen the choo-choo arrows in the previews, they're like the small version. Okay, I want to serve that rail. Was the opening cutscene any good? Yes. No spoilers, yes. I recommend you to experience this game fresh. I mean, I guess right now this is kind of safe, this is just going to be the tutorial area, but especially the story moments. I went to great lengths as a Korok. Um, I went to great lengths personally to um, avoid spoilers these recent days. This is so pretty at dawn. Okay, so wait, is the Temple of Time a <laughs> Did he just oof? The Temple of Time should ring in 15 minutes. Let's see if that's consistent. It's literally a church, I guess, just like the Temple of Time in the uh, in Breath of the Wild. There it is. 7 p.m. That's so cool. Okay. <laughs> they need to reach their friend. <clears throat> this is awful. Where's my friend? <gasps> Can you see me? I'm a Korok, one of the children of the forest. I know, I already found one. I was traveling with my friends, but we got separated. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though, I can't move. So, okay. You know, the thing is this. The thing is this, right? I played Breath of the... 
I've played. I've gotten all of the. <laughs> now, I, I could finally get my revenge. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. You have to understand. I've suffered. I, I need to see what happens. <laughs> it had to happen. It had to happen. <clears throat> A nutritious... Everything is nutritious. Mushroom chock full of natural energy. Cook it to release its stamina restoration properties. Okay, so we can make him uh, like a... What is it called? Not grappling hook, but like a... <clears throat> okay, so we can take the backpack, not the Korok itself. What do you call these, chat? Zipline. Oh, I guess I should use both hooks because otherwise he's going to fall off, right? Or like fall down. Okay, I, I, I need to experiment. Wait, how do you do horizontal? Vertical? Wait, how do I like... How do I flip it to the side? Do I have to grab another side? Okay, I see. <clears throat> Alright, this looks safe. This looks safe, right? I mean, it actually kind of... I think it's actually gonna work. <laughs> Why is that fog like green? <clears throat> he made it. Hog. <clears throat> right. Um, and now what? He's just chilling. Oh, wait, we have the amiibo rune now. I do want to... I, I brought the um, <clears throat> this amiibo because I want to see the paraglider skin. I really liked it from the preview. Oh, I'm not going to use it now. No, 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 no. Later. <clears throat> you enjoyed the content series on LimQ Plus? I'm glad. Okay, so there's my friend. Wait, are they like... <laughs> Dude. What are they... What are they inhaling here? What are they cooking for? But like, actually, <clears throat> they're inhaling herbs over here. I will talk to him in a second. Sunset Firefly. This firefly glows gently in the dark. When cooked with monster parts, the compound that causes it to glow results in an elixir that will allow you to move more quietly so stealth i thought this would actually be also would also help us to prevent gloom like those other sun materials we've seen I'm getting so many arrows 28 <clears throat> yeah it looks like they are inhaling some herbal plants over here Reunited at last. Thanks. I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. Two Korok seeds. Yeah. Bye. They're literally lying. They have two completely full backpacks. They just lied. <clears throat> That's cool. Since you won't uh, have types of arrows, I guess you will get many arrows so you can fuse them, that makes sense, yeah. No, his aggro range was bigger than I thought. He has a club. A thick stick. A thick bat cut from a large tree. It is not the sturdiest weapon, but it's heavy and does have a bit of power behind it. Okay, so these pots literally just have apples, or what? Oh, 
Dude, I love the aesthetic on here so much. The music, the like, like calm. Oh my god, I just saw it. I saw it. The flux construct. It's gotta be. Zeltic talked about the fact that he fought it. Oh, that's a big X. And the choo choos are here. I do want those jellies because I think you can fuse into arrows to have water arrows. A gelatinous substance that came from a choo choo. It's unstable in the state, but applying it. Applying a bit from elemental uh, stimulation will change its form. So that's still the same. You can change the elements. Wait, choo choo jellies are so useful then. Because you can just make the choo choo jellies you need to make elemental arrows. That's definitely something we want to stockpile on. Uh, wait. How do I do weapons again? Here. Okay, so it's spin attack in the game. Six damage. I'm assuming it is. <laughs> I'm assuming the double hits are not in the game. Where you get like two hits per spin. That would be way too broken. <clears throat> yeah, I, I am in love already. Just like the atmosphere up here. Gemstones are bigger elemental arrows. Yeah, they showed that in the preview. I haven't seen an opal arrow yet, though. I'm assuming that's going to be a big water arrow. I want to try that out. Maybe when I fight uh, the the big boy. These islands are, like, they feel massive. I don't know in comparison to the Great Plateau, because the Great Plateau is massive too, if you actually go slow and explore. But there's, like, so much going on. But then also, like, no, I don't know. I love them. What are the- I have no idea what the water arrows are for, because in the past we used ice arrows. Wait, they're tanky. They used to have 1 HP. Uh, in the past we used ice arrows to kill fire enemies. But I'm assuming now it's maybe water arrows for those. It feels large, yeah. So these waterfalls just end. I still do- to this day, I do not know what this is. We're gonna learn more about the origins of these islands soon, I'm assuming. I'm still confused. Is there only gonna be three shrines on here? Then we'll find it out soon. I can't believe I'm playing this game. This is so wild. I'm literally gonna be live for like 14 hours today. <clears throat> how, how weird is this? Like, you, you don't understand how hyped these next two months are gonna be. We're all going to be playing the game casually in May, and then in June, trust me, things are going to get, like, wild. You'll see, like, the first actual any percent speedruns of, like, optimization. And I already know, knowing that shrines are in the game now, I will probably look into that, like, doing all of the shrines fast. Also, what's this? Is that, like, a... No, it's not a gravestone, it's just the end of the rail. I will take it slow. I will take, like, most of May to just play casually. Uh, like, the way I play already see, maybe I will unintentionally think outside the box and, like, try, like, a fun skip for a shrine. But I'm still gonna try to then again be beat it properly, just like I did with the Ultra and Shrine. So, I guess we're supposed to build a raft. Where were where the, uh, the parts? Because I'm pretty sure this is the exact location from the Ed, where this guy tried to build a raft. Have you seen the edited version of this Ed? It's so funny. <laughs> Where this guy was building the raft, that's the ad, right? And then somebody edited it in a way that it was like about the game not being out yet. Yeah, 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 it was so funny. So how many hits does this X need? Oh god. Okay, two hits for the big X. Did you notice they actually punish with the sprinting? Oh wait, you're right! You lose more stamina! <laughs> Wait, I didn't notice it yet. That's so funny. Yeah, throw spinning doesn't really work either. <clears throat> I can I I do I would like to try replicating this like weird thing that happened to me earlier. Whenever I see a platform that would work for that again. Okay, but how would I... Do I have to just take it from... 
What just happened? Oh, the wind. Must have been the wind. <clears throat> so how would I... Okay, that's kind of weird. But surely when I attach it... No, <laughs> no, no, no. We can't do that. Keep rotating. But then how do I make it like less... You know? Wait, rotate it towards you, then rotate it vertically. Okay, okay, wait, you have to teach me this. Rotate it towards you. Oh, okay, 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 thanks, Chad. How do you undo the attaching? You have to, like, flick the right stick. <clears throat> yeah, 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 that makes sense. Wind Waker music playing. Ah, that makes sense. Dude, how wild is this? <sighs> Not the boats, but like playing the game. Also, the trees. I mean, I guess this is just how trees work. I should probably over analyzing the trees. Oh, I think I know what happened earlier. Oh, this game is going to be broken. Y did you see what just happened? When I jumped, right? I jumped further because I was carrying the momentum from the boat. That's something they've done with, like, the platforms as well. So I think what happened in this clip is that because I jumped at this angle, the game kept my momentum. So the weapon swing, like, extended it. That's going to be interesting to mess around with. <clears throat> so these lamps are on this time. There's so many chuchus. That's gonna be new combat tech, maybe. I bet there's a Korok seed on this tree. If there is, then this is a good game. game sucks. No, I'm kidding. I'll take some bird eggs. <clears throat> I do not have the paraglider. Wait. Pause. Some dubious food in the system. What's this? A cave? Wait, but I can't... Do I need the bomb flower, right? Because this won't work. <clears throat> I don't think I have anything else explosive yet, and I probably can ultra hand them. Seven. Okay, so it's always at seven in the morning and seven in the evening when the Temple of Time bell rings. All right, let's do the next shrine. I hope this is fuse, but it's probably ascent. <laughs> what? We attacked with his head. Oh, with his horn. Oh, that's so good to see. That's so good to see. This means the enemies probably have horn attacks, which is exactly what I wanted because the the different enemies have different horns, right? So it looks like they'll actually have different movesets. Oh, this is where our Numa fused the mushroom to his shield. Exactly. Oh, this might be fused then. Maybe this is fused then. Because there's random items here. Oh, shit. It's time. <clears throat> Oh, that makes sense, because you have to actually climb up here first, like tediously, and then you get a scent to make it easier. It's another cave. So I don't- I noticed I don't have those symbols yet for the caves. <clears throat> Not sure when they start becoming a thing. Also, can I return to this t This is like where I woke up, right? Probably. All right, Harper. Okay, you can skip the animations. Good to know. Those doors look amazing, though. 
Wait, can I already technically teleport? I can't. Interesting. I love how you just enter them. You just go through. I guess uh, that means no more shrine coordinate warps. There's no elevators. <clears throat> There's loading zones. Okay. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. We will get fuse. The shrine looks like we get fuse. Probably right. Fuse. Attach something to an equipped weapon or a shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that will destroy whatever has been attached. Mm. <clears throat> this is the fuse ability. It allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Also, thank you so much again for the subs, Chris. Thank you. Why not pick up that sword just up ahead and then fuse a nearby object to it? Mm. Use fuse and receive the blessing from the shrine. Okay. What have you missed? This is like the second ability I'm getting. I'm taking it pretty slow. Um, you can quickly set an ability. Right. So how does this feel? See, I don't like that. I don't like that. That's exactly what my concern was. Like, it automatically activates the ability when you switch. You can switch pretty quick, though. I'll get used to that, too. <clears throat> you can cancel? Yeah, I know you can cancel the... Wi Wait, you can't. Unless you press... Oh, when you press B. Okay. Okay, that's good. At least. <clears throat> Wait, so we can fuse this shield to our X. What will happen? Oh, there's already been fuse on it. Alright, shield then. Rusty Claymore, a two-handed sword not properly cared for, although it can be used as a weapon. Its durability is very low. Don't expect it to last for more than a few strikes. What the hell? I'm dual wielding. I'm effectively dual wielding. <laughs> Wait, you can literally attack with parry then! Wait, that's so sick! Wait, that's actually so sick! Oh, we can use like boulder weapons? Dude, how sick is this? Wait, there's basically dual wielding. Looks a bit funny. Wait, what happens if I shield jump? Wait, dude, how many interactions is there going to be? That was kind of fast. What if they like interact depending on the weapon you fuse to it? Also, I did want to try one thing actually. Oh, this won't probably work. Oh, wait, it kind of looked like it worked. Wait, 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 sorry. I do need to try this just to confirm. Nah, nah, nah. The throw animation went through. Interesting. The menus do feel clunky, though. <clears throat> Let's make a thick stick with a boulder. That is a big weapon. That is a big weapon. Thank you for the raid, by the way. I guess I just, like, equip some of my sticks with rocks. Might as well, while I'm here. Plus two damage. Dude, what is this game? Look at me. Wait, so how do I unfuse? Destroy fused materials. So what gets removed? Just a boulder? Okay. Um, yeah, let's make... 
So I have to press fuse and then d-pad up. Or what? Or have I not learned how to do this yet? Wait, how does that work? You have to drop the item. Oh, that only works with arrows out of the inventory. I see. I want to make a water stick. <clears throat> it's a water stick. Dude, this game is amazing. This is literally the entire philosophy of the game. If you think you can make it, you can. Holy shit. <clears throat> okay. So is the chest gonna fall down? There's some berries over there. I'm so happy. <clears throat> okay, can we fuse arrows now? Select material to attach. I have an egg arrow. I won't forget the cave, don't worry. Wood arrows, of course. I'm actually, I was curious what the Zonite charge arrows do. Two damage. That one does three damage. Ember, four damage. And see, those are like water arrows. Those are new. You can sort by damage, by fuse attack power. Amber is the highest. I see. <laughs> Arrow, uh, just, okay, just arrows. Um, it says in the menu how much damage they will add. Oh yeah, the fuse attack power. That's right. <clears throat> Fire fruit, a fruit that generates heat when struck. Cooked correctly, its heating properties improve blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack power in high temperatures. Bunch of arrows, we're like stacked. They just teach, they just taught us how to fuse arrows, but we already figured it out. That's a fire arrow. Thank you for the bits, by the way. This game is amazing so far already, yeah. Dude, the sounds are so clean. Like, how satisfying was that fire sound? A small key. A key to a door inside a shrine of light. I like those keys, they look nice. So basically, our boulder weapons are similar to the iron sledgehammer. This is just a small rock, I'm assuming. I guess you could make a, a rusty rock broadsword. But how good is the design? Just how good is the design? And the sounds. The sound, yeah, the sounds are gods. Are like even better. They were so good in Breath of the Wild. But Hajime Wakai, I think, is the sound guy. He obviously has a team, but he popped off. Okay, is that a construct? It's a captain. It's a captain. Oh, I'm about to get hit. What is the song? I I'm gonna chill for a second. Dude, this sounds so good. What is he doing? What is he cooking? He's making a fuse weapon. And he has a, a bow? Damn. Wait, so can I da do damage with parries? <laughs> okay, no, 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 that's too stupid. <clears throat> Dual wielding.
What a song. Captain Construct 1. It is the Captain Construct 1. Jesus. What is a Captain Construct 3 then? I guess this is the g equivalent of a Guardian then. This is like the small scout. Wait, what is going to be the Captain Construct 3? I'm scared. This wavy double-edged blade-like horn is formidable when it comes to slashing. Attach it to a weapon to increase its attack power. Plus five. That looks very intimidating. Do I still have like a sword? I want to attach it to a sword. I really like how it looks. I don't have a normal sword though. <clears throat> oh wait, a broadsword. Yeah, I do. Dude, how sick does this look? <clears throat> nah, nah. This game. <clears throat> oh, we can probably use swords. That is so nice. That is so nice. I cannot tell you how nice that is. Being able to sort weapons like in in the inventory like that by this by strength. That you can unfuse, but you lose the material the weapon is fused uh, with. Like for example, if I was to Okay, I, I want to keep my water stick. Like the stone axe, right? If I unfuse this, I'm only gonna keep the stick. Uh, the rock gets broken, but I have the base material still. <clears throat> did I go up here? I don't think I did. Okay. Um. Nice. <clears throat> Looks like there's no sorting by strength for weapons, though. Well, you can't really do quick fusing with weapons anyway, right? You have to, like, actually chill somewhere and drop the, them on the ground. Oh, you can fuse the thorns? Oh. But they were not pick up a lot. So they were, like, rocks. Okay, thank you for actually telling me that, because I feel like I wouldn't have picked that up now. Very satisfying sound again. All right, so a little bit of story theorization. And I kept saying this, right? I'm very ready to be proven wrong that Raru is not at all related to Link. But obviously the way he's represented here with the ancient princess is quite interesting. What if this is like an official, kind of like canonic um, Zelling ship? We'll see. I'm not gonna assume anything. I love this music too. I love every, all of the music. I know, I know, Arthur. I haven't read the item description for these orbs of light yet. So do you actually spend them? Because it looks like they already purged the gloom automatically. Does the game just like upgrade you as you go? That's what I kind of want to find out. Because there's going to be the gloom, it's going to be purged, boom. I think almost everything that can be picked up with Ultra can be fused, so that makes sense. A crystal light glows with a light that... Oh no, we did read this, never mind. Light of blessing. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. <clears throat> I wonder if skipping the cutscene here is still going to cause a faster loading screen. Okay, it's kind of impossible to tell. It did load right away, though. Thank you, Oatmeal. And thank you for the sub. <clears throat> is Raro gonna show up again? No, it's Stuart. How good is this shot, though? I came because there's something I failed to give you. I feel like what this is, prediction, is a, like uh, an upgrade for the map so we know where cave entrances are. From a game design perspective, this would make sense. Please take it. 
Oh, we just get it like that. What? I did not expect that. The energy cell. A gift from a Zonai construct. Designed to be worn on a belt. You can, it can power up Zonai devices. What I have just given you is an energy cell. It is required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate this utility because there are no Zonai devices right here. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use this. Okay. I hope that the energy cell is pro I provided is useful to you. It probably is. Okay, we are slowly reaching the full, like, Zonai Link aesthetic. Yeah, the, the long hair is looking good on Link. I know, I know Link had hair that was this long in the pre- in the, like, in Breath of the Wild, but he had a hairband on, but he does rock this cut. <clears throat> um, but yeah, we have the, the Construct Bow. I didn't read the item description for this. But I already read it in the preview of the game. A bow used by a Captain Construct, though simply built, is made of fireproof materials and won't catch fire as wooden bows. Right. Only five attack power, um, which I guess is to balance bows because we're gonna add fuse power. Okay, it's seven again. Two hits for those. Just a chest here and a table and a rock. Also, the chest opening animation is clean. Just arrows, okay. I have so many arrows, what? 40. So far, the music is still hit or miss for me, though. I guess I'm so used to the atmospheric music of Breath of the Wild, and I understand that people don't like it as much, but I love it. It has, like, references to Breath of the Wild, but it's, like, more solemn. Uh, so he just wants me to go to the other side of the cave, right? Mm, yeah, okay. I haven't seen anything about fusing bow yet. I don't think you can. I think you can only fuse arrows, shields, and weapons. I still can't get over the dual wielding. <clears throat> oh yeah, the cave, the cave. We can go here now. Uh, does a jump attack destroy it in one swing? It does not. Oh shit. Behind the waterfall. Wait, is this a shortcut? No. I thought we were about to play Dark Souls. Wait, this is sick though. I'll take it, I'll take it. It's gonna be interesting to kind of figure out what stuff you want to potentially maybe sell. Because obviously in the past you would just keep gemstones to make money. But now they are like potentially powerful for your equipment. I feel like I don't really care about money until I see something that I really want to buy. Okay, so this was just for the chest, but there's caves like that to explore. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. I see. It is a shortcut. We are playing Dark Souls. Now we can make it over there, but I guess in the future we'll be able to teleport, but now we don't need the raft. Ah, I need to not waste a sprint. Oh, I will actually definitely upgrade my stamina. Now. Wait. No. This does, does this feel better? I feel like maybe pulling out the weapon removes the stamina drain a bit. No, not really. Huh? I wonder if that's better. Because you keep your speed a bit, but uh, probably not. Anyway. 
Yeah, it's uh, because that used to be in Breath of the Wild, Laura. It was called throw sprinting. And because whistle sprinting is gun, that's probably why people keep trying it. So they are fighting the, fighting the, uh, the choo-choos because they're considered enemies, essentially. Okay, this way I'm going to test double hits. It's over. It's over. Why are double hits still in the game? Oh no. That's not good. That's like one thing I actually didn't want to keep. I'm pretty sure I got two hits there on each rotation. Unless they one shot them? It one shot them? I don't think so though. <clears throat> How do you double it? Like normally you would just like face your back to the enemy as you spin attack and it looked like i got two hits per rotation there we'll see later but that would not be good because uh, that would just make two end weapons way too powerful oh i kind of want the long stick um but i don't know what i should get rid of definitely not my water stick i love the water stick <clears throat> I kind of want to use the water stick in combat. Can I still do this? Yeah. Um, okay, let's try this. I think these guys have 8 HP, right? So normally... Okay, you couldn't really tell there. The first hit was definitely only single hit. Oh, this is the guy that pushed our Numa off. I mean, this is why I was down for them to remove bullet time, because this is still how we're going to play the game. I'm sorry. It's way too broken. Can you beat uh, Tears of the Kingdom with only water? What's your opinion on the voices in the shrines? I like them. A lot. Very mysterious. Yeah, I know, Amas. You can drop weapons right out of the chest now if your inventory is full. <clears throat> I kind of want one of those fans. I have too many boulder weapons. <laughs> Dude, with this game. That actually seems pretty powerful. Mainly because you can usually push enemies into the water. Um... And we were not able to make wind gusts this quickly in the previous game. <clears throat> that seems quite good. Do I have any, like, shock material? I don't think so. Oh, is this actually effectively an electric arrow? <laughs> nice try. Ancient Arovana. A lively fish that hasn't changed much since ancient times. Its nutritious meat can restore a bit of health. Yeah, that seems good. Let's make a meal. Let's make an omelette. We put in some leek, some meat. Two eggs. Let's go with three eggs. Big omelette. Do you bounce when shield surfing with shield plus mushroom? I can't try that. Energizing steamed meat. What happened to the egg? I put three eggs in there. Actually, this is a good, a good idea. Let's fuse a choo-choo jelly. Uh, okay, I'm getting rid of my dual wielding shield for uh, science. Okay, we have a wet shield now. I remember the skew bounces. I do. Oh, no, no, no. I need to drop the mushroom. Fuse it to the shield. Quickly take the materials. Oh, that's right. I should probably get used to that. That's a good point, game. Thank you, game. 
Wait, I think it literally reminded me of that because I kept dropping items like the wrong way. <laughs> No, <laughs> that was not very spectacular. I had two shields. Oh, you're right, you're right. But it doesn't really matter. We used like a broken claymore for it. Soldier Reaper. Okay, now we can drop a weapon. So why is this called a Reaper? Because this type of horn, a tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it, use it as a weapon. I was still trying to figure out how the um, naming. What, <laughs> dude? Look at me. Most normal Tears of the Kingdom equipment. Like, actually, probably is the most normal one because you can attach like balloons to your shield. <laughs> I do want to make a st uh, like stamina meal in case I ever run out let's get this fish i keep trying to open the glider <clears throat> all your weapons have rocks it does seem pretty powerful discovery pond side cave so that's a location and now it gets put on the map. Ah, this is what people were talking about with the quality of life change for like checking out caves you haven't explored yet. I see. Speaking of which, we can remove... Oh, the pin got removed because we reached the location. Was it always in the game like that? Because... Um, I know it was an Elden Ring, but I thought you had to manually remove them. Okay. This is the Bright Bloom Seed. A seed that's often found in caves or wells. When struck, it will give, it will take root and bloom. So we've seen this. In the ad. Giving of faint light from a small flower. Throw material. Select material from your inventory to throw. Okay. So what? We just press... We press R when we're on it? Wait, I missed it. How do I do it? Select it from... Oh, is that not throwable? Hold R and then D-pad up. Oh! <laughs> okay, so we planted a seed. And now we have light. And we have key size now. Oh god, I shouldn't hit some... With this wind thing, because I keep blowing all of my materials away. Key swing. An aerodynamic material dropped by an defeated keys, arrows, and thrown weapons fly farther. With this item attached. So this is like the long ra range one. What happened to the to the ember? What? What? Wait, is that an enemy? It's a frog. It's a giant lord of the mountain spirit frog. Wait, I don't want to hit it. It's, it's like cool. Can we talk maybe? S Sir? I mean, oh god. Okay, so I guess, so this is interesting. Because in this kind of scenario, I was like, oh, maybe this is where I need uh, the thing, right? Um, but you don't. I was gonna say, this is where I need, um, wait, what's going on? Wait, why is every message being deleted? I'm confused. Um, oh, there were spoilers. I see, I see. <clears throat> Rare ore. Um, yeah, that is true. What is that thing called? Axolotl. I've seen those before. 
Oh, a ruby from the rare ore? A precious red ore mined from large ore deposits. Rupees contain the power of fire and have fetched a high price since ancient times. And a flint. Strike with metallic weapon to generate a spark. This fire starter breaks after one use, but you can create a long-lasting flame if you strike it near firewood. Okay, so that's also still the same. Yeah, I don't know if I want to, like, attack it. So I was thinking maybe this is where you would use the the arrows. I'm just going to not attack it yet, but though. No. <clears throat> um, this is where you would use the... Oh, a giant bright bloom seed. A seed that's found underground. When struggle will take root and bloom, radiating a large amount of light from a big flower. Um, I thought this is the perfect time to use homing arrows, but you can always just go into bullet time like that. And you can just stay because uh, you don't lose your stamina until you fire. Rock salt. Crystallized salt from the ancient sea. Commonly used to... The ancient sea. Commonly used to season meals. Cannot be eaten in the swamp. You can also tell I haven't read some of these texts. What happens if I go into the bubble? I don't take damage. So it's technically not hostile. Right? Hmm. Interesting. When in doubt, kill, but it's like a spirit. It's basically like the Lord of the Mountain. And it's not hurting me. But I do know, I do want to know what it drops. Wait, but it doesn't have HP, does it? Wait, this looked literally like the Twilight Princess light things, right? Bubble gem. A strange crystal left by defeated bubble frogs in caves. Its eerie blue glow may entice you to collect even more. And it turned into blue piece. Interesting. It's just here. The archaic tunic. Old-fashioned upper body wear. It's got some holes, but the soft cloth feels good to the touch. It's hard to keep it wrinkle-free. Oh shit. It's time. That probably means that in speedruns you will still be naked. If you have to get out of your way to get it. But uh, one thing that I do want to try is I want to waste, quote-unquote, waste one of those seeds because I want to know how much uh, light they radiate. It's not bad. I guess. It's kind of pretty. Remember to stretch? I will, I will. I will also get my breakfast here soon. Probably after we are done with the Great Sky Island. <clears throat> Wait, did we just unintentionally time that perfectly? Leaving this cave at 7 a.m. so the, the bell would ring? Raru's here as well. Um, yeah, that tunic looks clean. How long are you streaming today? But probably between anything between 10 and 15 hours. Depends how much fun I'm having right now. I can see this go until I need to sleep. Who's who's Raru? Uh, this man. I don't. I, I don't need you guys to sub for me to play this game. I will be playing this game. For like a hundred hours in the next week or something. He was a sage light on green of time. Yeah, but he's definitely drastically changed. Again, overall, my entire theory for this game was always that it's like a reimagination of the timeline, right? If that's true, we'll see. Um, but uh, he he's a he's a known name. 
Okay, so this is where Aonuma made the raft, right? And this is where we can use the uh, the battery. Although my weapons are like kind of nice. <laughs> Stuart, I'm sorry. I was probably supposed to talk to them first. Um, but I watched the gameplay demo. Ah, we have need of these parts. We may have need of these parts. There are many more materials near the water available for you to use. Okay. These rafts are broken. The Zona devices will be useless until they are fixed. Zona devices? Yes, they are tools that we employ. Do you not know of them? They are uh, necessities here. I recommend that you learn how to use them. Though I cannot teach you. I'm occupied with figuring out how we can possibly make repairs. Ask the construct next to the fan for more information. Okay, so this is a Zona device, right? Ah, we may need... Um, we may have need of these parts. There are more materials near the water available for you to use. Okay, so this is the one that he wants. We uh, we have the Zonai device, but I do not see how it will help us with the broken raft situation. Ah, it seems you do not know of Zonai devices. They are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. The green thing is called a Zonai device. The one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zona devices for multitudinous, multitudinous purposes. I have never se seen that word in my life. Using Zona devices does require energy. An external energy cell will be necessary in your case. Pardon the long explanation. It does not change our need for a raft. Zona devices are extremely useful. Think creatively and you will find many ways to enjoy them. Okay. Um, I mean, again, I've watched the gameplay demo, so I kind of know what to do here. These river rafts are seriously damaged. They may be beyond repair. This could present a problem. Okay, I know how to fix that. Mm. The steward constructs were the first to be built. After that, we crafted others, suited to different roles. Culinary constructs, maker constructs, you'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Um, thank you, by the way, Gooning, for the sub as well. Some became so skilled within their specialties that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. You should take time out to talk to them. They can teach you many things you might not even know. Yet. Okay, well, I know how to build the raft, but I kind of want to go back there because we already know that we can move these platforms. Okay, there's a broken construct. But we cannot... Why are some of them so broken and others are so healthy? That is kind of strange. I'm assuming I can ultra hand. I cannot ultra hand. Oh, those are just like, that's just like the architecture. <clears throat> so these platforms here are pretty powerful. What is down there? Another captain construct. We definitely want to go there. Uh, because you can just like move them around, right? You can like build your own path, which is kind of cool. The game till now is amazing. So I can use motion controls to move it down. Okay, watch this. Oh wait, I don't have the paraglider. <laughs> that would have not ended well. Oh, I think my collector's edition is literally arriving right now. Give me one second, I'm gonna get it real quick. this why am i getting it in this like holy we can unbox it later <clears throat> i 
I will try Amiibos later too, yeah. Oh, because the Link Amiibo is in there as well. I, I got the, the Arm Amiibo too. <clears throat> Hello? Why can I not grab this? I was able to before. Okay, whatever. All right, let's let's check out. Should I do it? <laughs> yeah, double hits are still in the game. Double hits are still in the game. I just got one. That's actually pretty annoying, because that means that two-hand weapons will still be, like, the strongest. <clears throat> Maybe we get new amiibo drops? I will try that later, yeah. Um... Let's rob one of those. The thick stick. Well, what do I do now, though? Do I actually have to build my way back up? Maybe I should have thought this through, because I don't think I can warp yet. One and it's still top for me, don't care if they're weak. Oh, no, absolutely. Especially for casual playthrough, I don't care. But this means we'll probably be doing a lot of, like, spin attacks, too. In uh, optimized gameplay. I guess I can climb back up here. <clears throat> Instead of building another path. Damn. That island there with the final, presumably final shrine, is so high up. This game is indeed pretty. Where is this even going? Oh, this is to going to the top of the cave we just went through. Is there something on here? A bunch of birds. This is where we enter the cave. I feel like spears are much more useful now if you've used them something strong. Ooh, I like... Actually, that's a good point. I would like to try that out later. Oh, it's a Korok. We'll take it. Uh, there we go. That makes four. Now, oh, I need to build a boat now. I'm assuming people have already tried to fall damage cancel, right? Because it would be pretty lame if I would do it here, and then that would be my first death. But then you know what? I, at least I would be done. I would have it out of the way. So you know, why not? Right. That's what happens when you throw mid-air now. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, but what if I already throw before jumping down? <laughs> okay, it's patched. <laughs> that should have worked. You can try, but even if you do it like this, it doesn't work anymore. But it doesn't seem as useful on here. 
I guess it depends when we get like if we get like movement tech. Damn, we can explore all of this up there once we get ascend, which I'm assuming is in the final shrine. Okay, so how do we go down here without death? Maybe a jump on the tree. Get some eggs. There's so many eggs here. Wait, do you see that? That feels so sick. Why does the jump feel so good from there? I didn't do it correctly there, but I feel like if you jump off like a slope, you jump really far. Didn't work there. That's weird. Let's go, Faselbaum. I'll open the collector's edition in a bit when I get breakfast. All right, time to build a boat. We should build the Aonuma style boat in honor of the gameplay demo. Um, right. Wait, how do I even... How do I, like, extend it to, like, how do I move it back? Oh, by not pressing the R button. That makes sense. It will definitely take some getting used to, but eventually we'll, we'll be able to get that probably quickly. Uh, yeah, that's a good fan. Wrong way? That's right. <laughs> What if we make, what if we try this boat? Would it like, do like a spin? I do kind of want to try that out now. Alright, watch my new creation. <laughs> I mean, you know. Works as intended. Wait, that battery lasts pretty long. Yeah, Ultra Ant is definitely a little leggy, but that's okay. Ah. Uh. Knowing when to let go of uh, the ultra hand button, uh, sorry, the rotating button is gonna be interesting. Yep, underwater exploration, there it is. Alright, here we go. I had to use the overclocking for running the game with 30 FPS. I use. Scared for the next chapters? Um, no, but I definitely am running into some frame issues too, but it's as expected. Oh, I guess I'm draining my battery right now because I forgot to switch it off, but that's okay. <clears throat> and it just automatically recharges. So you know what my theory was for the recharging? Is that it basically is literally solar power. It's like charged up by light, which the entire like light theme um, would kind of support that. I guess we're supposed to learn how to make a fire here. So you wouldn't be able to recharge it in caves? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it just automatically recharges either way. So if I just fuse a flint to an arrow, is that good enough? It is not, because you need to strike it with a metal object. Do we even have a metal object? Is the construct thing considered metal? It is. <clears throat> I know you can throw items, yeah. I can throw salt. What if I throw it in the pot? Okay, never mind. Imagine scrolling through deep with a full inventory. Yeah, the sorting is gonna be interesting. You can do it by most used, by most fuse power. Literally salt bay, yeah. 
Okay, um, the ranger just... Is he going back home? He's hugging the tree. He's digging. That's a ranger construct. Are you going in this direction? This mountain path is especially rugged. You must take your environment into account when traveling. I've developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Shall I tell you them? Sure. Very well. Fire is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used either to cook or to warm yourself. I recommend using flint as a fire starter. Place flint next to the bundle of wood, then strike with a metallic or stony weapon. This is my recipe for fire. There are several other methods, but it is best to internalize the basics first. I guess we already learned cooking. I don't know if there's something else to say. You can cook anytime and anywhere. All you need is a pot of lit fire. One method of cooking is simply to throw random ingredients into the pot. Others are more careful. This is the best way to make meals that can warm you up. Other effects are also possible. Insects and monster parts are not edible. Do not cook horns or guts with food. Aha, there it is. Save these parts as materials for elixirs. Elixirs are also helpful in the mountains. They are an alternative way to warm your body or recover stamina. The first step in all cases is to start a fire though. That is all I can tell you. Take care. There's a huge rail from up there. Oh, we are like under the, uh, the boss arena right now. Of course, I don't have a scent yet. Big choo-choo. I should probably save. I guess... I don't know if I should still be thinking about weapons the same way. Because when I first played casually, right? Breath of the Wilds, I wanted to save my good weapons for hard fights. I should cancel my bot speech in chats. Because of the Breath of the Wild speedrun thing? Yeah, it's... Right now it's okay. But eventually, yes. Because there's still a Breath of the Wild speed running on my YouTube channel, it's not like that has changed. So pretty. <clears throat> okay. This is how we start a fire, this is true. This is how we... Oh, we can build a fan minecart. That sounds fun. It's just at 7 o'clock again. Let's attach a fan to it. I think we learned over the last years, gear fear was not really a thing in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, true. Um... And I think it's even less of a problem now in this game. I, eventually I know how to do this. Wait, does this even work? Also, there's a- wait, wait, there's a camp. Ooh, this has a captain and two normal constructs. You know what? This is- this is my time to try a ruby arrow. Oh wait, I, I don't have fuse equipped, so this won't work, right? Oh, it still it still just works. Um. Okay. I guess they're kind of strong. Good to know. Wait, so f fusing arrows always works. You don't need to have fuse equipped. That's actually really good. I like that. It just automatically, fuse automatically fuses. Nice. We take that. I haven't actually seen an Opal error. I guess it's just a huge watery explosion. Thanks for trying what I was too greedy to try myself. Yeah, I don't know how important money is going to be in this game or like rupees. Probably at one point it's going to be um, 
You know what? It's fine. Just don't question my creativity with this card here. Okay, never mind. Question it. I just don't know how fans work. I have a fan literally to the right of me. But I guess I couldn't be bothered to look. So can I just hit the card itself? No, I do have to hit the fan. That's pretty cool. Discovery, new ca Oh my god! Wait, what's going on? That was so dark. Mining cave. That is very dark. Okay, so using your rune still kind of glows up the surroundings a bit. Fans stack. Yeah, I definitely mess around with that later. Building something truly crazy. You're supposed to hit the flowers. Um, what do you mean? Oh, that's what you mean. But then you can pick them up and take them with you. I know you can fuse the light seeds, yeah, yeah, and then you can grow them somewhere else. But um, if you hit them, you can't pick them up for later anymore. Please wait. This cave is especially dark. You will need a light in order to proceed to the mining site ahead. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? Yes. No, I know of them. Ah, do you not know of them? The glowing flowers there are bright blooms. They shine very brightly. Many use them as illum illumination in dark places. These bright blooms glow natively in caves such as this one. This cave has been picked mostly clean of them. That is because it is especially dark. The seeds were often necessary. So scary. I'm posted here to provide a reminder to bring bright bloom seeds. By the way, did you know bright blooms require a stimulus to blossom? Striking a bri bl bright bloom seed or attaching it to an arrow will cause it to activate on impact. The bright bloom seed you see gr uh, growing here is no different. I caused it to blossom. It will generally be in your best interest to use bright bloom seeds in dark places such as this. So what I wanted to try though is can I fuse um, you know what? This was fun, but we're gonna get rid of this. Can I fuse this to a weapon and then just hit it? Okay, maybe I can't. I thought maybe striking it against anything would still activate it. What about jump attack? Okay, well, then it just gets planted. I see. Thank you for the subs once again, everyone. Again, I have alerts off during this because this is my first playthrough, of course. Uh, thank you also, Mike, for the 30 bits. That's great timing, Sorofane. What is this? This is Zonite, right? It's gotta be a Zonite ore. From the shape of it. Damn, that's so cool. Whoa! It just stacked up like this. We saw this in the preview, that's why I knew it. An unusual mineral that has many purposes. Ancient ex ancients extracted energy from it and refined it for the crafting of weapons and armor. I see. There's another... What are they called? Bl blub? Blub frogs? I'm sorry, sir. But I want those... I want those. The, the bubble gem. This, by the way, people always ask me when I talked about it, why do you think you wouldn't need homing arrows? That's why. A strange crystal left by defeated bubble frogs. Right. Bubble frog. And lots of zonite. Oh, so it's like a currency. In the top right, see? That's what they used to mine. That makes sense, Shinasan. That is interesting. Whoa. That's so cool. How cool is this? 
They're like smelting. Smelting Zonite? Smelting Ore? Those lamps look so good in the dark. Like the I have 30 Zonite. 31 Zonite. Okay, they're powering something up. Can I take... <laughs> okay. Excuse me! That Zonite is already slated for processing. It would pose difficulties for me if you took it for yourself. Zonite? Oh, are you unfamiliar with it? I mean, I just took like 30. This is the Zonite I mentioned. It is, an uni it is a unique material that, you c uh, that can be mined far beneath the land below. There are trace deposits of it on this island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Our society flourished by processing the substance into other materials. Also, my doorbell just rang again. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just the postman, but I'm also just gonna quickly get my breakfast so I don't have to leave. Zonite is processed by smelting it in a furnace. It is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Zonite is useful, I see. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sorts of materials the ore can be processed into. Zonite technology, okay, is typically powered by zonite charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonite into other useful materials in this way is called processing. Zonite charges? Zonite charges are what power zonite devices and constructs. Right, we can like replenish the battery power as we go. A charge can be consumed to replenish your energy cell. Do you need anything else explained? So what are the crystallized charges? They are solidified form of zonite charges. We mainly use them as raw material in the construction of energy cells. Please visit any time you require processed materials. Okay. So I can purchase them for zonite. A fragment of crystal made by condensing zonite charges processed from zonite. Said to be used for energy cell improvement. So this can improve my battery, right? It's called the energy cell. Should I just get them all? I mean, I have 30 zonite, and I have a bunch of charges, and I don't have any of those. So he will, pos po okay, so he will like process, this is the shop, the quote unquote shop, that we always thought is a shop. Um, so this will, this guy will basically use my zonite now and make new ones, and then we can again bring zonite to exchange it. I see. I am back indeed. Good. So I don't know how this is going to be used to um, improve the energy cell, but might as well hold on to it. What if I just mine this guy's ore away? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Also, my fuse material just broke, I think. Yeah. This cave previously had ample resources. It is gradually yielding less and less. This is why I require support, but my requests have gone, have so far gone unanswered. I must therefore continue to mine without resting. Damn. Oh, no, it didn't break. I wonder what happens. So if the weapon breaks, does the whole weapon break? Or only the fused material? Um, throw bright. Oh, you're right. Very clever. This way we don't need an arrow. 
Good point. Ah, I have not given permission to take those. <laughs> I like my positioning here. Could it be that you have forgotten to bring Zona Zonai capsules? Zonai capsules? You've forgotten yours, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zonai capsules are a convenient means to carrying portable Zonai devices. That actually depends on what you use. Interesting. It is unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. Three fans. Thank you. A Zonai device that produces wind with its internal propeller. It's likely that the Zonai made smart use of this wind power to transport objects and generate rust. The ones I gave you were fan types. You can deploy them at any time. They will generate wind when struck. Zonai devices are useful and come in many varieties. I always carry several with me for any occasion. Many neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. The spares I give you. Uh, the spares I gave you were the last ones I carried. Take care to not forget again. Remember that a device cannot be put back in its capsule. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. I see. So I could use one from my pouch. Actually, in fact, I probably need to. Because I don't think you can... Can you shield surf on these rails? Also, I do kind of want to remove the mushroom from my shield. It looks kind of stupid. Oh, I need to go into the inventory to do so. So those ones I can put on the ground. Take out the vice. Okay. And then they like spawn, but they can't be put back into the capsule. Okay, you can, but since it goes like upstairs, um, we won't be able to make without the fan. Also, is there something on this roof? I don't think I can. Uh, I guess I can check. Does look like it though. Nope. I keep thinking of the glider. <clears throat> Great. Oh, okay, we got like a little indicator whether it's attached or not. I mean, technically, I could go all the way back now and save one of my fans, but, like, it's fine. Um, eventually, I'll figure out how to do this. There we go. Any minute now. Do you know you can avoid losing an arrow by holding R and selecting the object? I don't know exactly what you mean by that, but I didn't know that either. By holding R and selecting the object. Oh, you mean by, by uh, to throw objects. Yeah, 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 that's what we just talked about. If that's what you mean. Can you fuse a minecart to your shield? We can try that in a second here. I will press D-pad up so many times. Um, maybe. Uh, you can. Most normal shield. Okay, I do want to try this real quick then. Yeah, what happens if I just shield serve? Nah. This is the future! This is actually the future! What if you shield on the rails? It should work! Huh? Nah! It's literally a minecart game! Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, see, I wonder if there's actually going to be a mention of the cloud barrier because the clouds seem so thick right now. But you can kind of like glimpse down. Like, what's down there? What's the sky? Island? Okay, I will reload though. 
um, because I do not want to lose. I don't. Not, not, I do not want to lose another fan. But like, nah. I was gonna say. Imagine having a fused minecart with a fan. Wait, how could we make that work? Can we fuse a fan to our weapon and then like use the fan as we skate, <laughs> something like that? Oh my god, this game. Don't look at the big construct. Where is it? Oh, it's there. It didn't see us yet. A little intimidating. We'll go over there soon enough. Probably after doing the final shrine here, right? They want you to jump down. Are we gonna get the paraglider there? Because how else are we gonna go down? Or are we gonna go into the water? I don't know. The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell. They woke up at 7 a.m. Not bad. When we heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. Mm. What? Going to bed at 7? It also played its part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was this place, place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of its bell stir fond memories in me. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if it's gonna have like a big meaning other than the fact that it like kind of like tells us when night and day is given well given the entire duality of the game right we talked about like the sun and moon night and day thing it seems to have some meaning my boulder hammer is breaking down it's been a trusty weapon Okay, there can be an elixir inside a chest. That's kind of weird. Restores your stamina, which is used when performing physical actions such as climbing. That's new, right? We haven't seen elixirs of food in a chest before. This entire area is a bit suspicious. This is where we started up there, right? Yeah. Hope you're enjoying a game. I managed to back myself to collect this edition today. Let's go. I just got it delivered, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, what happened there? Did I have ragdoll glitch? It kind of looked like it. Thank you, thank you. Kartoffel. Okay, so this is where we got the... Uh, this is where the, the gacha machine is, essentially. And then there's a bunch of rails. Up there there's a shrine. I do want to go down quick. Because I have not... Wait, I'm confused now. I think I got the Korok seed from this tree. But I didn't go up to that tree. I definitely did not go up to this big tree. I should mark that uh, whenever I can teleport. Yeah, I'm not going to be reading chat too much just to because I'm just kind of playing the game, but the later we get into the game, the more I'm going to want to discuss actual stuff. <clears throat> okay, so this guy needs to reach his friend again. No Korok up here. Oh, okay. I know where I am. This is um, also the cave that our Numa went in to demonstrate ascent. And that's where the fight is. I mean, I could technically reach it. We we'll wait until the final shrine. Because I feel like that's what the game wants you to do. Hip. Hip. 
Feel free at any point, Jason, to step out. I'm personally taking the risk to stream the game of chat, so I'm taking the risk to get spoiled. That's why I'm not looking at it much. It's not your it's not your responsibility to like delete every single spoiler here, especially if you need rest. <laughs> I'll delete them when I see them and stuff, but it is just it's just what it is. Let's hope people are nice. Device dispenser operation confirmed. On track to meet today's Zonai capsule production target. Oh, you want to use the device dispenser? I have nearly met my target. You're welcome to use it. Device dispenser? Yes, this is a device dispenser. It produces Zonai capsules by converting certain resources. The resources it accepts are things such as Zonai uh, charges and construct horns. Construct horns as well, we didn't know that before. You can process resources that you hold by dropping them into the receptacle. It is similar to using a cooking pot. Shall I explain Zonai capsules too? Sure, I think we learned of them before. Right. They are so plentiful, you can extract many Zonai capsules from a single device dispenser. It ensures you will always have a few. Okay, wait, so is this one not available to use? Is that what they said? No, it is. It actually feels like there are less Koroks. I guess we'll see. That is a bunch of pods. Portable pods, a zona device for cooking food almost any time, anywhere. It lasts um, for cooking one recipe only. The device is easier to use on flat surfaces. A flame emitter, a zona device that shoots fire. It's thought to have been originally used as protection from monsters. So we got a flamethrower now. As cool as I think the minecart shield is, I do want a flamethrower shield pretty bad. I don't know if I can attach it to a wooden shield is my issue. I guess there's only one way to find out, huh? Okay, nice. I thought it would maybe break. Oh, like, 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 you know, catch fire. That is so cool. Especially because you can also make- ah, I don't have the paraglider. Ha! <laughs> I was gonna say I can also make updrafts, but then I realized I don't have the paraglider. Okay, so this guy needs to go to his friends. Should I cash out some more? Why not while I'm here? You can drop capsules from the quick menu. Oh? Like in the materials. That's a cute animation. I haven't gotten a rocket yet, but maybe rockets are not a, a, like available at this point. Because we haven't really learned about rockets yet. Zonai devices. Very nice. You can check through the map if you got all unique capsules. Oh, like this? Like, this is what they have. I see. That looks clean. I like that. Forge construct, right? So we can buy the materials. I think down there we have been. This is crazy how this is kind of layered. Like, this is where we reached after going down with the boat, right? And then we went through the mining cave to end up here again. And then this thing is, like, super high up in the sky. We haven't been able to be here yet, mainly because we don't have a send. And here... Are we getting closer to the end? I mean, I've been in this thing for three hours and I'm still enjoying every second. Okay, let's bring the Korok over. And this is the tutorial zone. Well, to be fair, in Breath of the Wild, the Grey Plateau was one of the most exciting areas, honestly, for me. Not that it didn't peak there, like some people say, but that's why I want to especially take my time with this one. I just saw the coordinates on the map. Yep, they are a thing. Also, we just got the map for this, which is still curious to me. Because the only thing we have on the map is the Great Sky Island, right? But it was on the Pura pad. So did Pura... Did Zelda? Oh my god, the story is actually going to be so interesting. We haven't really thought about the story yet because we've just done all of the game mechanics. Okay, so I guess I bring the Korok over there first, but I do want to... 
I do want to um, go into this cave as well. Oh. Sorry. You're moving me? Then you must be able to see me. Be gentle, okay? I'm in a real pickle. I was traveling with someone and got separated. Okay. I wonder if we get that text every single time because I already knew that I could do that, right? I'm so tired, though. I can't move. I already threw a Korok off the ledge. That was like the first thing I did. Don't worry. It had to be done. Boom. Here you go, sir. Two more Korok seeds. I still want to know what they're cooking there. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Two more seeds. That's pretty cute. That's a new Yahaha sound. I'm I'm actually rich. What? I have a hundred arrows? I guess that's just normal now. I guess because of fuse. And I, dude, bow and arrow was already the by far most broken weapon in the game. And now we have fuse and like so many arrows. What? You know, this is just a random theory I just had, which is probably wrong. It would be very strange if it was true. But I kept thinking how like all of the metal weapons that I've seen in the game so far were like rusty. Maybe it's because that's the one those are the ones from the Sky Islands. But what if like arrows on the surface are rusty? Nah, probably not. That would be weird. <clears throat> I hope there's a coral quest where you reunite like ten at once. That would be cool. One zonite. We'll take it. Right, so I already know what this is. This next part here is from the Ed, right? Where the, the rail is broken. <clears throat> also, I want to find out so bad. <coughs> I'm choking. What this is. We've seen this building like everywhere, in every trailer. Do you think all the weapons will be in here? Mm, maybe? It would make sense. Because why not just port them, right? <clears throat> I just like breathed in some dust. Okay, so this is the thing, right? We need... Oh. I mean, you could probably just walk up the rail, but that's kind of boring. I think all you need is a long mine card. And then you need to balance it to the left. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We can't even save a fan. I want the paraglider so bad. What is he cooking? Watch, watch. So now we can bridge the gap, right? But, but now we need we need it to like lean to the left. Yep. Watch. Flying machine. Yep. Now it's gonna lean to the left, so it's not gonna fall off. This is the best. This is the best creation you've ever seen. Watch this. Oh. <clears throat> right. Good test. However, I learned something. I learned something. Watch this. Right, now this. Um... <clears throat> Thank you. 
<gasps> right. You got the idea, though. Well, maybe I should just attach it the right way. Instead of the most weird and intricate way. That could help. Okay, I'm getting slowly used to how to rotate these. Uh, I thought at least. Wait, so if I wanna... Right, and now this, and now this. Boom. Got it. Wait, if you guys already did this, is this how you solve this yourself? Or is there like another more obvious way that I didn't think of? <clears throat> I feel like this seems like the obvious one. <clears throat> What's up, Mooney? You did something else? Interesting. Okay, that's just a normal tree branch. Oh, okay, so I should always interact with these. That gives a zonite charge basically every time. Now, did I just come here for this chest and a bunch of zonite charges? Possibly, yes. But... I also um, saved two Koroks. <clears throat> I did that balancing act with two minecarts, not a good idea. I tried that too just now. It didn't really work out great. Wow. A portable cooking pot. Thanks, Breath of the Wild. I mean, Tears of the Kingdom. <clears throat> At least we can jump down easily. That was way too close. <laughs> I didn't realize that he would dive, like, instantly. Okay. Oh, it's time for the spicy peppers again. This pepper is exploding with spice. Cook it to create dishes that will raise your body temperature. Okay. What happens if we fire a chili... Okay, I kind of want to try that. Okay, it was a little bit underwhelming, but it looked so fun that I had to try it. Okay, I don't think chili arrows emit fire. <laughs> no, they do not. I have been in a cave. The pit cave. I'm assuming this guy is going to teach me how to cook uh, chilies to make a warming food. What if I surprise him by already knowing how to do this? Wait, he hums like a different melody every time. That was not the cuss theme. That's cute. He hums like melodies from the first game when he cooks. Grant's low level cold resistance, the spiciness of these sauteed peppers has been broken by the heat for a sweeter taste. Dude, this looks kind of cool actually. The rock on a sword. Oh, you are right, by the way, that one hand weapons feel very satisfying. Especially these like club type weapons. Big fan. <clears throat> wow, that was worth it. We're rich. I really want to make a diamond arrow. I will, by the way. I will waste my first diamond that I find. Oh, the ruby arrow. Maybe I'll use that for the boss. That's crazy, though. That means I technically wasted like 400 ru rupees if they're still in the game. Seven o'clock again. Excuse me. The snowy mountain above us is extremely cold. Unprepared travelers will swiftly lose vitality and may even die. Are you fortified against the cold? Fortified how? Insufficient preparation can lead to death in harsh environments. Okay, just cutting to the chase. 
No, it makes sense, Jesse. I'll talk to you soon. My advice can avert this. Please listen carefully. The primary safeguards used by our creators were meals that warmed them. These meals were typically prepared using ingredients with warm sounding names. Any such ingredient will suffice. Also, some wore thick clothes or warmed themselves by a fire. These solutions were effective, but less accessible. Be mindful of your ingredients when cooking. My understanding is that only one cooking effect can be applied per meal. That's right. You must take care not to eat something with a different effect afterwards. The chill will set in again sooner than you expect. Okay, that's still the same. Cold is a little bit worse now, like more aggressive, like it needs more damage. I will, I will test that out. I still haven't made a single uh, homing arrow. I wonder if I will at one point. Also, the this looks so good. What the hell? Like the vegetation. Wait. Okay. From overanalyzing the trailer, I just realized something about the vegetation. I won't say it because I think some people are just watching for the tutorial area. That's massive. What the hell? Okay, so I can go there, but I can also go down. The cold is a pain in this game. Interesting. Oh, it's another bubble frog. <laughs> is that already enough? God, that's awful. I don't want him to like suffer. But doesn't this look like the way? Uh, also, what happens if I hit the other blue P? I should try that out. Maybe I get two bubble gems that way. Um, it really does remind me of the light spirits from Twilight Princess. The way he goes like up in this like bubble stance. And it definitely looks like a spirit. Like, similar to the Lord of the Mountain. Oh, that was, like, okay, I see. Basically going back to this point. What's up, Bucky? I will be live basically every second in these next two weeks when I'm not sleeping. <clears throat> you attach bloom to shield and surf and plants it? That makes sense, yeah. I already saw that jump attacks can do it too. Okay, so let's see. It's unbearable cold. Two, three, four, five, six... Seven. I think it's still 10 seconds. What abilities do you have so far? Fuse and Ultra Hands. But maybe it like stacks up over time. It's the icy walls. Interesting. I see. I saw them. Are they like slippery? But oh, there they are. What happens if I just throw an object against this guy? Like a random shroom. Is it gonna do damage? Yeah. Kinda broken. Nice, we got our first ice choo-choo. And also, um, cold resistance level one is good enough to survive here. Wait, that's a Korok puzzle, right? It looks like it. <clears throat> Why are Chuchu's more powerful? Because... Uh, oh, they have more HP, yeah, I noticed. I don't know. I guess because they're more useful. Okay, so this is basically our new Magnesis puzzle. It's just Ultra Hand now. Cool. <clears throat> I will probably not get all of the Koroks in my first playthrough, but I will get them when I see them. Maybe one... I will definitely do a 100% speedrun at one point in the game. Yeah, that makes sense, you know. The FPS is... The FPS and the menus are the only weakness for the game for me so far. Especially when using Ultra Hand and it's light, that the frame rate considerably drops. And uh, the menus load a bit slower now than last time, but that's something I'll get used to, I'm sure. Everything else is really, really fun and amazing so far. Can you cut Link's hair at the barber? I don't know. I just started. I'm still in the tutorial area. I did not play any of the leaked versions. Huck. 
There's probably one million Koroks here at least. Wait. Dude. I thought that was a person. You know what I mean? I guess it's just a giant bright bloom seed, but I thought it was like a person with like hair and like red eyes looking down. Oh yeah, no, it is a dandelion. It's not a bright bloom. Wait, is it a bomb? What's gonna happen when it... Okay, okay, no, I think I get it. But, um... Hello? Oh, damn. That loses a lot of durability. Try to catch it. But how am I supposed to get up there? I was gonna, like, shoot it. Oh, I know what you mean. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, examine. I see, I see. I thought you can also shoot them. This is actually quite hard without um, the paraglider. We will take the free seat. How does the minecart shield work on the snow here? Okay, not, <laughs> not that great. This is like my favorite fuse fusible so far, by the way. The skateboard. We're definitely spoiled with the paraglider, yeah. It's like, it's like the same thing that I imagine whenever they make a new Mario game. It will literally feel like unplayable if it doesn't have Cappy to me. Like, using Cappy for movement is something you get used to so hard. I think. Um, what arrows have I not tried yet? Assault arrow? Yeah, I don't think that does anything, really. <clears throat> Other than some fuse power. Thank you for the prime, by the way, Bucky. I keep wanting to blow up these things with bombs. Cappy's great. Okay, Rauru, what's up? Uh, I need to get used to the quick menu, though. The soldier constructs and captain constructs are only doing their duty to protect the Garden of Time. Wait. At the time, it was sadly necessary to protect our land from invaders. I'm terribly sorry for any threat they pose to you now. Hmm. So I thought the Garden of Time is only where we started. Or is the entire Great Sky Island basically the Garden of Time and Temple of Time and that's it? Hmm. I'm quite sure about that yet. As, as cool as that shield is, it does block a bit of the view. How long is the opening cutscene? Um, depends on how fast you go through it, I'm sure. But it probably took me like 20 minutes before I even um, arrived here. Dude. This place is so sick. I, I haven't realized yet that this is like we're playing Tears of the Kingdom. Because we've seen this area, right? But as soon as I dive down from here, there's going to be so many things that I've literally never seen. How lucky are we? I, I recently realized, I feel like the time right now, there's just so much cool shit happening in media and video games. We're pretty lucky to be around right now. This is the best uh, fuse thing in the game. Um, You know what? Uh, this is gonna also... Oh, okay, so this has like no AoE really. Wait, the choo-choos are helping me. Essentially. Oh. That was a lot of damage. That's cool though. Um, wait, where's... Oh, here. 
I got a skateboard, yeah, literally. Okay, I could just continue to try and abuse bullet time to fight this guy. Okay, you can jump over it. That's sick. Okay, the frame rate is so bad, but how sick is that? The frame rate is awful here, though, I would say. That was pretty cool. But uh, that was actually hard to play. I'm not gonna lie. That was the worst the frame rate got so far. I take this weapon though. How sick is this? I haven't seen a guardian yet. Again, I haven't been on the surface. Dude, what the hell? How sick is that? Okay, the combat montages in this game. Can you imagine? Yeah, I have heard people say that this new patch that I downloaded actually made the framework worse. So maybe we can fix it. But how cool is this attack? I guess I'm out of battery. Oh, so if you run out of battery, you have to wait until it recharges entirely. Because this loses like a lot of energy. Okay, I love this though. How powerful will this be against like frozen enemies? Bomb, bomb flowers. The bottomless cave. <gasps> That's why it's bottomless. I really want to try to hit the other blue pea. Maybe with the... this? Ah, uh, you gotta be quick. Yeah, I saw the bone flowers. I, had to... I would pick them up. Wait, does a stone axe not work for this? Oh, it does, but it's slow. The boulders would be better here. I'm definitely running through my weapons a little bit. Maybe I should be more careful so how to use my views. Um. <clears throat> Power. A dangerous flower that contains explosive elements does not mix well with fire or electricity unless the goal is to blow things up. Which it is. Wait, does not mix well with fire or electricity. Interesting. Yeah, I can already storm... Um, well, actually... No, it's the same, right? It's eight. I think it always used to be eight. Or maybe it was seven. Um, okay, I wanted to test... This. I see verticals are slick and hard to climb. Other vertical surfaces become slick and wet. Okay, surely they added something to work as like a... Like some equipment that allows you to do that. Surely. If they also added icy walls. Surely they didn't make it worse. What's up, Devola? Uh, is that part of the cave down there? I think so. Take those. Yeah, hopefully there's like ice picks or something. <clears throat> I know you can fuse a bomb to your weapon, yeah. It usually doesn't end very well though. A fossilized resin with cam a caramelesque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. I'm trying to figure out if I have been down there. That's actually something that's a little bit um, hard to get used to as well. It's like. The, the different levels on the map, right? I don't think I've been down there. This cave is really cool. Oh, what is this? I've seen this. In like the first trailer, right? Oh, I get it. I think I get it. I don't get it. I thought they were- oh, maybe I do. I thought they were gonna like suck it up. I, maybe I get it? Yeah. 
What is going on? Ew. Disgusting. Whoa. It dropped the chest. And something new. Like like stone. A strange round stone from a like like. Is that how you say them? Made of crystallized inner fluids. Crystallized inner fluids. Ugh. It's a good ingredient for making. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, it's a good ingredient for making elixirs. They are old Zelda enemies? Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't know their English name or whatever then. But, um. That's disgusting. I'll take another opal. Crystallized inner fluids. <clears throat> ah, seven o'clock. I kind of like that. I hope that's a thing on the surface somehow. That you get like notified when it gets nighttime, especially if there's caves and stuff. I have so many um, Raubschleim in German. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, they steal stuff. True, true. What exactly just happened? Any Noahs? I, I was- was it the bomb? I see. I thought that also shot something at the same time. <clears throat> oh, I want those again. Raubschleim. Okay, one steal your shield? That's scary. There's a Korok right here. Be careful, man. That is a pretty big explosion indeed. Those things are tanky as well. Um, what if I... And then like... Nice. Flame emitter shield. Wait, did I drop this? That's new. I take it. They're like literally like mucus balls. Yeah. Okay. We got a lot of those now. So many opals, that is interesting. I guess just because they're like early game value builds, but I wonder if the power of water is more related to this area. Also, my cold resistance is like kind of running out. In the worst case, I can just place down another cooking pot though. That's so cool. No pun intended. I think that's where the shrine is up there. I could run there first. There's a scene in the trailer where you flame the things with the shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Maybe that's what they were trying to teach you with the flame. Oh, wait, the Korok. I just realized. I mean, people can try to backseat, but I will play the game the way I want to play it. That is for sure. Wait. What, was I hallucinating? 
I swear I thought there was a Korok here. I'm hallucinating, right? Is it too early in the morning? Do I need more ca ca caffeine? I think it was literally the flamethrower shield <clears throat> that I somehow thought was the Korok with the backpack. Oh, I burned him down. <laughs> I hope not. Okay, cold resistance is timing out. Let's try out one of those. Um, I know people keep saying you can use the quick menu for this, but I feel like I kind of like the speed of just placing it down from the inventory like this. What was that? <laughs> it's gonna be a task to recognize them all. I'm sure there's gonna be a YouTube video that's gonna be li all Link Hums very soon with all of the original songs. Snow still slows you down, that's for sure. You can sort the quick menu to do Zonai parts in front, I know, but still, like, pressing D pad up, sorting the items going over and then dropping them. I feel like it's almost the same speed as finding them here and dropping them down. But I guess the inventory is like uglier. <laughs> I don't know. It breaks immersion more maybe because you don't see the, the game. Okay, so maybe I'm supposed to have ascent, right? Because then I can ascend into the stone and fight the guy. I feel like that's how that works from a game design perspective. I could probably also break it by sticking some trees together and making a ladder, but I want to try out Ascent anyway once I, once I have it, so might as well. Okay, so is this where you're supposed to learn about the uh, ice walls, I guess? Wow. It happens this quickly, one. What? That is disgusting. Assuming I can't unfreeze them. I cheese the zones so hard to get up. Yeah, my idea was to basically build like an ultra hand tree ladder. Which I'm kind of assuming they maybe want you to do in a way. <clears throat> Again, you don't have to just like tell me what to do. I figured it out. When I'm asking these questions, it's mostly like rhetorical, like I'm explaining my thinking. No worries. I'll get there. This doesn't seem like the most stable letter, but it should probably do the job. <clears throat> Literally everyone I saw did it by building. Oh wait, is there another way to get up here? <laughs> I thought that's like the idea. I haven't been down here, right? But is there a cave? Now I'm curious. Okay, let's get the shrine and then we can explore a bit more. Guten Bug. Guten Bug. That sounds like German. Like Guten Abend. Um... That's so cool. The FPS so far has actually been a bit worse, but I guess that's to be expected. Boom. I really like that animation. I should eat something soon as well. Alright. Make sure to play the game first. Don't get spoiled. Oh. 
So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Maybe, maybe they're gonna patch the FPS if possible. I've heard some people say that the patch actually made it worse. There's a scent. <clears throat> Let's go, Wipeson. So there's three more slots, right? I, th I don't know if I... In my mind, I might know of all of them. But I don't know if they're actually gonna be... Hmm. Wait, but the amiibo one doesn't show up here. Suspicious. Mm. This is the ascend ability. Let's you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top of it. Right. You find it quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. Mm. Use ascend and receive the blessing from the shrine. Okay, that seems simple enough. I wonder how the shrine is designed. The map was here on the gameplay, right? Okay, actually there's like four more slots here. We'll see. I love the sound that Ascent makes, holy shit. It's so good. And I love the visual design of these shrines. I'm gonna be an old shrine speedrunner again. Alright, we still have to actually exit. Okay, easy enough. So what's the puzzle here? I can ascend through both of these. But there's a chest here. That makes sense. Stone eggs. How is my inventory looking right now? I have some pretty broken stuff. I like that you can ascend instantly if you know where you are. The combat music inside the shrines is great. Oh, I have no more slots. Okay. I guess I can cut them down, but probably also burn them down. Whoa, that looks so cool. I wonder if there's gonna be like fuses. Like not the ability, but that you have to build. Simple enough. I don't know if I'm missing something. Like maybe there's a ch oh, there is. I get it. On a scale of one to never sleeping, how much are you loving it? Um. I would say 15 hour stream at least today level. So still some sleep because I don't want to do 24 hour streams because I actually want to enjoy myself. But I basically only want to sleep and play. Okay, so why would I want to go on the platform? Does it have a chest? Because I could also just go... Oh, is that too high? Oh, that's the height limit, I see. Wait, as, does it not move? Okay, no, Ascent does only freeze time once you use it, I see. <clears throat> Alright, here we are. It's nice to see them every time. It would be cool if they had like a different pose every time, but it would be weird as well, I guess. You have done well to reach this place. So is it really only gonna be four shrines? I'm confused. So you just get recall at the end. I'm, I don't know if I'm ready for the story that we are about to learn at the Temple of Time, by the way. Another light of blessing. Who even are there? Raru and Zelda? I, th I assume so, yeah. Like the ancient version of Zelda. 
is what I'm assuming. That makes sense, Doctor. A doctor, I mean. I love the design of the eggs. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Okay, let's see what happens here. And then before I head to the Temple of Time, if I can do that now, I'm probably gonna run around a bit and eat some food while I explore a bit. What's over there? Oh, what's going on? I see you've, rest you've restored some power, some power to that new arm of yours. Mm. The door into the Temple of Time should now open for you. Okay, so only three shrines or what? Closed door. I'm r the, the thing that confuses me is that I know from the previews and gameplay demos that there was a shrine symbol here. So maybe whenever you get to return to the temple or shrine of resurrection or whatever, there's a shrine on there. It Could that be? One? No, that's just a root. We'll see. Um, we're gonna go to the door and see what happens. Oh yeah, I should not... I should not shield so with a um, dragon in it. I'm gonna remove my cam here because I'm not a huge fan of eating on cam. I will still play slowly and explore the islands a little bit more as I eat my granola. Well, first of all, I'm gonna eat a granola bar, but yeah. Hmm. Okay. Is this thing gonna have rockets? Surely. Um, when I get to the Temple of Time, there's a risk of spoilers, I would say, yeah. So, whenever I do get there, I will warn you again. <laughs> Whoa, that jump of like the slope where you keep your momentum is so cool. Wait, there's two captain constructs there. Uh-oh. Have I not tried? How do the how much how do the water ones feel? Wait, did they short circuit them? Oh no, they didn't. <laughs> mm, how about these? They do pretty good damage. Wow, he's flying. I'm gonna try my best to not constantly abuse bullet time because I think it gets a bit boring. I should probably take out this guy and then learn the other guy's mechanics a bit more. All oh, right, I have this shield. That's my minecart shield. <clears throat> Where is he going? He's fusing a rock. But he already had a few stroke, and now he's gonna shoot. Ow. So he just does normal single hit. And then the swing. I saw the chest, I'm gonna go back there. I wanted to go head to these guys first. I want to go to the gliders. So see. Okay, so they do have horn attacks. I actually love that. That's really good because that means that the other ones later will probably have unique attacks. Depending on what like kind of horn they have. So 
Sweet. Do I have a random wooden bow that I can get rid of? I do. Uh, I guess I cannot put them back into the capsule. Yeah, lots of opals here. Which, actually, if you think about it, I was already kind of like thinking about this, if it has any meaning with the power of water, but maybe it's not related to the power of water, but more so tears. Not sure, that was mainly just spitballing. Um, I wanted to go down here as well before I return back up. Can I make some new weapons? My weapons are getting kind of low. <laughs> My cold resistance is still fine. <laughs> that is not what I wanted to fuse. I did not do any glitches of shield clipping, um, they seem to have removed it, because you can't really unequip your shield with the same timing anymore. I'm still curious how you were actually supposed to go up there. Or if there was like another way to do it. So can I make it... I don't think I can make it under here, and that's gonna be too high to ascend through. But in here, I could probably ascend. But then... How would I have ascended in there without ascent? Wait. Have I entered down there? Not sure. Ah, I need to get rid of this habit. Of trying to whistle sprint. It will not... Work out. Hmm, I see. There was a pathway here all along. Kind of. Yeah. That's really hidden, though. Yep. I guess you can just walk. Mm, uh, I wanted to see. Actually, maybe this works. This should work, right? That's actually so good to have. Feels good, man. Hmm. Oh wait, I have to get the chest for the haters. <clears throat> also, I wonder if there's like a Korok up top. The new Rivali scale, yeah, essentially. Oh, okay. F to be fair... I'm glad you told me about this one. <laughs> There's a Korok. So this is basically like the warm doublet. Seems useful to have. So sick. So beautiful. Okay. 
Um, this is... Wait, I've been there, right? Yeah, this is where I just ascended through. Um, but I can... No, 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 it's not, it's not. Also, Raru is just chilling there. Also, Matty, thank you for the Prime. Again, I'm about to have some granola, so I'm gonna be exploring more, and then we'll... Then I've eaten, and I'm well... Um, prepared to dive into the story and even the surface. Hmm. I agree. I don't like the look of these pants that much. My duties today are complete. Is he sleeping? Oh, this is a rarity. It is unusual for me to receive visitors here. I assume you will require Zona devices to descend the mountain. Would you like to use the device dispenser? Yeah. Oh, he just explains them again. Okay, okay. In case we missed the first one. That makes sense. I get some more, especially if I can get rockets here. Hmm. No rockets, but stone gliders. A wing. A zona device that can harness lift to ride the wind. You fly farther, try balancing the center of the wing. In the center of the wing. Cool. I do want those rockets. Um, wait. Okay, that's all you can get here. Oh, I... Hmm. I was gonna say, do I have to place the platform below this area? Oh yeah, I do. That's literally the puzzle. I can definitely feel some old habits coming back. Like what I did just there was essentially due to me thinking I still have to press the button after switching abilities. And whenever I press D-pad up like this, I'm trying to switch runes. More charges. <clears throat> I haven't actually needed a charge yet to actually replenish energy. Three wings. For free. Oh. This is kind of scary. There we go. Okay, can we do like a test flight here? I guess without putting a fan on them, they don't really do much. But I do that down here. Because here we can put them into the, the rail. Attention to your shield? Don't tell me that's possible. Don't hype me up. Okay, but what happens if I... Oh my god, I keep whistle sprinting. Did it? No, it didn't, right? It was probably placebo. It felt like... It felt like it would like carry me more. Nah, it was probably placebo. That looks kind of funny though, so... It increases shield jump height? It doesn't actually do that? Okay, sick. Oh my god, I will press the d-pad up so much. Okay, wait, we gotta get the wings, like, here. Ooh, let's talk to Raru. I saw him. Why is it going? Oh, it's just going because it goes down. It's like a slope. So we don't even need to attach anything. Got it. The Zona devices were the pinnacle of our technology. We built an advanced civilization with them and flourished for many, many years. 
If you can master the use of the Zona devices, your quest will be much easier. Hmm. Dude. I didn't expect to think his design is so cool. The way he's like animated. Big fan. Really big fan. Yeah, he looks chill and like elegant and like cool. At first I thought the design would be kind of like weird and like takes some getting used to, but he just looked like really cool. Alright. Here we go. What's the worst that can happen? For me, Rabu replaces Sidon as the hot guy NPC. I can see that. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. This is so sick. Oh, we can explore Mona with the scent in the middle there. I love it so far. We could also open the door to the Temple of Time, but I don't want to. I want to uh, explore the islands in the middle and then go back to that tree. All right, now I can just jump to the water, right? <laughs> what happened? My own glider blocked me. Oh. Dude, the sound effect. I don't even shoot a glider by like balancing it. And also later the control unit. Did, did these constructs already respawn? I feel like I defeated them earlier. The water splash sounds and feels satisfying. Oh, these are the dudes. Again, from our numerous demo. I recognize this place. I'll, I'll use some arrows. Hmm. I want to use a spear. Wait, wait. Oh my god. I'm sorry. It's gonna, it's gonna take me a while. To get fast to the controls again. Um, what do I want to fuse this? A ruby stick? That seems too dangerous. It's just gonna explode and kill me. Let's make something simple. Like this. That was the wrong weapon. That's fine. That actually looks kind of cool as well. It's like a dagger. Okay, I guess I should get used to doing this. Fuse attack power, drop. Equip this, fuse, why? Boom. I look so cool. Okay, I can see that. Putting like a really powerful horn on top of like a really base powerful stick. To make like a really good spear. That sounds actually really fun. Hmm. I mean, in the trailers, it seemed like the Blood Moon would maybe also be capable of attacking monsters. As uh, spawning monsters. I can definitely see that puff shrooms are overpowered. That's what I thought, because sneak strikes are broken. Also, I need to go back and fight that robot. I hope I get the ability to teleport soon. Because I'm not done exploring yet. Um, I want to go to these islands. I want to go to my pin on the map and definitely fight the big guy. Because I don't think I can yet, right? How do I get up there? Have I been up there? I don't think so. And I don't immediately see where I could... Wait. No, is this where I started or not? Is this where I landed at the start? 
I think possibly. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, yeah of course. Because you jump into that water there. Yeah, you could probably also make another stone glider. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. This was the uh, Ultra Hand Shrine. I do want to go back there to the Fuse Shrine because I want to. There's probably a Korok on that tree. Thank you for the subs, by the way, again. Yanak. Oh! I didn't know this. Wait. That's interesting. You can ascend through water. Hmm. What's up, Elias? I got all of my powers and I'm still kind of exploring a bit. I thought there was a person. I keep thinking there's like per people. I'm too paranoid. Wanted to shield? Rude. Mmm. Large zona in charge. Like a giant ancient core. Massive energy. Hmm. I can put that to pull in the gacha machine. What is... Oh, that's the dragon, right? It almost is like endless. Huh. So... What I'm wondering... I mean, this should work, right? <laughs> So where do we go? Do I fight the? Maybe I go to the Temple of Time first, <clears throat> and then fight and then fight the robots because I feel like maybe we get the teleportation ability unlocked when we're done here. At least at some point because there's more to do. My check this is a big construct, and um, what should I call it? The the marker. Oh man, I don't want to go down there like I do, but like how beautiful is it up here? Okay, from the gameplay perspective, I love Ascent. I didn't think I would like it this much, but it just feels so clean. It just feels so clean to use. Like, so, so good. Oh, I should probably check where I'm jumping first. Yeah, you can use Zonite charges to... Uh, right, right, right. You can like, use them as consumables. I know that. Again, I'm mostly just uh, exploring a bit more because I'm still eating. I should probably hurry up. I want to actually go to the temple. Huh? Can I just put it in a soup? Wait, what? My food? Why is there no face cam? Because I'm eating and I don't like filming myself. I don't like doing mukbang. Maybe for 10,000 subs. I'm going to the golem. Oh, the Zonite charge. Zonite charge soup. I would try that. Wait, I haven't even been here. There's like rafts that are ready to go. Oh 
Oh no. Ready to use rafts. And there's the there's the, the quote unquote boss. So I'm gonna drive over there, ascend up, and then fight him. This area is indeed huge. This is how you can do ascend second rather than third. Interesting. I wonder what the, the route will be. So is there really only three shrines? I'm so confused. That still confuses me. I thought it was going to be like a surprise third shrine. Uh, I mean fourth. We made it. <clears throat> Man, so many questions. I don't know where I've been or where I haven't been. Wait, so how are you supposed... Do you, are you, no, that's, those are the rails. How are you supposed to go to this dude? I know I could make like a stone glider. Oh, I, I, where, was I supposed to jump? from this island? Yeah, I guess I could use a wing. When did the game release? Um, for me, 14 hours ago. But I'm still at the beginning. There is a trail. Wait, so are you supposed to ascend through the platform as you ride a minecart there? Or is it like an actual path? It costs $70. So if you don't really love the game, maybe you should do some research first if you actually like it. There's another rail leading to it. I feel like I can almost make that. I just... Whoa. <laughs> okay, surely this is gonna go well. <laughs> Nice. You need something to get them into the air first? Oh. Okay, what if I... No shot! What? Um, what the fuck? Um, uh, <laughs> um, this guy is fast. Wait, 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 what the fuck was, how is he flying through the stage? Okay, maybe this is my excuse for homing arrows, right? Surely. Where are they? Okay, and now what?
Oh, I see. Dude, the music. <clears throat> okay, I get it, I get it. I get it, game. I get the game design message. Kind of leggy though. <laughs> oh, the timing! Damn, I'm actually kind of mad. I should have waited to see more attacks. But I think there's gonna be more of them. Dude, how did I get here? Also, what's this? Oh. Can we talk about the fact about what just happened? How did I survive? Oh! That reset my fall damage. That's not even a glitch. But I basically landed twice. Sounds interesting. I thought you knew. I mean, I in the moment, I just in my mind, I was just dead, you know. That was, I was just dead at that point. That's what I was thinking about. <clears throat> it still feels far, yeah. <laughs> Plus ten. It's a meat grinder. Now, how do I get back? Uh, wait, my glider is... Is my glider still there? It is. Okay, so in order to get them into the air... I need those rails, right? Or like rockets, I guess. I'm stuck forever now, yeah. Oh, I can probably go this way. Oh, just ascend up there. I haven't actually tested it, but I think they have increased the fall damage height so you can fall from higher. That would make sense. I did die earlier to a pretty, in my opinion, like not super high jump. Okay, I can definitely, worst case, I can go here. Actually, that's not even worst case. Oh, wait. Okay. Um. Hmm, I can go into the water there. And then I can go to the final location just in order to um, explore. At the fuse shrine. Okay, I'm done with the breakfast as well. <clears throat> okay let's move on i'll go to my pin and then we go to the table of time i'm scared i'm genuinely scared <clears throat> um i just realized that i have to swim now Wait, is that a cave over there? No, right? No. Was it delicious? Yeah, pretty good. I had uh, basically some skier with uh, granola. We just got lasagna. Let's go. Oh, I do not want to use this weapon. 14 damage. Flux core one pounder. I love this game. Dude, that fight did shock me, though. Like, 
I didn't expect that golem thing to move that quickly. Um, wait, so can you use the wing as a foundation for a boat? Or is it just gonna, like, drown? Yeah, the potential of the weapon combo is crazy, Spike. And they look so cool and stylish as well. Like, some of them look a bit, a bit wonky, but... Um, yes, but not well, or like a boat plane. Yeah. You mean to, you, to try to swim on the massive stone plate? I mean to cross the river. But I guess it's too heavy because it's made out of stone. <clears throat> I actually wanted to try because I saw this in the ads. Oh my god, it takes so many hits now. Oh, a Korok front. It's the first time I found one. Mysterious leaf that looks like it might be hiding something behind it. It has some medicinal value. Attach it to a stick and can be used as a fan. Hmm. It's seven again. I want to see if you can technically stay on this. Oh, wait, why did it not attach? If you can stay... My behavior is a threat. I know I've seen, like, demos where it just, just like, falls over. But it looks, like, kind of usable right now. <laughs> okay, I get it now. But it might still... Oh! Wait, I was, like, underwater there. It's probably not the best idea, huh? Unless I would attach another fan on the other side. God, the menu is uh, definitely something to get used to. That's it. That's the dick boat. It's the dick boat. It's perfectly stable. <laughs> Holy! This is gonna go in my in my uh, saved collection. <clears throat> this is actually kind of fast as well. Oh my god! Wait. The way you can keep the momentum from those. Wait, I love that. I want to do it again. Yeah, imagine you make like a... I mean, you already know how Twitter is gonna look like in like a week. But yeah, when you like jump from it, that's so sick. Okay, can you stop like going? Oh no, I should have hit it again. Or oh, whatever. Guess we have to recharge the battery now. No, 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 stay, stay. This is wild. Yeah, shooting with the arrow works, but it feels bad. Maybe I throw like a mushroom against it. <clears throat> yeah, I couldn't. Could I have eaten a zonite charge there, or would I've still? Oh, um, did I still have to wait? Oh, that's not good. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's fine. See you later, dick boats. <clears throat> it just increases the bar, will continue to rain. Yeah, yeah, but like when it's empty, would it restore it? Because you know how the orange mushrooms in Breath of the Wilds could restore your stamina when it was depleted? What's up, Sango? Dude, I can't believe that we're still in the tutorial and we have already so many weird things happen. <clears throat> what am I-
my fans descended. Literally. <laughs> like, we had uh, this fall damage cancel reset happen, where we essentially... Um, like, we jumped from here. <laughs> I wanted to get, get to the boss. We jumped, landed on here to basically reset the fall damage. <clears throat> and then whatever this momentum jump was. Or we jumped like 20 meters. I actually kind of like this shield, aesthetically. The fall damage cancel fail, we don't talk about that. How are we feeling so far? I mean, I'm having a blast. <clears throat> I think I cleared the, the main area here of the tutorial now. I beat the little boss. I'm about to go to the Temple of Time. A little scared about what I'll find there. Can't ascend. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? That seemed kind of broken. That seemed kind of glitchy. Oh, and that's why. Ascent will probably be broken first. Maybe, yeah, I can see that. So surely I came here because there's a Korok, right? There is. Curiosity gets rewarded. There's a lot after that. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming that the temple itself is gonna be some sort of challenge. We always thought the way it was built, it seemed perfectly built to be focused around Ascent. And then we already know there's some sort of boss arena at the top. But that's where I'm going to be headed now. Um, how many Koroks do I have? Ten. That's like more than in my Breath of the Wild playthrough. Okay, the weird thing is... The ability to create. The ability to combine. The ability to rise. We got all of the chests. The thing is... When do you unlock teleporting? I guess they're not really, like, glowing yet. Yeah, I'm not gonna go out of my way to find all of them, but I'm sure there's probably, like, 20. <clears throat> I think I plot two at around... actually, maybe more than 20. Uh, okay, so this is a bit annoying. Annoying. Do I have to build another dick boat now? Not no paraglider. Not being able to uh, teleport. I guess I shouldn't have went to the uh, to the golem fight. Huh. That was probably my mistake. Why is my switch almost blank? Because I just got it. It's the OLED switch, and I only downloaded Breath of the Wilds. Like, it's a... <laughs> the Zelda OLED. My Switch didn't used to be that blank. Okay, this is actually, like, a very effective vehicle. I will say, you know, it's simple. It works. It's kind of fast. I know when you get recalled, yeah, then maybe don't tell me, because I don't. Happy for you. Uh, Link. There we go. <clears throat> the orbs. I kind of want to take it with me. But like... Wait, how do I even go... Oh no. Oh, I can probably ascend up there. Surely. Surely I don't have to walk down the rails again, like at the start. Dude. Okay, I'm not even going to say it. <clears throat> Um, 
I wonder how many devs built dick boats while making the game. Probably a few. Dude, I keep thinking there's like people on this island. It's kind of scary. My original plan was to go Rito first, but I think I'm just gonna follow the game. Like, I watched this Ratatuska video where I was talking about he's gonna play it in a way where the game, like, the game is probably gonna like hint you in certain directions. Maybe I'll follow that same approach. How's the game so far? Really fun. Only downsides for me so far are the menu is a bit slower than before. Needs some getting used to. Why is it getting so, like, foggy? And uh, the FPS drops are a little bit worse than Breath of the Wilds, but I didn't... Um, that is quite foggy. I didn't really expect anything else. What can the shield do? Apparently increases the shield jump height. Is what I've been told. I didn't really notice it. Oh yeah, no, it definitely does. Yeah. I wonder if you can open your paraglider then. Out of a jump like this. No! No! Oh my god, that's broken! That is completely broken. That is completely broken. You can... Okay. That is the most broken shield in the game. What? Because you can just bullet time out of a f from a flat surface. What about it? It's broken. You can just bullet time from anywhere. And we already know that bullet time is broken. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no, I know there will be cooler fusions, but this is a pretty easy to do fusion because you just put down a glider, you fuse it to your shield, and suddenly you can bullet time from anywhere. Also, it looks pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah, don't take me serious when I say something like, this is the most broken weapon ever, ever. I'm just excited. Of course, I'm sure this is literally day one of the game. We'll find things that are actually broken. But still, this is pretty useful. You can also unequip shield while in bullet time. Right, right. Maybe um, there's other ways to break it even more. How many bubble gems have I? I only have four. People told me they're good. I don't know what to do with them yet. I'm, if I was to guess... They are probably related to the cherry blossom trees. That's my guess, because those are usually related to the spirits. But anyway, I will um, warn you here, because I'm about to the Temple of Time. There might be more gameplay, but we're probably getting into more story um, territory. This was like the tutorial, so that's just something that you have to decide for yourself. Um, obviously, feel free to stay, but I just did want to say that I'm going to go there and probably eventually head to the surface. The, the glider looks kind of cool when swimming, too. Oh, the saxophone is going to come in again. Okay. This place is so cool. I kind of almost don't want to go down, but I do, obviously. How do you get the glider? I don't know. Seven. Seven tears? I didn't even look at that before. Oh, that, that one is a Zonai device. That, uh, that wing glider. Okay, that's the location, sun and moon. 
This is where we saw Zelda in the trailer. Wow. That is really pretty. The recall tier. How is it this big? since I will get them. Okay, let's get it. <clears throat> Ooh, I love that sound. It's quite bright. What's going on? Oh. I mean, she's like a spirit. Kind of. She is lending him her power. <clears throat> Infusing the arm with light. And the recall power. And she just vanishes? <clears throat> reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse movement at any time. The recall power. Ah, recall. The ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. And Zelda has vanished as well. What you just saw. It's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was a sort of echo. One that reflects her sheer will. Huh? Hmm. That you've even uh, that you've now been given this ability, no doubt it will prove important. Of course. Fine, Princess Zelda. Huh. I'm confused. So even Raru wasn't sure what just happened. Um, before I use it, I want to see if something's up there. Where's the shirt located on the map? It's in a cave in this island. A goddess statue. I just spoiled myself by going up here, essentially. I'm, I'm assuming that's where I'm supposed to go anywhere. Anyway. But how do I get up? I can't... I can't recall out of the water, right? Oh, I get it. I think I get it. <clears throat> Does this have no cooldown? Interesting. Huh. Huh. 
So the the point where Zelda is is exactly where the goddess statue is. Where Zelda's supposed to be. Huh. <clears throat> the goddess statue smiles upon you. That's it. I'm scared. But this is the door, right? Oh. Is the master sword all over again? Okay, I need to get a heart upgrade, I see. The store stands as a test of your own overall vitality. I wonder if they're gonna be more common than that. You remain in a weakened state. You're not yet strong enough to open it. But there is one more shrine on this island. There you can get another blessing. Of course. And you need four to get an upgrade. If you add that to the other blessings, you receive the shrines and offer them to all to the goddess. You might just find your way forward after all. Yeah. Okay, I guess I get the teleport ability now. Let me see the pure up head. Let's you travel to certain places instantly. Now see all of the blue marks on your map. That's a trend resurrection. You can travel instantly to any of them. I s I'd suggest the one at the bottom of your map. Okay, like I said, I already knew there was a shrine there from the preview, so that makes sense. Use the travel function to reach that area quickly. You'll find the last of this island's shrines around there somewhere. <clears throat> but what will I get in there? Just a, just a blessing, no ability? Wow, okay. I wonder, because in my mind, right, I still wasn't sure if I was going to go for stamina or hearts first in this playthrough. But I wonder if these doors are going to become more common if they're only going to be here. Okay, um, let's warp to the beginning. The Room of Awakening. That's what it's called, apparently. No three heart run? Yeah, it seems that way. I guess that's why all of the footage from our Numa had four hearts. <clears throat> um, right, this is where I started. Better get used to this place. And can I now use recoil to get up there? No, I don't think so. Unless I'm supposed to use recoil to get up there and then ascend through the roof? I, I that might be what I actually have to do. It's funny because earlier when I started, that's basically what I said we would do in like as like a joke for the future. Oh, oh, they're like connected. I see. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but it works. <clears throat> also, why is my recall rune still on? There was an actual path? Oh. Never mind. Ah, huh. Korok. Ascent will be a hell of a ride, that's what it seems like. Okay, should I just walk back then? And take the real path? Maybe. Oh, there's a chest. I'll take some wings. I'm in the mood to eat some wings. Unfortunately, there's no good place that delivers them here. Wait, is there anything above me still? No. There's a place where you can use wind gliders. I didn't see that before, did I? 
Wait, why these wind gliders here before? Oh, wait, what is just here? I thought this was the actual shrine. Okay, okay, I guess I just leave. Normally, I leave the shrine of uh, the room of awakening and then ascend through the ceiling, right? So, is it really worth it to teleport back? I do it. I want to get the casual experience. I, I was going too fast. I know that was the shrine, I know, but I want to try to not, you know, do too much out of order or whatever. <clears throat> it's the same, you still use two recalls or... Whatever, we'll make it there the casual way. The sand is not the casual way. There's a path with gears. Okay, I I I'll do the the, the 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 path. Also, it's literally faster to not press the jump button here, but just walk off. I, I dude, I like uh, I love the water splash sound so much. This whole game is about doing it your way. That's true, that's true. I I, I I try to not worry about that too much. Um. So, where's the path? We're supposed to, like, ascend through this. Or did I miss the path yet again? The gears is the way. Were there more gears inside? Do I, I, what? TP back again? <sighs> Wait, that is yeah. Okay, ascent will be the first one that will be broken. What? I made it through the whole route. Yeah, okay. Ascent will be broken indeed. <clears throat> Nach... Nacho ya? Nacho ya? Or what? The Nacho Shrine. That does sound kind of Aztec inspired. Not because of that, you know. Um, how does that work anyway? I don't even know. This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges as well, sorry, and used them to produce energy wells. What are energy wells exactly? An energy well can increase the capacity of the energy cell you are carrying. This increased capacity will allow you to use Zonai devices for longer periods. I can produce these energy wells for you if you bring me crystallized charges. Shall I begin production? Okay, but, um... Oh, <laughs> Okay, so you need 100 crystallized charges to make one more battery upgrade, I guess. The mines on this island have nearly run dry. I doubt there's enough left to produce an energy well. But there's more to be had. Check the distant depths of the world below. That's its original source. Okay, and then I can just warp back here. Oh, so that's what the battery icon is. That's why that part was so confusing on the map um, when we watched the previews because it's like so stacked on top of each other. I don't know if I like the uh, loading screen. I guess it makes sense that you know like where you are on the map. It looks clean enough. I do love the, shri the shrine aesthetic. The ability to rewind. Not show ya shrine. So... Uh, yeah, I guess you can't reach that early. Man, it's gonna be so interesting to see routing itself of this game in the future. 
So how does this work? Is it... Do I just have to, like, climb bits? How does it behave when it goes down? Oh, that's the same bolt, I see. Oh no, it stays flat, I see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's kind of bumpy. Yeah, I really like... I mean, again, the sound design in this game is, like, just insane. The recall sounds, the recall sounds, uh, the ascent sounds. Big fan. <laughs> Oh no, my winged shield. But it's so easy to make. I cannot believe how nice the winged shield is. Ten arrows? Dude, I'm literally balling out. What? 128 arrows. Doesn't that seem like a bit much? Also, recall, recall is no cooldown. Wait, what did I just see? I like those uh, arrows. Wait, is that not how it's gonna work? Is it only... Oh, I only hit one of them. Oh, I have to match them up. Okay. No, that's not matched up enough. Wait, how does it even work? When does the gate go up? And they're in the center, so I have to make them like even. Oh no no no, that was it. Right? Because when they're both even? Wait, I don't get it. You have a tip, chill, chill, chill. I just I figured out eventually. Wait, no, if I'm recalling, it doesn't open it at all. Oh, but now they're gonna meet in the middle. But that's not enough? I'm very confused. Is it whenever they meet? Oh! It is when they meet, right? Um. <clears throat> yeah, people can't shut up. <laughs> you used Ultra in there? Oh, that's smart. Um, dude, I love the the actual shrines, like like where you get the reward. Yeah, seeking with Ultra Hand is five head. <clears throat> Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that, uh, which imprisons. Okay, that's always the same text. They do look great. Yeah, we, over the upcoming days on YouTube and Twitch, I will see like 700 different ways of beating a shrine. What's the code word when I want help? I will literally say, okay, chat, I'm giving up. Can you literally tell me the solution? Anything else is basically just me talking to myself. But that probably won't happen. Maybe later in the game. Or like when we're like cleaning up. Mm -mm -mm. I'm absolutely sure of that, Princess. That's probably gonna be... Like, you'll never know if you did it right. But I think you, we have to stop asking us th those questions because the developers want that to happen like they literally want everyone to come with a different solution essentially okay so we don't have the energy here to get an upgrade maybe later we can just fly back 
to the uh, temple now. And I do want to attach a fan this time. If you solved it, it can't be wrong. That's exactly it. Like, that's exactly what I mean, right? <clears throat> oh god. Um, I guess I'm supposed to get to the water. I'm steering. I guess you can steer down if you stand like this. Wait, what if I go to the top of the arena? Do you think that's possible? Or past the door? That's not gonna let you, right? We, we have to try that out another time. Ah, the Fortnite animation. Dude, that's so fun, holy shit. What is... Oh, it's the castle, right? No, it's not. I see Kakariko, there's a giant gloom pit. I should have maybe went up there. <clears throat> I, can't, I, I can't believe we're about to enter the surface. Probably. We probably still have to get to the top of the Temple of Time. Or something. Because I don't know why else that building would be so big. Wait, what if we just go there now with the scent? There's multiple sky islands. Like, look over there. What? I don't know if I've seen this one before. Yeah, that looks like the Zora's domain area. Where am I? I'm actually supposed to be here. But I'm here. Holy shit. That's the best shot of the entire island yet. When you kind of see like the difference between the uh, cold area. And the lighting is perfect too. All right, we'll just see what happens. Oh, damn. He's looking clean. It's gotta be him, right? Okay, maybe I'm not supposed to be here yet. Like intended. I really, I, re <laughs> I really want to see what would happen if I did like that fall damage thing where I put like a wing here and actually just fly there. But I need to stop. I need to stop. I I'm, I'm just playing the game today. I'm sorry. That's that's for the future. 
Wait, so can I dive all the way to... I cannot. I cannot. Um... Oh my god, I thought for a second we unintentionally just left the area. <laughs> uh, that would have been bad. Wait, where am I? I guess this is just like all part of the Temple of Time. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, teleport here and walk there. Yeah, eventually we will try this. But I'm sure that you can't interact with the... Um, the platform. Until the door is opened or something like that. You know how the old man like doesn't show up for example in Breath of the Wild unless you've actually uh, done the shrines like stuff like that. Like maybe Raru is gonna be next to the platform and you have to interact with him to start the event otherwise it's just a, like an empty platform. Dude, actually, I love Ascend so much. It makes you think about everything, like, differently. Because now I can just go down here and Ascend through instead of using the other... Uh, instead of using the other staircase. Wait, there's a war point in there? I don't think so. There isn't. So what is the meaning of this, right? We have a sun on the right and something that looks more like a moon on the left. That's always what I was thinking about. This entire game is like a really strong duality theme. Did you just discover door skip? Uh, I. I don't know. I, I don't think so. I'm just playing casually. Trust. All right. We can get a heart upgrade now. We need to. <clears throat> you who have conquered the shrines and claimed their light of blessing. Lights of blessing. In exchange for four lights of blessing, I will grant you power. I can only choose heart container. That doesn't even let you choose stamina. Maybe the first one is just mandatory. Yeah, I think you level 5 fan indeed, though. How else would you get 3? Yeah, I was just curious if they... Um, how that works. Um, go and bring peace to the world. Okay. Surely we can open it now. Wait, wait. Can I stop? Can I cancel this? Yeah. I want to change my... my I want to change my outfit real quick. There we go, that's much better. <clears throat> Ooh. The way this sounds is so good. Oh, they're kissing. That's the door from the trailer. managed to open the door right you haven't fully recovered yet but that is to be expected we're almost beyond saving by visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects mm -hmm. though our time together has been brief I am so happy that we finally met don't leave Yo, his teeth. Oh no. I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. No, no, no. D don't tell me that the stupid 
No, 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 we see. <clears throat> I don't want him to leave. He's cool. I like him. I like his voice actor too. Yeah, hopefully it's not this theory. The grave one. And we see the light. Okay. <laughs> Ultra hand? There's no way I can, right? Wait, can I recall them? That's what would make sense to me. But... No. Maybe this one? No. <clears throat> this is not a question. This is not a question before you answer again. <laughs> okay, somebody already answered. Ah, I can't ask any questions. Chill, please. I need to stop thinking out loud, I think. I'm scared. I am really scared. Oh, that is good. Uh, emote mode is not needed for now. If it gets worse, then I will. The sword. We've always associated some with fire, but I don't know if that's accurate in this universe. Maybe it is. Link just knows what to do with the sword? They don't even talk. It's gonna get sent back in time. Are we gonna get a cut to Zelda now? Please. Oh my god, that was beautiful. That was so well done. Is like, hmm? <gasps> he went through the barrier. Nah, he dispelled the cloud barrier. Oh, we actually got that right. Link. That's the sky view landing. Link. You must find me. I will. Oh my god, this looks sick. Oh, shit. And now we can go. We can just go. But what's in here? It's still suspicious to me. I don't know if we're ever going to find that out. Because it does look like a grave. But I'm just going to assume that it's empty, Prage. <clears throat> okay, so we don't have the paraglider. We should think of this. 
for our next move. And this might even be the entire reason that these new lakes exist. They might have literally made them for gameplay. Like this lake down there is probably literally a gameplay decision. Are we gonna get the skydiving music? I don't know if I can make it all the way to that lake over there. Oh, the skydiving music. Okay, this is a risky choice, but I'm going for it. I will probably regret it. I will definitely regret it. I go here. There's shrines. Two shrines, three shrines. Gerudo Desert. <laughs> Dude, we're back. We are actually back. We are actually back. I can't believe it. All right, sacred grounds. Staminoka boss is back. That is my new supper lord. You just heard it for the first time. If you don't know the supper lord I had before is the first time you touched Hyrule in Breath of the Wild, you just heard the new one. Um, this Hyrule bus got to be the biggest fish by never getting caught until now. What? It's long life results in a cooked dish that will restore a lot of stamina. Wait, what do you mean? I've, I've caught one before. The moon. A star fragment. Oh my god, it's time. <laughs> There's gonna be so much to do. Dude, I love the cut over to Zelda. Yeah, the towers are there right now. The dazzle fruit. A fruit charged with powerful light. Break it to unleash dazzling sparks. That Dude, I love this because we still don't know anything. All we know now is that... Yeah, this seemed to have been behind a cloud barrier, and the dragon, presumably Ra Ru's spirit form, just dispelled it for us. The only question that I have left in my mind is if the Sky Islands are actually physical or only spiritual, but at this point I would like to think that they're physical. <clears throat> oh my god, did you see that in the back? <laughs> Those islands just like popped into existence. I guess that's obviously how they dealt with the render distance, right? Like, stuff like that. Wait, okay, so there's a star fragment there, there's a tower there. This is the tower from the demo. Um, I want to go to Sacred Ground Ruins first, but oh my god, there's so much to do. A Bokoblin! The first Bokoblin we've met. This is a little bit new because of the lake. Oh, here's the backpack. Oh, here's a bunch of apples. And the new Bokoblin on. Four fused attack power. <clears throat> I mean, I've waited for this day for like four years, so... Of course, I'm gonna be excited. But, um... Right. That is strange. Hebra Peak looks a bit different. That might be a render thing again, though. It looks like less rounds. Wait, I kind of want to... Should I? I kind of want to... Okay. I want to take one of those platforms up. Because they should get me... Where will they get me? Where will they take me? Yeah, yeah, I will go, go to Sacred Ground Ruins or whatever, but I kind of want to see what happens if I recall this. Worst case, I can just jump back down. Oh, right. See, this is actually the one annoying thing. Switching to the recall rune automatically activates it, which freezes time. What? Oh, my, my crosshair was like... Somewhere completely different. There's a shrine up there? Oh my god, dude, the routing for all shrines is gonna be wild. Okay, this might not actually get me anywhere. This is just a great sky island, but uh, uh, like uh, above where I am. Okay, I should probably. <laughs> I 
So yeah, we don't have we don't get the paraglide. I wonder if the paraglide is gonna be optional. <clears throat> For like beating the game, I don't know. Long long ranch is back. This time no guardians. What even happened to the guardians? I have so many questions now. Yeah, routing all shrines is gonna be crazy. As soon as I'm done looking at like any percent stuff in the future, that's what I'll do. Loopy? I know there's a spirit blossom tree somewhere close to this uh, spot from all of the analysis stuff. Wait, I'm mad. Hopefully Raru returns at one point. I really liked him. But I guess he's just like the new old man, essentially. A lot of bloopies. So what happened to the to the Kami is the question. We know the the deco tree is gone. Or at least not in his old spot. Oh nice. Thank for the, thank you for the fire fruit. No Korok in here. <clears throat> There was a cave? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I re-explore stuff properly eventually. I just want to head to the uh, the thing. Yeah, this is definitely new. I want to head to the paraglider. What did I just hear? What is that? <gasps> Wrench ruins cave. What? It's like a cave troll. Okay, scary. Double jump scare, new horn, new weapon. <clears throat> I'll, I'll fuse the one. Ho horriblin? Nah, <laughs> horriblin. Horn. An elongated hammer shaped horn with a flat, with a hard flat front. Attached to a weapon to increase attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. And a rock sledge. What is this? Horriblin, Horriblin Claw. A talent obtained from Horriblin. Attach it to an arrow to increase its attack power or stew it with a crater to make an elixir. An underground chem. It's an OG chest. I wish you could defuse weapons. Out of the inventory. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it looks kind of funny, though. Stick with horn. Sticks suddenly become so much more powerful. A bright cap. A mushroom that grows in caves and contains luminescent enzymes. Cook it into a dish to give it a glowing effect to anyone. Dude, I still can't believe I've been playing this game. Um, to anyone who eats it. Oh, the good old traveler's bow. I mean, do I even want this? Not really. I already have construct bows, which are metal. <clears throat> Maybe I should have one wooden bow. When it like thunderstorms. Is there going to be more Horriblins here? Surely this camp isn't... There's going to be something here, right? This is a bait. This is a setup. What is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. I heard the A sound, but it didn't work. Interesting. Okay, so just a bunch of materials. Wait, somebody was like camping out here, I guess? Was that the Horroblin? Is that his camp? See, this is what I mean. Why do the swords look so weird? 
The blade has decayed, but it can still serve its purpose. An average salt with used largely by travelers. Like all of the salts I've seen so far are like in this decayed state. Oh. It's one of these dudes. So also to encourage fusing? I mean, yeah, that does make sense. But I thought there was like a deeper reason to it, you know? Like, gameplay-wise, I completely get it. But maybe because swords were not used after the Calamity, like, nobody needed weapons anymore, so they decayed? I don't know. This is, um, what is it called? So, what does this mean? The... This is an actual question for people that know. Does the check mark mean that we've cleared the cave or that we found it? Oh, that you got the frog. I see. What is this place called again? It's like a Link, uh, Link's Awakening reference. Marble Village Ruins. There used to be a chest down here. It's gone. It had ice arrows, so it makes sense that it's gone. Yeah, maybe the gloom affected them somehow. Soldier's broadswords. Easy to handle, enables quicker charged attacks. I wanna try that out. Oh, what? Oh, he had like... He had like fire weapons. Um... I like fire stuff loaded up. Oh, let's get rid of this. Oh, wow. Wait, that's really fast. We can actually triple charge with one bar. Oh, shit. Nah. Damn. Oh, I roasted them. Oops. Sorry, cavefish. I guess I need some food eventually. A luminous fish that lives in dark caves, when consumed, its light enzyme can make one's body glow. So they might be useful for exploring like gloom infested areas. Dude, how sick is it you can just jump into a well? I wanna get one of those. Sticky lizard. The suction of a toes allows this, it's this lizard to easily cling to walls. It could be an asset for a climber on wet surfaces. If it were mixed into an elixir. That's what people wanted for five years, six years. By the way. Wet climbing elixir. Can't wait till you find. Duh, duh, duh. Yeah, me too. Um, does this horrible hammer work for this? Okay. I guess it's because it's a hammer. I need more like rock type weapons. Especially like the boulders are good for mining. Unless there's still like iron sledgehammers in the game. Wow, okay, yeah, the stone axe is horrible at this. Oh, wait, there's literally rocks in front of me. Wait, what happens? Hello, test, am I still alive? I just heard a scary sound. A um, window sound. Wait, is it too... Oh, this is Ascent. This is not Fuse. I'm trolling. Oh, nice. Rupee. It's red luster tickles your heartstrings. I see. So rupees are back. Hmm. 
Don't show about the window somewhere for that was on my end. I'm sorry. But like, oh my god, this is so sick because now we can just ascend out. What a game. Yeah, oh. Dude, how am I gonna even get to the first objective? There's constantly something that I want to explore. There's a boss book, Hoblin. Okay, you know what I kind of want to test? Okay, hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you how to make boss book, Hoblin fights extremely easy. Uh, all you do is you basically select the ruby arrow. <clears throat> and then you just wait. Okay, never mind. I thought it would actually kill him. Oh! I backflip. Okay, don't clip this, don't clip this. Don't clip this. I do not know how to dodge this attack. Delete the clip, delete the clip. Wait, that guy's kind of chunky then. Wait, his friends are already dead? Oh, wait, did it auto save when I used the ruby? Ah, this game is mean. But I guess it makes sense. Wait, so does he not have a headshot hitbox? Or what? That is interesting. Okay, so how does he attack? He like swings like this. Then he gets angry. Okay, why does that not free rush? Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if this were more hits than usual. <gasps> Jesus Christ! That guy's kind of scary. Um, what else can we try? Some construct arrows. Okay, wait. So why did that work? Dun, dun, dun. The uh, look at those cheeks. Holy, my God! <clears throat> Boss becoming Fang. Boss becoming Horn. Ten fuse power. And the traveler's claymore. I definitely want to keep some of the two-hand weapons. They seem more useful than before, even. So what if... Where do I want to fuse this to? <clears throat> I set up my water stick. Maybe to a sword. <laughs> that looks so pathetic. But it actually is pretty good. 15 damage. I like that. Oh my god, we have a, we have a lot to do, a lot to learn. That is pretty short indeed, but it's dealing 15 damage is nice. That's different music. Hey guys, do you remember me? I lost the princess on the way, but... Um... Oh my god. Dude. Oh, boy. This game is so different without wind bombs and stuff. Obviously. There's a shrine kind of like surrounded by gloom. I could get that afterwards. Let's go in here. I love the soundtrack already. Could it be? It's me. Rosa, Link? It's you. You're back. Where have you been? Aww. Last that anyone saw you, e uh, either you or Princess Zelda was when you went to investigate the gloom. 
And then the castle rose into the sky and everyone has been so worried about what happened to you both. <laughs> Actually, um... Wait, so the timeline didn't change then. So it was always it was always going to happen that way. Pura has nearly won herself out of trying to figure out where you two went. Pura is work working in that large building over there. Okay. Ah. Wait, how much time happened between... I'm confused. Please report to her right away. She'll want to know where you... Uh, to know you're all right. So is this where we went, like, down? Lookout Landing, Hyrule Field. Because, like, why is this all set up? Like, in my mind, the castle didn't rise too long ago. I don't believe it. <clears throat> Link? What? Have you been this whole- Where have you been this whole time? We hoped you'd come back soon, but then you didn't, and now you have. Where's Princess Zelda? You didn't bring her with you? Whatever happened, please go talk to Pura first and foremost. She's up in a research lab that's on the north side of our fort. Up to the second floor, hurry. Uh, guys, I have to uh, tell you something. This is why the telescope is missing in Hateno. Because she took it with her. Tears of the Kingdom will be in speed on speed on the comma like two weeks, I think. I think they were gonna wait two weeks. Okay, you can buy Zonite here. Bright Blooms. Oh, wait, is it not a shop? <gasps> Robbie is here! Wait a minute! What do you think you're doing? Um. Yosha needs that for her eight, for her cousin research. Don't touch any of it without her permission. I'll get in big trouble if you do. <sighs> hey, hey you! Where have you been? I know this guy. Head of the Pura Pet Development. Pura made a company? Don't answer that. Tell me later. For now you should hurry and go talk to Pura. Did Pura fun, like, found a smartphone brand essentially like Pura Pet Productions? Wait, that's a genius name, like an alliteration. She's been in a tizzy ever since you and the princess disappeared. She's in the building with the telescope up on the second floor. Go see her and give her some peace of mind, will ya? Uh, sure. Let me just, uh... <laughs> That's so funny. I wonder what they, like, think. <laughs> Link just goes to the ceiling. <clears throat> huh? What? Joshua? That hair, those eyes, the... the dog? Oh. Dr. Pura! The swordsman, the swordsman has returned. Joshua? That's new, right? I don't remember Joshua. Oh? Adult Pura. Now where have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? She's taller than him. Hey. That looks interesting. Yep. Okay, yeah, she's kind of cute. One step at a time. What exactly happened? Well, you know, there was this spirit. <clears throat> you know, and this dragon. Okay, so we so had, when you and yeah. Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, right? You discover a mysterious mummy. Yes. Which suddenly reanimates. I still don't know why it suddenly reanimates. That makes no sense to me, Pura. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That's right. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Right. This game is set after Rotherite, the yes. Then, later, At least partially. Up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. Right. You get the Pura pad from an unusual creature. Because Zelda took it back in time. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Ravu. That's right. The Master Sword disappeared. Also went back in time, I'm assuming. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here.
I'm just recapping. I'm just re recapping, Jason. <clears throat> what? Then... What? Are you saying you came from up there? That's right. This Raru you met, I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make any sense yet. But I'm certain that uh, mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. The first king of Hyrule. Does that mean... Okay, there's two options. Either the ancient Zelda was his daughter, but the way they're presented in the shrines makes me think that's his wife. I'm telling you, if this game is gonna at the end hint towards like Raru being related, the king somehow being related, uh, uh, this is strange. This is strange. Anyway, uh, but I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Stop theorizing or stop telling me what to do, and I'll just do whatever I think is fun. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. And then, there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? I, I am pretty sure. And she gave you a clear message to find her. Yep. If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help? Oh no, please don't tell me she is like sealing like Ganondorf down there and she's been waiting for like one million years. Instead of 100 years this time. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link. But I need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tire tirelessly, tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Hoss. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. Hoss. Yes. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there. Which is concerning to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. That would be crazy, yeah. Okay, there's the, there's the character profiles. There's both of her forms. The highest authority on ancient technology. She has served Princess Zelda, Zelda's family for much of her life and now and has worked with the princess to research the Zona civilization. Most recently, they started an investigation of the outbreak of gloom. She has used herself as a test subject in her experiments. Despite being over a century in age, she reversed her aging to the extreme and actually looked like a child not too long ago. We, re we remember that. <clears throat> Crisis at Hyrule Castle. Okay, I, that's what I mean. I guess I'm going to be following the main story, quote-unquote, like that for now. Whenever there's like a feel, whenever I get like the feeling that um, I can go wherever I want to go, that's what I do. Hyrule Castle rose into the air at the start of the upheaval, which tore apart the earth underneath it. Pura believes that Princess Zelda may have called out to you from, a, uh, from deep in the earth, join the search for the princess below Hyrule Castle. Okay, I will do that. And then find Princess Zelda just says, you didn't find Princess Zelda on the Sky Island where you awoke. When you touched the light in the Temple of Time, you felt her presence, however faintly, as a voice rang out in your mind, Link, you must find me. Where is Princess Zelda? Was there anything more she was trying to tell you? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, a map. Interesting. Korok Forest, I'm assuming, is what this is. And it's, like, specifically marked. Also, these triangles are quite interesting. What was Pura studying here more recently? Gerudo Town. Goron City. Zora's Domain. Rito Village. Notes on the upheaval. On that day... The land shook. Huge chasms that seemed bottomless opened in the ground. The clouds billowed and rolled as floating islands appeared in the skies, raining chunks of ruins down on us. And strangest of all, Hyrule Castle began to float in the air. It's hard to believe this is our world now. Whoever started calling it the upheaval had the right idea. 
An evil-looking haze surged up from the chasms that opened on the surface. The haze weakens everything it touches. People fall ill when exposed to it, and it has another curious property as well. As if guided, the miasma coiled about our weapons. That, there it is. That's what I wanted to know. There isn't a single weapon we know of that hasn't decayed as a result. We're calling this stuff gloom. I had this theory a long time ago that gloom intentionally decayed the weapons. So this could just be obviously a gameplay mechanic, right? So they wanted, the, maybe maybe there's more reason to it, but it could also just be like, okay, this is how we're gonna encourage people to fuse more. We decided to call the islands hanging in the sky, Sky Island. Simple and to the point it's, uh, and to the point as best it seems. So also they can definitely see them. They're definitely physically there. I suspect based on the design motives on them that the runes falling from the sky are Zonai in origin. We still understand so little about the Zonai civilization. All we know is that it flourished in the sky. While it's true that the upheaval has posed major problems in every aspect of life in Hyrule, I can't deny that it's also presented us with an opportunity to answer questions we've long had about our history. Hmm. We've started investigating the fallen runes and the sky islands. Our best lead is a report from the chief of Kakariko village that some unusual ruins and engraved slabs have fallen there. So Impa. I decided to have the Zonai survey team work out of Kakariko village in the Kluda, southeast of Lookout Landing. Work out of Kakariko village, okay. The ruins that fell in Kakariko village are massive. You can see them from all the way here at the Lookout Landing. The crater left by the castle's rise is still spewing gloom. It's kept us from making any progress with our investigation. We still don't know anything about where the princess and Link have gone. The upheaval occurred very soon after Princess Zelda and Link left to explore beneath Hyrule Castle. I fear the two events are related. We started investigating the fallen ruins at Sky Islands. Okay. So yeah, the gloom specifically started decaying their weapons. And the weird thing already is that Pura talks about the fact that it seems like no weapons were safe, all weapons have decayed. But I know specifically from the trailer that we saw a royal claymore there that didn't seem to be decayed, so I wonder what that's about. That actually looks really cozy. Looks nice. Any more to read there? Oh god, Pyrrha's diary. <clears throat> A stairway leading deep beneath Hyrule Castle has been discovered. Even Princess Zelda didn't know about it, so it seems safe to assume it's a secret removed even from royal legend. We have confirmed that gloom emanates from that location, meaning something down there must be causing it. I appointed Princess Zelda and Link to investigate. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that Princess Zelda volunteered for the job before I had the chance. I know beyond a doubt there is no team more qualified for such a task, and yet I can't escape this feeling of dread. I've decided to store this diary in four volumes. That way, if a noisy someone reads it, <clears throat> they'll only have a quarter of it. Such ideas are the fruits of genius. As for the first one, I think I'll entrust it to who else but Impa. Speaking of Impa, she's had a cute habit of hiding important items underneath things ever since she was a child. I have found memory I have fond memory of when she forgot about a hidden steamed bun beneath a cushion and then sat on it. Squash flat. Diaries are flat to begin with, but as they are more important than a bun, I hope she finds a better hiding spot than a cushion. Okay. So Okay, so Pura has hidden diaries, and one seems to be an impulse possession hidden underneath somewhere. There's this mystery oh there is one of the is this one of the stone gliders? Or is this the, the legendary Manta Ray Divine Beast thing. That's cozy. Okay. Definitely didn't read your diary, Pura. Hmm. If the princess really did tell you to find her, then you better do so and quickly. Captain Hoss has been leading a search below her castle. Talk to him. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm counting on you, Link. Right. A surge beneath Hyrule Castle. Where did this come from? This fell down, I guess. Possible. Let's go. 
I'm glad you're getting your copy soon. Okay, so there's more. The, the telescope is out there, up there. Wow. So this is basically just an even stronger scope. To look at the castle. This looks so sick. There's a shrine now. Still don't really know where they where they came from. There is so many shrines. Is that a new wait? Wait, what happened? That's like kind of where Serene's stable is, but it's like moved. I think that's just a new stable. Because Serene's stable would normally be like behind there, right? Or are we that high that we can just see over it? Looks kind of strange. Yeah, the castle was definitely kind of like abandoned. We'll check out the dogs for sure. <clears throat> and also, um, what's that over here? Dragon scales. Okay, chilling, chill, chill, chill. Wait, a construct just came down here. This is, oh, this is just a crystal refinery on the ground. I can take your crystallized charges and use them. Okay, so this is where we can get battery updates, upgrades, as long as we have enough uh, cores. Another piece falling down. Pose? Twilight Princess time? Huh. What was Robbie cooking? Wait, so can I ever buy this stuff? Okay, no, Robbie just always scolds me. We just had the dialogue happen. <clears throat> okay, training facility here. I like this. This is like not really a village, right? But it's still just like... I don't know, it's cozy. So... A tower. But it doesn't seem like we can enter yet. The question is still if they can also take us underground. Because there's like essentially like a furnace around them. They're so weird. These towers are so strange. Does this say anything? No, this is just... Oh, this is like training instructions. Ah! What are they training at what time of day? Yeah, exactly, crazy. I, I wanted to... I, I, I was wondering what that was for, but they are just training instructions. Have I talked to Robbie? Not... not uh, maybe I need to talk to him again. He only, like, scolded me. So can I just open this? I can. But I can't do anything else yet. Robbie, my friends. I can make a balloon. So those balloon things that fell from the sky are called Zonai devices. There's still so much we don't know about them. But trust my boss, Pura, to take a thing we know so little about and turn it into something useful. She's the sharpest person in Hyrule, a creative genius. Hey, you. Do you have any idea how worried we've been? So that's the arm, huh? I've heard Pura talking about it. Hmm. I see, yeah. It's pretty weird, all right. Hmm. Nope. Now is not the time for distractions. That's got to wait until later. Anyway, I hear you've got yourself the Pura pet now. You know that Pura pet of yours can get a lot more powerful. I know it's real potential. I've got big plans for that device, but first I need to help Joshua with her investigations into the depths. But then, oh yes, then I will head back to the lab in Hatino Village to resume my research. So once I'm able to finish up here, you should join me there. I see. The depths. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna head to the captain. Looks like we can't attack with the tower yet. Pura didn't give us a glider yet. So I guess we leave. I guess uh, there's a lot of people to talk to. Um, um, that's kind of early. I, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. 
But I'm also ready. I want to see what it's like. This is so cool the way it like lights up the sky islands. Okay, we're just waiting for this now before I explore more here. There's a shop. They have apples and arrows. Oh, the cape. We need the cape. I'll sell whatever I have to get the, the cape. This is what you get for spending six hours in Plateau. Uh, it's fine. I mean, we took our time. Surely the Blood Moon can't be that bad, right? It's just going to respawn the monsters in Hyrule. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, I love everything about this game so far. Other than, again, the slow menus and some of the frame rate dips. Ooh. Scary. I'll just wait. Ah, it can't be that bad, guys. It's just a blood moon, right? It's like, Ganon rises once again. We're used to this. We know what it's like. Oh, there's gloom on, coming from the ground. Um, that's new. That's a new sound. Witness the blood moon's rise. What? When its red glow shines upon the land, the endless spirits of slain monsters return to Why does she sound like that? Just as they did in a war long past, the world is threatened once again. I don't like this. Is she like... Yeah, it sounded like she's like evil, like she wants it to happen. Did she get corrupted by the gloom or something? Man, I don't like that. She did not sound... Uh... Hmm. <clears throat> so, what's going on here? Robbie will ju still uh, just scold us for taking this. Okay, let's head to the captain. What are they about? They're on about? Even Pura stunt. Mm. It's hard to believe these ruins just fell from the sky. I mean, they're from the Age of Legends. And now they're here. It's also strange, huh? Oh. Yeah, it sure is. But it, it's also a great opportunity. All of us on the Zonai survey team should count ourselves lucky. If it weren't for the upheaval, this never would have happened. Not that anyone knows what the upheaval even is. Oh. While Pura is investigating the upheaval, she's certain it'll provide clues about Princess Zelda. But progress isn't great, I've heard. Oh. Is the princess alright? Whoever she is? These ruins right here are exceptional. But really, who cares about that at a time like this? Wait, I'm really confused now. <clears throat> Yeah, I heard somebody already did a speedrun. Please don't tell me the final time of it. Please, please. Uh, otherwise, I'll have to go emote only mods. I don't want spoilers like that. <clears throat> also, Meaty, thank you for the um, five gifted subs. Wait, why is the gloom gun from the castle? Did that happen after the Blood Moon? I didn't even realize. Central Square. And there's a shrine right here. Maybe I should get that on the way to the, the team. Q. 
Kyo no... Kyo non... Kyo nones. <laughs> Kyo nones. Okay, this is gonna be so, gonna take some time to learn again. <clears throat> I've been wondering about it in my playthrough too. Yeah, I wonder if it's just... Like, is that... A, if you get too close, it just, like, doesn't appear? Or did, was it related to the Blood Moon? Wait, I kind of want to see that. Like, what if I go back? <clears throat> Maybe it's bugged? There's, is there, wait. Silent Princess, this lovely flower was said to have been a favorite of the Princess of Hyrule. There were once feared to have gone extinct, but it's not uncommon to spot them growing in the wild. I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost to the calamity. Zelda. Yeah, have fun, Kopitov. I'm doing great. I'm having a blast, but I'm getting more confused as I play. Wait, how did that keys die? That's just like dead keys. I'm a little confused about the gloom thing. Does it just not load in when you're too close? Wait, that's so weird. That actually seems bugged. Or is there a reason? Is it because it's invisible? Is it, is it? Hmm. That's really confusing. I wonder if there's like a story reason for that or if it's just bugged. Maybe it's because gloom is technically not visible or something like that. I don't know. Okay, let's play. I, I'm very confused about Evil Zelda. Hyrule restoration materials. Use these materials. Use these materials cash for all your building needs. Come find us if you like to build a dream home. Hudson Construction. Hudson Construction. We read this in, re read this in the preview. So Hudson is his own like, company now? Okay, that's always what it says here. So you can use those to build stuff like, like a cart. Oh, that this is his sign. He's made it. Hudson is his own company. Edison, is that his son? No way. The, I was gonna say, there's no way that the, the... But why does he look so much like him? That's so weird, because... The time skip can only be like a couple of years, right? Brother, maybe. War, war, war. Darn it all. President Hudson, are you okay? Maybe he's just like, like trying to be him. Oh no. What have I done? All right. I'm sorry, President Hudson. I won't let you fall over again. It was unforgivable. Oh, he's just a fanboy. It's all your fault, startling me like that. Yes, I know it's just a sign, but I have a great respect for President Hudson, so I pin the blame on you. Unforgivable. President Hudson? You haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's the one appointed by the princess herself. She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere. And now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he's also the founder of Hudson Construction. Besides all that... Sorry, what's all this? Hey! I'm right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. What was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission. And that's to put up these signs all over the place to let everyone know that Hudson Construction is a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. These portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail, noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over. And so, I've pledged to support him. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson. I'm here for you. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Um, try letting go? What? Are you going to support him? All right. I'll let go. <laughs> Actually rolled. Unforgivable. That was a good one. Um, what if I like... Can I like ultra hand it to the ground? Um, what about this? Uh, 
Does it not work? What is it? I need to stay focused. President Hudson might topple over if I don't give him my full support. Try letting go. What? Are you going to support him? All right. What? That doesn't work. Wait, why was I not able to attach? Does he say anything else? Wait, I feel like there's got to be a way to do this, no? Yeah, what if I make like a door stopper? Uh... This this is still <laughs> this definitely still takes some getting used to. This this would work. This should work. How is the president standing? That was brilliant. Would have never thought of it. All right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. Just put this right there, get that fastened, and... Perfect! With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my fa thanks. Wow, what a generous payment, sir. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Okay, they look kind of disgusting. This homestyle dish of Kakariko Village is stuffed with the bounty of the mountains. I don't know why the rice is so brown, but I... Uh, sure. Um, ah, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection. A special gift. A sleepover ticket? What? A lodging voucher for a regular stable bed. A reward for collecting pony points. Spend it at a stable to get some rest and recover from the fatigue of travel. Ah. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. If that, I'm off. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty broke before, not gonna lie. A sleepover ticket. Strange. Okay, so there's the central square. There's some camps out here. Some decayed weapons. Like this traveler spear. I need to get used to dropping weapons from here. What do I have right now? These claymores are kind of useful. Flame and Mitter Club kind of good. I want to kind of keep my water stick. Not gonna lie. Um, but I guess uh, traveler spear is the worst right now. Eventually, when I get better materials to make a uh, a powerful spear from. Well, actually, maybe. Let's see. Water stick, flame emitter club. I feel like the flame emitter club is kind of mid, not gonna lie. I would rather have a more powerful spear. <clears throat> um, by fuse power, the boss book Hoblin Fang is the strongest one I have. Really? Kind of ugly, but uh, I guess we make a book Hoblin Fang spear. I mean, uh, most normal Tears of the Kingdom weapon. Alright. The Kyoronis, or Kyononis. What was it called again? We'll see. <clears throat> Shrine. Basically, Cryonis. You can detach weapons, but the fuse material breaks. You have to do it through the menu. Combat training. Kyonosa Shrine. So this is going to be like our test of strength in Kakariko used to be. It's probably where we learn flurry rushes and parries. Unfortunately, I don't have a shield, but it's exactly like it. Provides us with a shield. So that's probably what it's going to be. I haven't seen a soup lately yet. So this is like a friendly construct. So they already built a construct? No, 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 because this is from the zona. These fell down from the sky, right? The shrine purifies the ancient evil. Um, you who have entered here, heed my instruction. The music, dude. 
Use a side up to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Right, Flurry Rush. Yeah, it's white because it's, it's exactly like the Guardian in Breath of the Wilds. Right? Okay, this guy attacks so slow. I don't want to waste more durability. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Sure. I love this music so much, this combat music. <laughs> Dude, he, he, this is like an Elden Ring boss. He winds up for six years and then eventually swings. <clears throat> you can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. I don't know if there's going to be test of strengths. I hope so. Because where else would we find higher level captain's constructs? <laughs> Build up your power, then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Beautiful. Oh man, I'm in love with the soundtrack. Your mastery of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. How far into the game are you? Um, six hours, but I spent a lot of time on the Sky Plateau to explore everything. Or like the Great Sky Island. So yeah, even the chest at the end, you're just like a blessing shrines. Zonite Sword. A sword made of zonite. It resonates with attached zonite devices to slightly increase its attack power. So this is like extra good for like flame emitters and stuff, I'm assuming. Interesting. I kind of want to put a fan on it. Oh, you can take out zonite devices and shrines, I see. Bows can't be fused? Yeah, that's what I thought. Visitor to the Shrine of Light. Or maybe you can fuse a bow to your shield? I don't know. I don't know what that would do, but uh, you have done well. Okay, okay. I don't know if I should always watch this cutscene. Um, I don't know if it's always if it's going to be different or not. For now, for today, we'll definitely take it slow. Maybe as we get closer to wrapping up the game at one point, like cleaning up, then I'll start skipping cutscenes like that. They're always the same, seemingly. Yeah, yeah, I knew that the Koroks were back from like previews and stuff. The soundtrack is great, that is true. Okay, we purged some more gloom. Light of blessing. A crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil. Purifies. So with the radiance. The radiance. True, you get to and you get to throw them off. Yeah, um I like I like the design especially, but even the beginning shrines were quite cool, I agree. How many have we done now? Five. I have no idea how many there's in the game. If there's gonna be 120 again, 150. 100, 99, 69. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, not a big deal. I'm the guy that just went into the stone. Um, I want to make a fan sword. Just to see what it's like. Yeah, most normal weapon. <clears throat> it's essentially a Korogli, but it shoots much faster. And I'm assuming it does more damage, right? 10 damage. If the wind does 10 damage, that would be crazy. Note on the table. Pura has sent urgent orders from Lookout Landing for us, for all of us, on the monster control crew. As Hyrule Castle continues to float, she's tasked us with searching the area beneath it for Princess Zelda and her protector. 
Be aware that the gloom has spread even more in this area. Prepare yourself before you depart. Captain Hoss. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Captain. Traveler's shield. Sturdy shield loved by many, an adventurer. It is made of animal hide and sturdy wood, and it is best suited to defending against weak monsters or animals. I go there soon, I just want to talk to this person. Yeah, 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 I will. Mile. Whoa. Was that opening there before? How could I have missed it? Huh? What is it? What is it? We're close to the chasm here. So it's dangerous, you know? For all I know, this shrine could be dangerous too. My point is, lots of things are dangerous ever since the upheaval, so be careful, okay? Chasm? More like chasms, you know? The creepy openings in the ground, ever since the upheaval, they're all over. This area, they're beneath Hyrule Castle, to the south of the Lookout Landing. I heard that members from the research team went rooting around and someone ended up in a bad way. It's best yeah. to steer clear of. I'm glad I'm researching shrines, not the chasms. Let's talk about shrines. Huh? You mean like the one right here? When the shrines appeared, it caused such a commotion that they landed in the newspaper. Mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. It was smack on the front page, you know? So far we only know they're from the Age of Legends. But did they fall from the sky or emerge from the ground? And just what are they anyway? I don't think they... I don't think either. I think where, where they just build for Link because they... Because when Zelda fell into the past... So, ah, uh, this is so confusing. Ah. Aside from the shrines, we've got the cousins, of course. To tell you the truth, we don't know squat about all of the things that sprung due to the upheaval. But the shrines and cousins, they could be dangerous, which would be scary. So we need to investigate them. Pronto. Uh -huh. The people from the search party are putting in long hours at Harry Castle, so I intend to do the same. That is interesting because I'm still not sure if they just appeared due to Zelda falling into the past or so if they did fall from the sky. Strange. So the newspaper said they just appeared. Any more to say? <clears throat> Something's moving around in Castle Town. I haven't really looked yet though. Too scary. It's probably not best to not wander aimlessly around here. I'm planning on finishing my shrine investigations quickly so I can head back to Lookout Landing. Mm. If it came down to it, the monster control crew at the castle gates would help me, right? Something's moving around? I don't know if that was related to the guy with the signs, but it sounded scary, eh? Oh. Olaf, I know this guy. Where, why do I know this guy? Where, where is he in Breath of the Wild? I definitely know his name. Link, is that really you? When did you get out from the castle? I'm so ashamed. Been on watch duty here this whole time, and I didn't see you at all. Mm. I've really got to get serious about my training. Where is he from, Olaf? I seen uh, he's related to, with a quest. Oh, he is uh, in um, Gerudo Canyon. He is part of the team, right? Of Sesame's friends. I've really got to get serious about my training. Captain Hoss doesn't know that you're back, does he, Link? You should report to him right away. He's in the gate tower at the top of the hill, past the lower gates. Mm. I'm sure the captain will be just as surprised to see you as I was. Interesting. So, did they leave Sesame and get an actual captain? Or the captain is even worse? We're once, a ba once again back at Hyrule Castle. Does the door look different? So it's just a lighting. It almost looks like iridescent. But I think it's just the lighting. I mean, I think it's still metal. It's just that you can you can ultra and metal as well. <clears throat> New castle music, basically. It's obviously much quieter, much more solemn now. I wonder if we can still go in there. I mean, sure, right? I'm so surprised that we can just go up here, by the way. Wait. Wait, why can't we just go up here? Wait, what's going on? Isn't this supposed to be flying or is it only the higher part? <clears throat> There's certainly no guardians, but 
I, I guess only the higher part. Yeah, 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 okay. Only the highest part went up. There's a Korok. I can see it. I think I love this game. There used to be a Korok up here. Maybe I'll do a little bit of exploring before I go in there. Oh my god, I'm getting any percent flashbacks. Do you think the gate is still there? Sure is. It sure is. But there's actually people here now, which feels so cool. Did shield clip work? I mean, this would be the place to try it. Oh, there's a Korok here. That's new. The small seed was given to you by um, a Korok. It has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what may happen. It definitely doesn't. You can already see that what they did something really weird with Skew. You also can't really unequip shields mid shield jump anymore. This looks so so scary. Oh shit. Incredible. It's not flying. It just lifted. Gatehouse. What? Flava. View. Standing on the edge and staring in, the, in it is intense. Seeing a cousin in person is far better than hearing about it. Cousin? Whoa. Why would you do that? Just up and startle someone on the edge of the void. This cousin is nearly bottomless, just like all the others created by the upheaval. Personally, I do not want to hit the bottom of a nearby bottomless cousin. Even though it scares me, I can't stop staring into it. If I had a glider, you know, I would jump, but I don't. Yep. Why did you go to a castle already? Because you're supposed to? <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to beat the game, but that's literally where I was told to go. How many seconds did you test with a sprint? I mean, you can see it in the vault quite early, though. I'm pretty sure I tested it in the very first section. Okay, this does not break rocks. Yeah, I was wondering if a liner would just randomly fall down. Okay, that's the Fedora guy. That's the Reddit user. Purpin. Just like I thought. The weapons here have all decayed too. I wonder if there are any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. Yeah, what about the weapons? That's what I've been wondering. Hey, it's a new face. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. I remember we talked about this on the stream that I did a long time ago. And that's why I'm wondering if the Guardians were also destroyed. Um... By this. Because they could potentially be used to defeat Ganondorf. Like the Divine Beasts, right? They're also a real pain to repair. So the best thing to do is strengthen them. Right. By fusing- Oh, the soup ladle is back! We won, we won. It's over. I'm gonna make the best soup ladle you've ever seen. Uh, what do I even get rid of at this point? You know what, I'm just gonna fuse it to my claymore. I'm gonna make a spin uh, ladle. Oh. oh my god! Free soup, baby! The 
pounder though. <laughs> Literal meat grinder on a stick. Um, it was cl the gate that was closed, right? I mean, I guess I could continue. Um, but I'll do that later. I, I go to the main street spot. I want the glider. It's gonna make exploration much easier whenever you get that. Uh oh. Okay, we're fine. What I do wonder, actually, is... Okay, never mind. I thought maybe. Yeah, I don't have the glider yet. I'm, I'm uh, sad. Wait, am I supposed to get the... Uh, it's fine, it's fine. I'll just see what happens. I do like the mute. There's a Korok puzzle. I keep getting sidetracked. Oh, we can just ascend back up. Keep forgetting that. Really? Does that not work already? There we go. Well, I don't even know where you get the glider. <laughs> Wait, where am I? I? I thought I was like much higher than I was supposed to be. Yeah, Ascent is very interesting. So this guy has a broken spear. Who is he? Shas. Link? No, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. This area is restricted only to those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. This is by, di this is by direct order of Captain Hoss. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. You should be in the first gatehouse up at the, road of this, up at the end of this road. Okay. Wait. Isn't that where I just went? Wait, was he not there before because I didn't have this dialogue? Or was that the second gatehouse? No, there was a... I, I missed him. I guess I didn't talk to him, but also I don't know if he was there. I just missed him. Okay. Can I, like, ascend like this? Oh my god. Dude, ascent routing for speedrunning. Hog. He's a bit hidden, okay. Is he in a tent, maybe? Torch? Should I take this torch? <clears throat> Torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. Um, I have too many weapons, man. But I kind of feel like a torch would be useful. Ah, we'll see. I have a lot of uh, the light flowers as well. Wait, is this horse? You come up here to help look for Princess Zelda. Yeah, me and a few others had the same idea. We all owe a great deal to the princess. We're hoping to help anyway, but the captain is way on top of the gate to say, okay, it doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up without being asked. So uh, best to stay out of the way until we can help somehow. You missed him, you missed him. Could I see my map? Yep, it's basically empty. That's too high. But this is not Oh, that was his spot. I feel like Fuse will get stale pretty quick and we'll figure out a weapon matter, but Ultra and his endless possibilities. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Fuse for me is interesting from an aesthetic perspective as well. Like casually, I just want to find cool weapons that look cool. Where is this dude? Oh, down there, I see. He's looking down to the cousin. Oh, I remember Hoss now. It's him, right? Yeah, yeah, where is he from? But I'm in the middle of... I, I knew that name sounded familiar. Is he from... Hateno? Mm? Link? Is that you? You're alive. 
Or is he also from... Oh, he's from the stable. You show him the Kilton picture, right. Um, and all in one piece, it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief. Um, hang on, you're alone? But you heard the princess calling out to you. And you're here to help with the search? I see. Uh, maybe I, I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What menace is continuing our search for Princess Zelda? I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us, though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. Oh. Captain? It's Princess Zelda? Um... Mm? Princess Zelda, she saved. What is going on? Uh. Okay. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> so they can mm -hmm. see her. You saw that too, Link? You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? How strange. This is an emergency situation. Mm. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we've just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw. But it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. Everyone, let's withdraw. What the hell? Also, what's going on here, by the way? Raru, source of the right arm. Someone who shares a name with the first king of Hyrule. He claims the strange arm Link finds himself with was once his. Before he disappeared, leaving more questions than answers, he also said that he'd learned of Link's existence from Princess Zelda, so they've met. An engineer whose eccentric style adds a lot to his reputation as a wild genius. He once helped Link from, from the research facility at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Since then, he's moved to the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab to help Pura develop the Pura Pet. Robbie thinks he did much of the work on the device, so he's a bit grumbly that it's not named after him. Princess Zelda, that artwork is amazing. Um, the heir to a power that imprisons darkness. She sacrificed her freedom over 100 years ago to keep Calamity Ganon sealed away and prevent him from further destroying Hyrule. After Link helped free her from that long duty, she committed herself to rebuilding and restoring Hyrule, but now she's gone missing. <clears throat> uh, I can also just teleport down here, I guess. To the Kyonones Shrine. Is it a fun game? I'm having a great time. In like 30 minutes or so, I will probably uh, get some lunch, um, take a quick break, and then play for the rest of the day. What's up, Razor? I'm having a great time, yeah. Yeah, I think everyone immediately thinks of Cryonis. 5 p.m. lunch? I mean, I also had like 1, p 1 p.m. breakfast. So, yeah. The first acorn, often found around on the ground near trees, squirts a door does not. You may have a competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. What? I've never heard anyone say that. Why would you want to eat an acorn? Pot lid! Oh shit. The lid of a large soup pot. It smells vaguely of poultry broth. Yum. It can take quite a beating before breaking. Dude, the best shield in the game. Let's go. There is so much going on. And this is only... Like, everything is different on the surface. Everything is going to be different in the sky. There's a chasm and caves and... Jesus. Can I not only take four heads or something? Yeah, it was mostly a joke. It was because it used to be the shield we used for speedruns. Most of the time. I think it takes more than four heads. It has more durability than the Boko shield. Yeah, I have the best best shield already. It's game is over. 
See, I could have just ascended through the roof there. I need to think with ascent. Oh, I see a Korok. That's why I went up here, because there used to be a Korok seat here. And there's yet again. The game is running on 30 FPS when it, it's running well. It can easily go below 30. It's probably the game's biggest weakness so far, which was basically expected. There's a shrine here. No, there used to be one, like, basically behind this rock, Katachuki. There are so many. We should probably start collecting some of those soon, even for just war points. But I would like a horse first, honestly. And a glider. Does this get yeah, that's what I thought as well earlier, actually. Why is the door closed? Oh. I'm not sure if this is actually the case, but it did feel like that. I haven't seen a comparison. What's up, I'm Banana? We are back indeed. Link, well, did you find anything? Yeah, well, Zelda was like there and she teleported. Huh? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light? And flew off. Gotta say, your stories are always so wild. Like breath of the weather. <clears throat> but if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Mm. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval for now at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up the clues um, where she flew off to as we look around. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you still got the Pura pet, right? Can I see it for a second? It's a little worse for wear, but it seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Joshua, what's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? <laughs> Let me see. So we're gonna get shot up there and we have to map it ourselves. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Uh. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like a, I better get cracking. What is she like using there, like a flute? Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just a spot for you. There's three beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info, talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter entrance is. If you need clothing for your travels... No, I don't think seven years have passed. I think the reason Pura looks like this is because she has messed around with her uh, like age-reversing rune. Um, that was like the entire thing that she did when Link reached Hateno in the first game. You should go to Mab's shop. I'll be over by our Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Granted that Tulin, um, from the trailers, doesn't seem to be too much older. I would say like between three and five years, two and five years, I don't know. Alright, Joshua, let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel point. Joshua, you're in charge of the switch. Okay, dog, you can count on me. Isn't she like his oldest impa? That's right, yeah. After you told Pyrrha that Princess Zelda vanished, she asked you to search the regions of Hyrule when the upheaval is also wreaking havoc. Okay. Let's check out our um, shelter for the night. I'm very happy. I'm having a great time. Lookout landing well. I, I get it. I get it. I've learned the game already. Oh. I'm not allowed? Don't touch that. Oh, it's Carson. He's from the construction company. The well is still under construction, so please steer clear for now. If you fell in, it would be a whole thing. Because I, I yeah, I, I this is obviously going to be an entrance to the underground at one point, but... What's up, Carson? Oh. I've been sorting out whether or not I can build a mini stable in Lookout Landing. Lester has come here to care for the horses, so it helped him out a lot if he had a proper stable. 
project would likely take me a while to complete, oh. though. But once it's done, you'll be able to take full advantage, Link. So Carlson is building a stable, and we're probably going to have to help. Oh. I've been sorting out whether... No, no, okay, okay, same. Oh. Interesting. Carlson is back, and you can maybe build us a stable. <laughs> Dude. These weapons. Oh, I guess it's a... F Wait, it's kind of a fused weapon. But it's like actually made. Okay. Oh, she's from Lurlin, right? Hey. hey, welcome. It's your first time at my store, right? At least uh, uh, the jewelry looks like that. It's the only place to shop here and look out landing. I know it looks a little thrown together, but I stock a nice selection of goods. I ran a store back in my hometown, so I hope you'll support my place here. Buy my stuff. Ah. So shopping is back. What will it be? So interesting. I have Zonite, which I can sell for rupees. I have Mealed. I can sell the rice balls I just got from my friend. Oh. I just want to... I'm assuming the uh, the tunic is still going to be 80. Oh, Opal is only sells for 30 now. So they decreased the value of these items, I'm assuming, to make you more... Like, to encourage you more to actually use them for fighting. It's 18 for the Staminoka bus. Damn. That's pretty good. I'm kind of broke. I just want enough for the... Uh, well, actually, let's double check. But I think the cape is probably going to be 80 again. It's 70. Perfect. Nice choice. It's is 70 rupees. Okay, sure. A hood woven using traditional Hyrulean methods. It's made from a sturdy material to protect travelers from the harsh sun and weather. That's so generous of you, sir. You've made me very happy today. No worries. Um, so, so this is the version... Wait, so is there just two versions? I still don't get it. Because we've seen a cape without the hood. If I'm not wrong. It's going good, sorry, kittens. Still a little bit confused about that. Hydean trousers are 120. You missed the shirt I'm wearing? You can probably find it still if you go back to the, um, the Sky Island. I've not tried BLSS, but I already know it's patched. Okay, I'm gonna keep the hood for now. I will buy the other things eventually. Wait, so what does this map rune actually do? It just opens the map, that's it? Or is this like an upgraded version of it? Oh, that was the, we only had the map for the sky at first and now surface? I don't know. Clothing animation is some sort of quest, I can see that. Oh, this is literally just a lookout tower. What? This is just a puddle. I thought this had some secret meaning. What's going on here? <clears throat> hmm? What? Is that really you, Link? You've returned! It's such a relief to see that you're safe. Oh, let me introduce myself. I'm Gralens, head of the monster control crew. It's our job to keep the monsters at bay as best as we can throughout Hyrule. But aside from that, we've been assisting at the search for Princess Zelda, whose whereabouts are unknown. Oh. I'm glad you've returned safely, but I'm gravely concerned about the princess. I'm holding out hope that the monster control crew brings back good news. I'm searching the castle for her now. We were just there, actually. Mm. I see. Princess Zelda ascended into the sky above Hyrule Castle and then vanished? Oh. What a very strange thing. All the same, it's a relief to hear she's alive. Well then, with that information, the monster control crew will resume our original duty of subduing the monsters. Of course, if we come across any info... Dude, look at all these islands. Um, regarding the princess, I will report it immediately to Pura. Oh. I've assembled strategies and pertinent information at our headquarters in the emergency shelter. There you'll find folks with an intimate understanding of Hyrule's geography as well. If any of that is relevant to you, I encourage you to take the time to stop by. 
Alright, everyone. It's time to oh. vote. Flexed squad. For now, I'm positioning you in the south of Hyrule. Proceed to Farron. There are pirates running rampant in that area. So sweep the coast thoroughly. We're counting on you. Huh? Excuse me? Pirates and Farron? This is the first hiding room we're getting. A common mushroom found um, the trees. Restores half a heart. Pirates and Farron. Oh. Sorry, I didn't greet you properly when you first arrived here. I was just so relieved to see you. My name is Scorpius. I've been charged with managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about the place at all, come right to me. I'll answer as best as I can. Ah. Now please allow me to open up the emergency shelter. Ew. Hey, it's me. Open up. What? Below sacred ground ruins. Okay. Ah. This underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home in our vault. Use any equipment you want. Whoa. The emer Wait, this is so cool. I know this guy. He's in Farron. There's a statue. There's the camps. And all of the hide, all of the hidings and like people have kind of come together, like people from Farron, people from Hateno, Akala, they're all working the same pursuit. Ah. Link, welcome, welcome. Call me Monty. You will find me employed as the gatekeeper of this fine establishment. Uh, this is the emergency shelter. We are all where all are welcome. Please stay as long as you like. Ah. Indeed, this place was originally used by the royal family as a safe haven in times of need. It's quite old, so we've been fixing it up as we go, you see. At this point, we've stockpiled some supplies, and I find it to be downright cozy. I agree. What are you doing here, though? Ah. I, Monty, have been tasked with the illustrious duty of watching the entrance of this renowned emergency shelter. My tasks involve taking orders from my superiors regarding when to open or shut the entryway. Noble task Aye. indeed. Watch your footing when using the ladder. And if only one could go straight through the ceiling, rather than using a tiresome ladder, ha! <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> Is he gonna react to this? Oh. Okay, never mind. Hi. That's what I'll be doing though. Garini, I know him. So you're Link, huh? Wait, what do you mean? I did all of your quests in Farron. I, I, I did the shrine, remember the fragmented monument? I, I, like, helped you. Some of the soldiers were just telling me. As a simple man from Lurlin, I'm a, s a little starstruck. We don't see a lot of celebrities back home. Well, we work together. What's the glowing weapon he has? It's a opal... Um, attached to a stick, and that's why it emits water power. Lurlin? Oh. Lurlin Village. It's a fishing town in East Nekluda, far to the southeast. It used to be a popular resort, thanks to its sandy white beaches and gorgeous views of the sparkling sea. Mm. Then we got attacked by pirates. Now no one's living there. It's gonna be like a ghost town, let alone running the shops. But listen, it's gonna be getting all gloomy. Good one. Gloomy. There's an upside. If not for the pirates, my wife and I wouldn't have come here. I should just uh, shut my trap and enjoy the charms of Lookout Landing. Mm. Bats! You believe that? In my village, you couldn't find these anywhere but at the inn. So, pirates attack Lurlin. A Boko Reaper? Don't mind if I do. But I don't have space. I need to fight some enemies. I have too many weapons. Link didn't find all the sh Sheikah shrines. Is canon? Yeah, apparently. Like Bokoblin pirates? I don't know. Oh, oh hey, is that you, Link? I 
happen nose down, so I don't know what's happening around me half the time. It's pretty involved. So I'm going to keep sitting here while while I wrench on this. Uh. You might have heard, but when the upheaval happened, all of the weapons decayed. We've put so much energy into trying to fix them, but it's been no use. Decayed? Uh. Yeah. Just before the upheaval, gloom began pouring out of the ground. It clung to the weapons, pulsing as if alive. We watched as the weapons rotted to pieces right before our eyes. It's all pretty wi wild, and I don't understand how it happened. The time when Hyrule Castle can float, I've given up trying to make sense of most things. Ah. Oh yeah, in case nobody has mentioned yet, you're welcome to the weapons over here. Though there probably won't be much use to you, since the, you guessed it, decayed. Right. That is so nice. I like this place a lot. I have like fresh, quote unquote fresh water there. We'll make uh, a nice little dish. Put some salt in there, little nutty seasoning. <laughs> love this game, love the stream, gotta go have fun. Yo, thank you, Heather. Um, short ingredients, just rub some meat in salt and cook it for a simple tasty dish. A salt grilled meat. Burmano. Oh. Hey, are you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh face when I see one. I can say that because I'm a newcomer too. My name's Burmano, and they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I want to say something fancy, like for today's menu, we have a fruit and mushroom mix. That'll rev you right up. Oh. Yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but uh, I'll plump out, I'm plump out of apples. If you don't have my most important ingredients, say goodbye to rich full flavor. Oh. Hmm. My nose is detecting an aroma, a sweet, tangy, pleasant aroma. Could it be? Do you have an apple? Wait, did this guy not have a quest marker? Have I experienced nighttime yet? Well, I've seen, I've had a blood moon happen and it kind of disturbed me in new ways. What do you think about this game so far? I really like it, but yeah, I don't know what's going on with the blood moon and why Zelda sounds evil. Um, I do have an apple. He didn't have a quest marker, but he had a quest. He had a marker? Okay, I just didn't see it and I'm blind. Um, wow, you're really generous. I'm giving you... I probably need to eat something soon. I'm, uh, I'm giving you first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. Delicious. <laughs> I'm calling it Burmano Special Fruit and Mushroom Mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? This dish contains the sweetness of fruit with the savoriness of mushrooms. <laughs> I like to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. I should try making some. There's our first side quest. Oh. There's so many people everywhere to like talk to. Wait, there's like a missing poster of us. It's the same Hyrulean script, and yet it's so different from our modern language. We still have a lot to learn, huh? Hmm? Don't tell me. Based on your stature, physique, and distinctive right arm? You must be Link, am I right? Distinctive right arm? How do they know of this? Oh, Pura has taught me much about you. I'm Wardsworth. My research specialty is Ancient Hyrulean. Hmm. By ancient Hyrulean, I don't mean the texts found in the ring ruins, but something different. It's what we call a language used at the time of Hyrule's founding. Our modern language is built on that foundation. Hmm. These books here are written in that ancient tongue. They'd look like gibberish to your average Hyrulean. Are you curious about ancient Hyruleans? Uh, Hyrulean. I don't have anything to show you as things stand now, hmm. but I'm sure I'll someday have results posted and ready for you all to see at the lab in Kakariko Village. This will be important, because in the preview on that island that looked like a lotus flower or whatever, it looked like there's a text there in ancient Hyrulean that Link couldn't read. So Skyward Sword Hyrulean, again, my current understanding is that the story that we learn about here is more like a reimagining of the beginning of Hyrule, but... Um, We'll see the relations soon enough. ZST, three big ideas. Read the Zonai Surveys team, three big ideas. Surveying shrines, surveying chasms, our team's purpose. The mysterious ruins that appeared due to the upheaval with strange dome like protrusions, protrusions, I'm calling shrines. They are believed to be from the Zonai civilization, but exact details regarding these shrines are unknown. Huh? I'm I'm getting more confused. Like, is this like an alternate timeline? 
Because they should have like known of the other shrines. Nobody's even talked about the Divine Beast. Why did Garini not recognize me? They believe to be from the Zonai civilization, but exact details regarding these shrines are unknown. Or maybe they just like assume that. When observing shrines as well as fallen ruins, take note of their shape. The sky above and the surrounding environment. It's weird. Large holes appeared all over the world after the upheaval. They release gloom and are known as chasms. Gloom is physically harmful to people. Direct contact should be avoided. If the effect of gloom are making you feel ill, evacuate from the chasm immediately. Before entering any chasm, be sure to ask permission from Joshua, the leader of the chasm surveys. Okay. I, now I'm feeling more confident that the idea we had about the tower also sending you downwards is probably more correct, but we'll see. Um, we found we of the Zonai survey team were fun, founded and tasked by Princess Zelda to study ruins and ancient docu documents. Through the lens of arche archaeological understanding, it is her hope that we will uncover the deep history that will uncover the deep history of Hyrule. Due to the upheaval, many ruins from the Zonai civilization came crashing down from the sky. Uh, pretty disappointed. It feels like I'm playing Breath of the Wild all over again. I like it a lot so far. Um, and I've actually listened to a review yesterday where they said for the first like five hours, they felt the same way. But once you make the discoveries and you truly realize the game's scale, I think it probably will stop. But might not be for you. I'm having a great time already, but I'm obviously a huge fan of the series. Our chief ex executive is Toro, the first individual in the world to find a clue to deciphering Zonai scripts. Toro. Is that a guy? No, that's not him. That's Wart Wartsworth. Our current survey are wholly focused on learning more about the Zonai civilization. Research results are shared out to specialists at the base in Kakariko Village. Okay, so Kakariko Village is going to be about ancient Hyrulean studies. Remnants from the Zonai civilization have started popping up all over. This calls for the Zonai survey team. Mm. Well, it should call for that, but instead, they've got me hanging out here until further notice. I even spent loads of hours memorizing everything in the Zonai survey team book over there. Guess the best thing to do now is to stay on top of the news in each region. So I'm even more prepared when the call comes. Mm. Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to Rito. The Rito are all over the newspaper lately. It's, it's especially... Oh, I think we were right with that too. I remember seeing that it looks like there was snow in Rito village. It's been especially cold there. They live out in the Hebra region, if I recall. It's in the snow fields of northwest Hyrule. Some surveyors grouse about going there because of how cold it is. When all they need to do is bring proper gear and supplies for cold resistance. And go to the Rito Inn to sleep on a luxurious fluffy down bed. <laughs> I know it's important to be on standby here, but I wish they'd sent me out to the survey already. Okay, so pirates in Farron, freezing temperatures in Rito Village, dangerous cousins below Hyrule Castle in central uh, Hyrule. Today in the Lucky Glover Gazette, mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. Shrines appear everywhere due to shifts caused by the upheaval. With Pura as their leader, the Zonai survey team begins thorough investigations the world over. Huh. Guess this paper's a little old. That is still very strange. Huh? Oh, it's you, Link. Pardon me for being lost in my work here. This map tends to get all my attention. Are you interested in different people? Peoples of Hyrule and where they live? That's my entire field of study. When I'm out, of the, uh, out on development, the monster control crew, I spend hours pouring over our maps. As such, I'm the most knowledgeable in lookout landing about Hyrule's various peoples, and the towns and villages. Oh. Aside from Hylians, there are four other peoples in Hyrule. The Rito, the Gorons, the Zora, and the Gerudo. Each live in a different area and have their own unique traits, whether it's soaring in the sky or feasting on rocks. Mm. We Hylians also live in villages that reflect our unique cultures. The Sheikah are renowned for their wisdom. In fact, our most prolific researchers are among them. The leader of Lookout Landing Pura is from the Sheikah tribe. Oh. This theme is great, yeah. Hyrule has eight major places that its various people call home. Oh, this is big. The forest. Lookout Landing is located here in central Hyrule. 
up northwest of here, there's Rito Village in Hebra. Then there's Gerudo Town. That's located to the southwest in the Gerudo region. We'll find Goron City to the northeast of uh, in Elden. Travel a bit further east and you'll come across Terry Town in Akala, which is now canon. Not too far from there is Zora's Domain. That's within the Lenero region. Hmm. Continuing into southeast Hyrule, you'll come across a cluster of Hylian villages. These are within an area called Nekluda. We've got Hateno, Kakariko village where the Sheikah live. I hear the village leader is quite lovely. The village leader is quite lovely. Is he into... Uh, I mean, I was, uh, it's your decision, Atmos. Um, if you're seeking a tranquil spot, Hateno village is worth a visit. I also hear it's become a center of fashion. Finally, there's Lurden Village. It's a wonderful getaway destination. I don't think so anymore, my friend. There's pirates, I heard. Many of the aforementioned towns and villages have been deeply affected by the upheaval. If removing even a faction of the monsters helps soothe the peoples of Hyrule, then that's what we will do. Damn. Oh. <clears throat> Impa isn't the leader anymore. Really? Wait, if that's true, why would you spoil that? Um, I work with I work with the monster control crew. We are tasked with protecting everyone from monsters. There's been an uptick in their population since the upheaval. But I'm not really the most skilled in combat. So instead, I use my knowledge of the areas to help determine where we should make deployments. Ah. There's been an increase in the number of unfamiliar monsters since the upheaval as well. Be careful out there. Yeah, indeed. I've seen a lot of new faces already. Uh, also, uh, Spongy, thank you for the raid. Gralens. Oh. Burning the candle at both ends, huh, Link? I appreciate you taking the time to visit the Monster Control HQ. Recently, Pyrrha asked me, uh, asked that we suspend our involvement in the search of Princess Zelda. So we've resumed our primary mission to hunt down the monsters that have been running rampant since the upheaval. All three squads are on expeditions at the moment. They've been sharing updates with us. Oh. Horses Squad. Torrent Squad and Fluxel Squad. We saw Fluxel Squad went to Farron, right? Um, Hosse Squad was at the castle. Uh. Hosse Squad is hunting monsters in Hyrule Field to the south of Lookout Landing. If you see them there, do me a favor and help them out, please. Oh. The Torrent Squad is on the north side of Death Mountain in Elden. They are heading for a cave discovered of Lake Darman, which used to be a lava lake, but it has since stopped flowing. They're taking out the monsters nesting in the cave. So if you see them there, do me a favor and help them out, please. And Fluxus and Farron? Uh. Yeah, Fluxus squad is hunting monsters and Farron to the south. They're aiming to subdue the pirate ship on the Manoa River to the south of Lake Hylia, which is west of the Highland Stable. Manoa River. Pirate ship. If you see them there, do me a favor and help them out, please. Damn. Right. What's to do? So we got... Uh, I mean, uh, we don't have the map yet, but there's a lot to do. Oh, it's like the sheer amount of people is crazy. I feel like there's more people in this room than in some villages in the first game. Hey, I know that face. Jaren, she's from Kakariko, from the store, I think. And any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in this shelter. It's all yours. Use as you see fit. Mm. Don't you dare go making a mess of this place and kicking up dust. I spend so much time cleaning in here, and there's still an endless amount of dust. Mm. Where does all of this dust even come from, anyway? Good question. Oh, you're right. She's she's Robbie. She's Robbie's wife. That's who Jaren is. Or like, I don't know about wife. Maybe they're just. Uh, is, I think she is. Yeah. He's chilling. Uh. There's no way he's called Nepin. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Not going near chasms anymore. Nasty gloom, it's everywhere. Making everyone sick, making me sick. Glad I ate that yellow plant stuff from the gloom specialist. Any more gloom and I'd be canoeing down old Death River. Ah. Work my tail off jo for Joshua. Kid runs circles around Pyrrha and Robbie. She loves research. Me? I'm sick to death of chasm research. At least I'm starting to feel a bit better. But I think I'll lie down and keep lying here. 
Uh, the real goal is to immerse in the world and have fun. Uh, the goal is... Um, yeah, exactly. I completely agree with um, Gnome. I, if I want to, I'm going to take a month to beat this game. I want to talk to people and learn more about the world. Um, and as we can see, this is kind of what this area is made for. They teach you about events in the world and about what has actually happened in Hyrule between the time you left and now. And I guess this is also a little bit of a hint that things like the Dazzle Fruits will potentially help you against the gloom. Okay, we talked to everyone here. I think this is the last person we haven't talked to. Then we'll nap and then we go up to the tower. Oh. Link, right? You really are that Link guy, aren't you? I heard folks talking about you. And your face matches the one on the poster. Oh, sorry. Went to the bed, yeah? You can go ahead and take whatever empty bed you like. Uh. Nap and sleep take, uh, talking is particularly audible here, so you probably want to bed a little further from him. His physical condition has been deteriorating ever since he investigated one of the cousins. But despite how long he's been back, which has been quite a while, he still hasn't made much of a recovery. Oh. The upheaval created massive openings across the land known as Cosms. In fact, there's one just beneath Hyrule Castle and another one to the south of Lookout Landing. But if you go plumbing down... If you go plumbing those depths, you'll come across plenty of gloom. You touch that stuff and your health will take a turn for the worse. Ah. Anyway, there's a young girl named Joshua who's been heading up investigations into the Cosms. Despite her age, she's been leading the charge pretty remarkably, if you ask me. So, yeah, the gloom will probably permanently deplete your health until you eat, like, sun slash light infused items. Maybe you should get some rest until next morning. That's cute. Link waking up with the good old yup. I wonder if there's ever gonna be like specific places where you ascend into the ceiling and then like go all the way up a pillar like that, like really specific setups. Okay, I'm too broke to buy anything else from here. Carson. He was wondering... Wait. He's no longer protecting the well right now. You think I could... Oh, it's open. Nice. I don't know the paraglider yet. Nope. I'll probably get it soon, I'm assuming. Okay. Can't swim through here. Okay. A little creepy. There's a chest here, and we can ascend back into uh, the room. Let me get some bright room seats. We take those. Oh. Royal Claymore. What? A large sword, now decayed, issued for the royal family's guard. It's tuned for skilling users, for skilled users, and yields a powerful flurry rush during a perfect dodge. So this one, wait, that's a new modifier. A royal claymore that's especially powerful. For flurry rushes. Yep. And it is decayed. So the one that we see, since we've seen one in the trailer that was not decayed, it only does 15 damage now. Maybe we can, maybe there's a way to like clean them up. Or like restore them, I guess is what they're trying here. Oh wait, jumping on the ladders is much faster now. 
You actually make a quicker progress as you jump up. All right, the Lookout Landing Skyview Tower. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, 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 that's not quite right. That should do it. <clears throat> hey, Link, you are set. I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. What is my part? Hey! We're ready, Joshua. Pull the switch. Hey! Uh oh. That's a power switch. Okay, so they put the they they turned the lights on. And opened. Wait, is that already us? Wait, what, what did they shoot up there? That's not us. Wait, they're all shooting up. Or what? Again, great music. They're all shooting lights up? Is that for us to find them? Like flares. Oh. All of the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Yeah. Okay, Link. Your turn. Ah. Go hold the Pura Pit over the terminal. <laughs> I'm not ready. Great. The pure pet looks exactly like a switch. I mean, that's what it did with the Sheikah Slate. It was basically a Wii U gamepad. The Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. The same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your pure pet. <laughs> impressive, right? Pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. But Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. The Purapel works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly on the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great. Hmm. Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill, and nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you! Which brings us to this. This item given to you by Pura lets you ride the wind and glide through the sky. Press X in midair to activate it. Ah. Right, it's showtime. Let's start with a test scan. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for your very first test launch. I mean, <laughs> our first test. Just step over there into the circle and find me afterward, all right? Huh. I'll be observing from the research lab. Uh, yeah. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map of the places where the upheaval has wreaked the most havoc. So that's like the beginning of the true main quest. Best of luck. Okay, so, um, see this is why I'm glad that we came here. I wonder if this, this was probably optional though. You could have probably literally went wherever you wanted right after the sky. So I wonder if the paraglider is optional. Or if you need it for many things. I mean, you probably need it for some things. All right, here we go. Okay, so it is gonna get us up. Go to Hyrule Castle now? No? Well, maybe I have to. Oh, and then we're sending the data down. With the cable. It does make sense. Oh. The music. It's beautiful. I already loved the tower music before. Surface map updated.
Sky map updated. So both at once. That's interesting. So the towers get us the sky and surface map. And now what? Wait, now we can move. And we can glide wherever we want. Okay, that's so sick. Where these towers get go so high. Dude, the camera. I love this. What happened in Korok Forest though? There's a tower at the back there where the Tower of the Ruins used to be. Oh, we got the glider, baby. Feels good, man. What a sick moment. I I know you can use the scope in there, yeah, from the previews. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So, how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? I did. Huh. Good. That map is crucial to our search. There are Skyview Towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Yes. Right. Let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. The first report comes in from Hebra to the northwest. See, this is where I wanted to go first, and it almost seems like the game wants us to do this. Next up is Elden to the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's Lanero to the east. Strange phenomena are connected in these four regions. Hmm. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Maybe. Hey dog, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebrew recently. Okay, so they literally are asking you essentially to go to Rito Village first. And I will do that then. That's pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay. But this does sound like it's worth looking into. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we asked the lucky clever Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the going on going on in Hyrule. You can find them near the entrance to Rita Village. Okay, yeah. We're supposed to go to Rita Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way too. Mm -hmm. I'll be here, directing the variety of investigations into the upheavals, many cousins, and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone somewhere might know what happened to the princess. Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling the regions around Hyrule Link. We'll find the princess, we'll find Princess Zelda, one way or another. <laughs> Gotta find Gold. So she, she immediately has a side quest. Who's this? Wait, wait, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> Sorry, can't talk right now. There's something I gotta discuss with Goggles right away about our research into the cousins. Let's talk later. Okay, so she has like a side quest, but we didn't get it yet. So they finally did it. Oh. Pen! Well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Hmm. Link, you say? Hold on there. Really, your name is Link? Hey, buddy. <laughs> You've got the same name as that famous swordsman. <laughs> Good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. Ah. I'm Penn, by the way. I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event, so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I'd better get off to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I've had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seems like a brave, seems like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Oh. Our newspaper is based in Hebra, to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to Rito Village. Stop by if you're up for the adventure of a lifetime. In the newspaper biz. Until then, so long. Wow. So, uh, Zora's Domain used to be where the game heavily steered you to in the first game, but this time they really wanted you to go to Rito Village. So, can I reuse those towers? Just to, like, I guess, right? That's useful. 
But seems useful at least. Oh, so many options. I could go to the Great Plateau. I could go to the Rito Village. I feel like I'm gonna head towards Rito Village at first. It would be useful to have a horse though. Casually at least. Is that a Korok flower? Uh oh. Uh oh. They are back. The glider sounds slightly different. That's a long one. It's still not over. God. That is. I think I like the music that was playing in the back just then the most. I think it's just like an exploration, like field type music. This is gonna make finding Koroks rough as well. Because there's gonna be so many random rocks um, to like fuse with. Oh, blue rupee. Five rupees. It's shiny blue facets make you weak in the knees. Uh, I, I guess. Um, so... I think I'm gonna head towards Rito Village. But again, it would be useful when I see a horse, I'll try to get one. Whoa. We got AOE. <clears throat> Have you seen many new enemies yet? I've seen a couple, yeah. I've seen a Horriblin and a Like Like. No, 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 no. Don't light those on fire. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Ice Ray? Happy release day to you. Uh, I have not much stuff that can break. I guess the pounder can. Yeah, the like legs are definitely scary. Very scary. Hmm, I wonder also how you change the cloth of your paraglider maybe that's something that you can only learn in hateno since it's the center of fashion maybe you know what i'm going to scan one amiibo to see what happens because uh, the skyward sword is supposed to give you another paraglider skin right goddess fabric tough fabric bearing a goddess design it looks like it would be used to make a paraglider. Okay, so I need somebody to actually do that for me. Hyrule Herb. This healthy herb has not changed since ancient times. Cook it before eating to increase the number of hearts it restores. Swift Carrot is back. Cultivated extensively in villages. It strengthens the legs and hips when cooked into a dish, which helps increase your movement speed. Mighty Thistle is back. The Blue Nightshade, a plant that grows in quiet areas of Hyrule at night. It gives off a soft glow for increasing your stealth. That camp there looks a bit intimidating. The carrot looks different. A little, maybe. Um. Wonder if you can get the Vine Beast armors in this game from Chabot Amiibos. Maybe. I haven't really tried. This is the only Amiibo I've scanned so far. <clears throat> We should go to the shrine over there next. So I wonder if there's going to be a boss book goblin in here because those were actually quite tanky and quite scary. Yeah. Wait. Why does that do so little damage? Uh... 
Do the Bokoblins have like more attack power now? Uh, more HP now? Because normally that headshot I feel like would have killed them. Oh god. I need to like remember that I can Oh god, it's an armored one. Also maybe this the bow strength, yeah. Maybe. stop this again uh please don't roll over me <clears throat> rain is definitely still in the game soldiers claymore there's so much stuff what is this this is the armor but i can't pick it up unless i can fuse it i can I have an armored shield that I can use for parry damage. Oh, the spike bolts would be good for weapons. That's a good shot. Okay, let's make a strong weapon. Like an actual strong one. Let's... What is the highest attack power thing I have right now? This boss will come on right. Wait, that looks so weird. It's like a mini claymore, but it does 24 damage. Wait, why can I not sort this by attack power? I guess you just can't. That's actually kind of cool though. guys left I guess boom oh damn three chests whoa travelers claymore spiked iron ball hammer and a shield that I have not yet found I guess it's just a different version wooden shield too oh, thanks oh let me out Somebody was trapped. Oh. Hino! We, we talked to this guy like two days ago at LimQ Plus. The Blood Moon Man. Thank you, I'm saved. I despaired thinking no one would find me here. You might be wondering how I got here. A fine question. To explain, I must tell you about the Blood Moon. He said all about the Blood Moon. Some nights, no matter, the moon's face, it rises full and red. Precisely at midnight, the whole sky turns crimson. And then, defeated monsters appear again. There you have it. The Blood Moon. It's my life's work to research this event. Why do the monsters revive? What connects them to the Blood Moon? I thought if I studied the monster's ecology, I would discover something. But I got too close and here I am. Please, take this for saving me. Okay, one, a one heart dish. On second thought, you deserve much more than that here. That's what I'm saying, a hasty fish and mushroom skewer. Oh. No, that's not enough to probably convey my gratitude here. A hearty elixir. Restores you to full hearts and increases your maximum hearts. The additional hearts are lost as you take damage. Mm. Tonight is a new moon. Hmm. The new moon is hesitant to show herself. Maybe she's shy. Oh. Well, I'm sure we'll meet again. Now, quick. Let's split up before the, a monster spots us. So Hino is still all about the blood. We're not sure where he's gonna go next. <clears throat> Hi.
Hinox Hammer. A stick cut from a large tree. It isn't very sturdy, but it's heavier and can swat a shield away. Damn. I'm sorry, Soup Little Claymore. I think... Actually, nah. The Captain One Reapers, whatever. Actually, nah. The Boko Reapers, whatever. I'm getting... I'm, I'm stacking. I'm getting kind of stacked. That's a big hammer. You can still break crates. <clears throat> um, is it just me or do hearty and doing things make stamina health refill stuff kind of useless? I mean, it that's how it used to be in the other game. Not sure it will still feel the same. There's a crab, a whole crab slowly roasted in a shell. The soft flaky flesh pairs nicely with the scent of the charred shell for a meal that assaults all five of your senses in the best way. <laughs> the way they make the descriptions. A bust that's been cooked whole over an open flame. It's flaky and savory smelling offers more hearts than the raw version. I like the Hinox Hammer, but this, this salt is so funny and also really strong. 24 damage. <laughs> So these big encampments seem to be a source of finding items, but additionally might have trapped NPCs. Maybe I should get like three more shrines before I head to Rito Village. Because um, then I can get another heart. I think five hearts is a good start and I probably do some stamina. If I uh, am allowed. And I would like to find a horse. What? Okay, you can shield someone an armor shield. Found any durians yet? Not yet, no. I haven't been to Monsatoria, the places where they usually wear, though. Soup ladle sword. Oh, it broke. This game. Most normal weapon. I wonder if the shield durability still gets depleted that quickly when you shield surf. It would be nice if they kind of patched that up a bit. Oh, what the hell? Just happened. What the hell? Just happened. I was not ready for that. A tree just attacked me. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure at first if I should attack it, but it seemed hostile. Susuyai Shrine. I like the names. I honestly like the names more so far. We got Kyononis, Susuyai. I, I'll, I'll start learning them eventually. Oh, there's a um, big keys, kind of like Moldarak. What's that? Oh my god. Yeah, I'll probably be playing for like another 10 hours today, I'm not gonna lie. I never forget that moment, that's what I, yeah. Oh, that was weird. I got a weird animation. The gameplay is addicting, yeah, because there's just so much to do. Like, I'm like, okay, I gotta go to Rito Village, but there's so much to explore. There's like caves, there's like, there's like monster camps, there's like shrines, there's like... I haven't even seen the depths, chasms, I haven't, I've only been on the beginner A spinning device. What does it? We have to. <laughs> we have to cross the road? Or what?
Wait, so... Uh, I have not seen any hands, no. Okay, I... <laughs> Dude, this is so funny. Five arrows. Oh! The momentum you could keep there. So those are wheels. We're gonna make a car. At least kind of. Um, right, there we go. This is the most sc scuffed car you've ever seen, but it's all right, baby. Let's drive. Ultra Hand is kind of difficult at first, I'll admit. But um, I feel like I've already gotten used to it a lot more. And it'll probably only get better over time. Dude, those momentum jumps are so sick. What is this for? For a chest? I get it. I think I get it. There it is. Okay. Why do I... Oh. Can I? Attach it like this. <laughs> Dude, this game is so sick. Fun the game, for real. Oh man, these games don't come along often. The last time was Elden Ring, like, like two years ago now. Wait, was it really two years ago or was it last year? Nah, I guess we're getting blessed quite a bit these days. Yeah, yeah, that was like 15 months ago, true. No, no, it was not two years ago, it was my bad. I mixed it up. Yeah, the heart of Breath of the Wild is there, but like... I Obviously, the thing we were all scared about is that is it just gonna feel like a DLC, but there's just infinite things to re-explore. <clears throat> I think it's fair to say that if you didn't like Breath of the Wild, I don't know if you like this game, um, I can see how you might still not like it, and you like more traditional Zelda games, so far. But if you like Breath of the Wild, I feel like there's no doubt that you love this game. A crystal that glows with a light. Oh right, it's just a light of blessing. I'm so used to reading the item descriptions now. Yeah, the music at the end of the shrine is very good. What happened here though? Why is Zelda evil during the Blood Moon? <clears throat> Whoever told me you can't use bows as the blade of a weapon was wrong. No, I think people said you can't use something to a bow. But people said the other way around works. I haven't tried it myself yet. It is nighttime. The lights in the towers are on. No, we got different music. There's a Korok. Where's your friend? Over there. My fr oh, that's quite far. It's sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired. I should <laughs> Am I really about to build a car for this dude and me? I, wa I do want to try one thing, by the way. Okay, never mind. That would have been so sick. <laughs> if you could, like, drive on your shield, you know? 
I feel like there's more frequent star fragments. Oh. We went on the Colosseum. Well, I discovered something in the Colosseum in one of the previews, which is why I'm kind of hesitant to go there. Wait, where was this guy's friend? I mean, I guess that is basically at that other tower. We might as well get another tower on the way. I'll figure it out eventually. Any minute now. Oh wait, that doesn't work. Yeah, sometimes it can be a bit tedious, I guess, to turn it around. Wait, this will not work. Really? What's up, uh, SCP? Can this, like, please, like... No, <laughs> it just can't. Build it upside down, that's actually really smart. Good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Building upside down seems like a good idea. Good point. This is gonna be a little bit of an experimental car, I won't lie. But you know what? It could get the job done. Alright, my Korok friends. I hope you're ready for a funny exploration. Because we are off. <laughs> um... You know what? It, it can't be that bad. We can... We can just... We can just walk. Right? What if I... Okay. I was gonna say, what if I put like a rock on there to try and balance it out? Attach him to the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is like breaking the balance. Much better. Wait, I'm blocking my own attacks. I'm blocking my own... Uh... You know, we can also just like, we have a platform for him. Yeah, I feel like body shots either do less damage or Bokoblins. I think Bokoblins have just, uh, just have, of course. Of course there's trees that randomly attack me, possessed by spirits or whatever. Wait, I can ultra hand a beehive. And then probably throw it on someone. Okay, I, it looks like we <laughs> didn't balance this one. The thing with ultra hand is I already know from the previews and whatever IGN showed back then. Back then. Wait, the wheel does damage to them. Um, of course, these guys are back. That you eventually get a feature that you can like save your build. So I feel like I'm hesitant 
to uh, spend too much time to build like the perfect vehicle. I feel like I'm much more inclined to do that when I can like save them. Also, that's the tower from the preview. I guess we'll save the Korok, then get the shrine and then the tower. The hands are surprisingly good for the style, guys. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for the next one. Well, there used to be horses around here in the area. I would still like one soon. Friends. <laughs> I made it thanks to you. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Great, thanks. What is this? The Hyrule Garrison runes or something? I think they were called? No. The exchange runes, that's right. The garrison runes are where the uh, central... I think that's where I started, right? That was That's where the other shrine was. Mon Santori has a shrine. We knew about this one. I didn't even see that guy at first. I really like the game so far. Big fan. Here's a mushroom stick. A bouncy bed. Because of the mushroom? And a... Um, what is this called? Blue boko horn? Oh, dude, the thunder sounds different. Damn, that's kind of cool. 15 damage? I'm getting kind of powerful. Oh, blue moblin? Let me try something. Does the ice damage still give you triple damage, essentially? I have so many mat materials. Jesus. So if I hit it now... Oh yeah, it probably does. That still seems very powerful. <laughs> Moblin guts. This prize ingredient can be obtained from moblins. Its odor is too pungent uh, for normal food preparation, but stew it with some critters to make elixirs. Moblin Fang, a sharp, hard fang obtained from a moblin, stood with a critter to make an elixir or attach it to an arrow to increase its attack power. And a 13 damage blue moblin horn, a large curved horn with two extremely hard tips. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase its attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. So the captain... This is not metal. The, the Zonai stuff is just like ancient stone. Yo. That sounds so good. It looks a bit like the wanted obliterator. Yeah, I see that. Man, do I have like any weapon that's good for this? I guess this hammer. Can you use Ultra Hand to lift and drop? Good idea. I would kind of like to try that anyway. Eh. Maybe from higher? Okay. Good to know. Oops. Yeah, you can still do double hits. <laughs> Two-hand weapons are gonna be way too broken. <clears throat> That's definitely confirmed. Yeah, there's no wizard sprinting. What is this? What is this? Maya Chin Shrine. I guess it's gonna be related to the shrine inside. I kind of want to put that on a weapon, especially a spear. 
Oh, that's a scent. I keep confusing the scent and fuse. Plus five. That looks kind of sick. Not sure what it is. <clears throat> Let's go, crows. I like that. There's also a hole in the middle of Hyrule Field there. I guess that's how we get down. But I want to go to Rita Village first after I get, um, I guess, two more shrines after this. A fixed device. The Maya Chin Shrine. Dude, the shrine music is so good. It's my favorite so far, I think, actually. Okay. A button? I mean, that looks like a target, but I think the orb has to hit the target. Wait, what? Does this just hold down the button? Okay. I see. So it like manipulates the part of the orb. Okay, do I have to activate this hammer? No. There's no way this will work. Okay, it would have been fun though. This took you a while? Yeah, I'm interested. This one is a bit strange. Like, am I supposed to even hit this? Like, what is this thing even for? It looks like it should hit it. Yeah, don't spoil it, of course. Of course not. I'm still not even sure what I did by pressing the switch. I'm assuming I'm, I just basically held down the button. No, it turns around the hammer. Oh, I get it. I think I get it. Wait, wasn't I just able to attach it? Maybe I don't get it. I can't stick it to this thing. Yeah, I thought it was like pinball. So what is this for? Apparently the stakes go deep into the ground as well, if I wanted them to be. So once a button is pressed, it's pressed, it seems. What if I block it? So it kind of just goes through. Hmm. Yeah, I thought I can attach the uh, the stick to this and then I kind of knock the ball away and by in the right timing. And I'm assuming that's basically kind of what I have to do. 
but also not. So this attaches. What if I hit it like this? What? Oh, oh. <laughs> it doesn't go that way. It just turns around. Um, this could have been more straightforward as a teaching mechanism. Okay, so they do interact. At least like a little. Let me throw this guy away. So we can kind of see all the interactions between the orb and the uh, puzzle. Wow. 12 hour stream today, probably like 16 ish. I'll probably stream until I sleep. Hmm, yeah, I'm lost. It's just what, like, it would be so much simpler if you could attach something to this structure. So it rolls down. I think we're supposed to hit the target. Which, it would make sense to me if, if, I, if I, like, flick it back. Uh, whatever the hammer is. Then puts the, the... The, like... Lock on it. And then flick it at the right time. Oh, no, I, I will not ask for any help in any shrines. It might take me a while, but... That's unfortunately what you are signing up for when watching a playthrough. <laughs> Is the thing of the double timer activatable? Yeah. I don't think you can do anything with it. What, what other abilities do I have? I have Ultra and I have Fuse. Why did it that work? Like, what did I do differently that it actually hit it? Oops. There's a hole there. <clears throat> it's so hard to do that uh, to know what you do and not spot it out. No, it's very easy. You just shut up. Um, that's probably one of the easiest things to do. It's actually, it's actually easier than saying anything. Because if you say anything, you have to like type it into your keyboard. But not saying anything, it's the easiest thing you can do. <clears throat> right. So this way, the hammer is interacting with it. But it's not really shooting it the right way at all. It's being stopped. And then I can probably like block it like this, but again, if even if this was to work eventually, this would be very jank. <laughs> the interaction between the hammer and the orb is incredibly strange. Even even there, the orb just randomly went in a different direction. I'm assuming I can fuse the orb to this, right? Or if I do, it won't spawn another. Wait, maybe this is what I have to do, kind of, though. But then I can't unfuse them in time. How do the bomb flowers work? You can throw them or fuse them to an arrow. And even weapon, I think. Huh? 
Oh, shield, right. I wish I would have actually paid attention to what the shrine was called. Does it say anywhere? Because sometimes I'd give stuff away a little. I hope this is going to be an O oh moment and not like a, oh, this is stupid. I wish I could... Oh, wait. Is it related to... No, I thought... What, what confuses me here is that this button was pressed once and I can't press it again. The title is on the map. A fixed device. Fixed device. I'm assuming it probably referred to this one. Which is fixed and I cannot move. This shrine would just make so much sense if you could simply fuse something to this device. You can't, right? Like, I'm... Um, no. You cannot. And I can't remove this from its chains. I was wondering if that's somehow related. It's really pretty though. Is that enough? Is there another like target over on the other side? Maybe that's how you get like the chest. Oh yeah, the tricks are, I can potentially take a long time. Wait, you can. Oh. <laughs> Okay, now I see what you mean with the aha moment. That's mean, though, but the aha moment was certainly real. Okay, so do I just have to do the swinging now? Or do I have to also change its trajectory? That's kind of fun, though. Oh my god. Wait, I kind of want to get hit by that. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to try something. I know I'm going to regret it. But it would still be fun. Oh. Okay, that was worth it. <clears throat> okay, um, I guess I have to shoot the pillar. Oh, maybe not. Maybe with just good timing, I can already do it. Kind of close. I need to hit it quite early. Maybe when it hits the third thing. A little later. Okay, I could also just place the... ...thing, maybe to make it easier. Wait, would that even help? <clears throat> maybe. Maybe I didn't put it, uh... Let's see. Did it even interact with it? Can mostly shoot it to the right, but not really to the left. Oh! My god, that was actually dangerous. I don't know if this is just timing based now, kind of like gold shrine reminiscent. If that hit me, yeah, I would. I wanted to kind of see what would have happened. I guess I can build like a. Oh my god, I need to actually hit it twice. I guess I could build like a little bit of a track. 
to like guide it. I did already try it as well. Oh, there it is. I think that was like basically at the second tile. Boom. Now there's gotta be a second one. Okay, it just turns around. For this, it's for the chest. Oh, dude, please save me this chest will be worth it. For this, we need to make it go past this. Okay, I have like a couple ideas for this. But I can't actually get it high enough. My first idea was to just like hold it like this and then um, recall it. But I don't know if that's gonna work. Maybe. Oh, I literally blocked myself. Okay, that seems a bit jank. But there was, so far, I'm having an absolute blast and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stop tonight. I can do that, okay. I thought maybe I can... Where can I put these? I wanted to like hold it in place. It doesn't work. This is a tough one. I hope they stay like this though. I feel like the recall idea could have technically worked, but then you're like very, you're very time restrained. Okay, let's try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12. Now we have some time. Once it's up there. I don't even know if the rune works that way. <clears throat> no, I could have made it. Next one, next one, this is my chance. No! This works though. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I should probably clean up here. It keeps hitting some random objects. You can use bomb arrows, that sounds like Breath of the Wild. Um, I'm not going to do that, as you may have guessed. Wait, how did I like move it up like proper earlier? Like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. I'm gonna wait like five more. Looks like the nail would stick in the ceiling. I'll check that out in a second. Oh, probably. You might be onto something there. Because it's like the same Zen garden look. But now we're doing it the hard way. <clears throat> now I'm already committed. See? This probably wasn't even due to the fact that I used Rico, but I'll take what I can get. Surely this is going to be the best item in the game.
I think I need to take a break. I think I need to take a little break. I think I need to sit down. Wait, I'm already sitting down. <clears throat> it's fine, it's fine. I love uh, I love an elixir, you know. Um, yeah. It's the journey that matters, right? Wait, did I just see a chest on my left? No, I think I'm hallucinating. Um, I will probably actually make some lunch real quick. I will put some lunch in the microwave. So I'll probably take a, a little bit of a break here of like five minutes or so. This is probably where the first episode of the YouTube playthrough will end. Um, because I'm going to make a cut here and upload that probably tomorrow morning or something. And I will continue to play today. Just that's going to be the second part of the YouTube playthrough. Because I'm about to go to like a be right back screen make some food. Just after the shrine. And then I guess we will get the tower two more shrines and then head towards Rito. <clears throat> more gloom purged i wonder what what's gonna be the reward for all of the shrines here is it gonna be related to the arm now i'm like scared that you get the the automatic build function by like doing all of the shrines because it would unlock another power of the arm but nah probably not i hope not <clears throat> I've been watching for four hours and it feels like 30 minutes. I know, it feels like I've been playing for three hours and I've been playing for eight. Oh, chest. Let me get this chest. I cannot get this chest. Wait, but how can you even open it? Oh, am I supposed to s make a platform? Wait, how was I just able to attach it? Oh, so those go in. And then you attach these. And then you can open the chest. Surely, right? <laughs> Large Zonite charge. You take that. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break. I've been playing for eight hours for probably about five minutes because I'm going to put some food in my microwave, feed my cats. The YouTube player is probably going to make a cut.